The first thing people in this world do when they wake up every day is kneel down. However, they are not worshipping deities or Buddhas. Instead, it's some ordinary scraps of paper. Whether it's a baby crying for milk, or a ruler in power, every day they have to kowtow to a few sheets of paper, all because of a global mysterious arrival. Every year, humans can obtain a treasure map out of thin air. Some have unearthed ancient golden elixirs and ascended to immortality. Others have dug up 100,000 zombies, causing widespread devastation. And my parents dug up a terrifying poisonous insect a year ago, but they have been missing ever since. Looking at the three treasure maps on the table right now, I feel a bit scared. Using the treasure map might unearth a treasure that could change one's fate. But more often, it brings forth unknown dangers. Maybe I should sell the treasure maps. After thinking about it, selling them for money seems more worthwhile. Ding. At that moment, a message suddenly popped up on my phone. I quickly opened it and found out that someone had dug up a dragon at the heavenly foot bath, causing 30 deaths so far. It scared me so much that I suddenly stood up from the sofa. The heavenly foot bath is only about 5 or 6 kilometers away from me. At that moment, there was a loud noise from outside the window. I turned my head abruptly to look. A hundred meter tall building collapsed after being hit by a dragon, and the people inside fell from the sky like dumplings, screaming in agony. Pedestrians on the street, upon witnessing this scene, all scattered in fear. I immediately rolled up the treasure map and ran frantically towards the door. It wasn't until 20 minutes later that I finally stopped. I looked back and realized that the dragon hadn't come over here. I finally breathed a sigh of relief. As I took in my surroundings, I suddenly had an idea. I quickly took out a treasure map and looked at it. Sure enough, one of the treasure coordinates was just tens of meters away. Should I dig? If my luck is bad, I will undoubtedly die. As I hesitated. Here, 99 zombies are sealed. Once released, they will devour you, leaving nothing behind. A row of golden characters suddenly appeared before my eyes. Is this a hint? I was stunned. Do I, who has crossed over, also have cheat codes now? I couldn't help but laugh. If I can see hints, then digging for treasure would be 100% safe. This is too cool. The treasure here cannot be dug up, let alone 99 zombies. I can't even beat a single zombie. With this in mind, I immediately ran towards the remaining two treasure locations. 40 minutes later, I arrived outside a ruined area. The first two turned out to be traps. Hopefully, the third treasure map won't disappoint me. I took out the third treasure map, concentrating and looking ahead. Here is sealed a red goo, eating it will make you stronger. The golden words appeared in front of me again. Seeing this, I was overjoyed. Without any hesitation, I directly opened the treasure map in my hand. Suddenly, a virtual space appeared in front of me, with a red book placed in the space. It's the vermilion bird bone, I immediately recognized the red fruit. This is an officially named rare spiritual fruit. After consuming it, an ordinary person will immediately become extraordinary and can enhance their own talent. I impatiently stuffed the vermilion bird bone into my mouth, before I could even chew it. The vermilion bird bone turned into a warm stream, flowing through my limbs and bones. Then my vision blurred, and I actually saw nine huge chains appear in my mind. At this moment, a red beam of light suddenly struck. In an instant, it broke one of the chains. Then I felt an extremely powerful force rushing into my body. Is this the extraordinary power? I clenched my fists, feeling the changes in my body. At this moment, a sudden exclamation came. I immediately turned my head to look in the direction of the sound. I saw the space crack open dozens of meters away, and a zombie flew out at a rapid speed. Holy cow, without any hesitation, I turned around and ran, even though I just ate a spirit fruit. But I'm not sure how strong I am myself. Bro, help me. At this moment, a fat guy is running towards me from behind. There's also a zombie closely following behind him. Sorry, I need to save myself too. Upon hearing this, I didn't hesitate at all and ran like crazy. Bro, if you save me, I can give you a treasure map. The fat guy behind me urgently shouted, he was almost crying. Hearing this, I immediately stopped. Seeing this scene, the fat guy seemed to have caught a lifeline. Without any hesitation, he directly threw the treasure map over and said, Bro, I'm serious. Please, save me. I caught the treasure map, looked up at the zombie, and felt that my speed seemed to be faster than the zombies. That's when I nodded in agreement. Agreeing, I immediately picked up a trash can by the roadside and smashed it directly. Ha, the zombie's head was smashed and burst open directly. Seeing this, the fat guy was stunned. He couldn't help but raise his thumb and said, Bro, amazing. I was thinking we'd team up to take down this zombie, but you just one-shot it. After seeing that, bro, you're already a warrior. When an ordinary person gains extraordinary power, they become a warrior. 
According to the information published online, there are nine shackles inside the human body. Once any of the shackles break, an ordinary person will become a warrior. I nodded and asked, did you dig out that zombie? Yeah, luckily there's only one. Otherwise, I'd be dead for sure. The fat guy is terrified just thinking about it. You're really lucky. I nodded in full agreement. According to records, at least 10 zombies have been dug out. The fat guy dug out one. He's really lucky. If there were 10, even if I wanted to help, I'd probably be unable to. After chatting for a while, I hurriedly left. An hour later, I arrived at a street alley. This is the location of the fourth treasure map. I hope the fat guy's treasure map will surprise me. I took a deep breath and looked at the treasure map. Here is sealed a fragment of a thief soldier. You can unleash one in a hundred million of his power. Remember not to invoke the master's name, or else he will reappear in the river of time. Golden characters suddenly appeared. What is a thief soldier? I've never heard of it. I frowned slightly, feeling a bit weak even with one in a hundred million of his power. Thinking of this, I hesitated. If I don't dig, I can still sell it for 200,000. After hesitating for three seconds, I no longer hesitated. I directly used the treasure map. Then I saw a void, with a fingernail-sized fragment suspended in space, carved with intricate patterns. Seems to contain an unimaginable vastness. At the same time, I felt that I had established a special connection with the fragments. Suddenly, a deafening sound reverberated. I turned around and my expression instantly turned grim. Not far away, a hundred meter long dragon was rampaging. One building after another collapsed with a thunderous roar, raising clouds of dust. I couldn't help but curse under my breath. It's been such a long time, and yet the dragon still hasn't been dealt with. Everyone, get out of the way. At this moment, a strong human expert arrived from behind the dragon, anxiously shouting. However, there were countless people in the path of the dragon. I was one of them, but given the dragon's speed, I had no hope of avoiding it. I'm still young. I don't want to die. By now, I was drenched in cold sweat. No, I absolutely cannot die. Gritting my teeth, I directly activated the fragments I had just obtained. Although it was said to only have a one in a hundred millionth of power, now I had to make a desperate attempt. The heavens and earth shook. A golden staff suddenly appeared, spanning the sky. Then the huge staff fiercely smashed towards the dragon. With a bang, the dragon's enormous head instantly split into pieces. The hundred meter long body fell heavily to the ground. Wow, so powerful. And it seems to have some words on it. I'm shocked. But in the next moment, I felt completely weak and collapsed on the ground. At this moment, seven or eight powerful individuals flew over, and upon seeing the slain dragon, they all looked shocked. Who among the powerful individuals made a move? Someone among them exclaimed. I think I saw just now that the staff had Rui Jin Gubang written on it. Could it be the mythical Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, from the legends? Another person also exclaimed in surprise. I haven't heard of anyone unearthing the Monkey King. Everyone was puzzled. Let's not worry about that for now. Let's save the person first, a woman spoke up. After saying this, she looked around and eventually her gaze fell on me. The dragon was just too strong. Look at what the young people are being scared into these days. He walked up to me and, without saying a word, picked me up. I didn't want to fall into a state of helplessness. I wanted to resist, but unfortunately, I was too weak at the moment. I could hardly even speak. When we reached a safe place, the woman put me down and apologized profusely, saying, I'm sorry we couldn't deal with the dragon right away and cause trouble for you. Before I could say anything, the woman had already turned and flown away. After a few minutes, I saw the woman and others bringing many people over. Hey, you can stand up now. The woman who brought another group of people suddenly noticed me standing up and said in surprise. Thank you just now, I said weakly. This woman is called Lingzi, she is a night watcher. Three years ago, the treasure map suddenly appeared. Countless people used the treasure map to dig for treasure. As a result, they dug out a group of monsters, leading to the coming of the end of the world. At that time, the country urgently established the Night Watcher organization, in order to protect the people of the world. This is what I should do, Lindsay nodded slightly, ready to leave. Suddenly showing a look of surprise, I was too focused just now. I didn't expect that you, at such a young age, have already broken the shackles. You probably haven't registered here as a night watcher, right? I shook my head and said truthfully, I evolved only today after digging out a vermilion bird bone. You're really lucky. Lingzi handed me a business card and said, remember to come to the main branch tomorrow. Everyone who has started genetic evolution needs to register. Remember to call me then, and I will personally take you to handle it. Okay, I nodded and took Lingzi's business card. A middle-aged man in the distance noticed the scene. 
When Lingzi returns, the middle-aged man asked Lingzi when she returned, What have you discovered? I discovered a young person of 18 or 19 years old who just started genetic evolution today. It's a good seedling. Lingzi didn't hide it. The middle-aged man of 18 or 19 couldn't help but exclaim. He then said excitedly, the younger the age at which the genetic shackles are broken, the greater the future achievements. This young person is worth cultivating. The expressions of everyone present were all excited. As the apocalypse approaches, we must stick together to weather the storm. On the other hand, after regaining some strength, I quickly left the area. As for the dragon, although I killed it, I never intended to claim the spoils. I just crossed over and, despite inheriting all the memories of my predecessor, I still distrust everyone. The most important thing now is to become stronger. So I went to the bank and withdrew all my savings of over 20,000. Before leaving, the fat man I met earlier mentioned that he had over 20 treasure maps stored at home. However, after the zombie incident, he no longer dared to use them easily. So I spent 200,000 to buy one from the fat man. My luck was still off the charts. Using this treasure map, I dug up a soul resembling a tomato. After using it, I broke the second shackle, and my strength also advanced to the second level of a warrior. The next day at dawn, I arrived at the night watch's branch. Lindsay was stunned as soon as she saw me. Just one day and you're already a second level warrior. I dug up another tomato yesterday, that's how I became a second level warrior. I said with a smile. What, two treasure maps and two treasures dug up, without encountering any danger? Lindsay immediately exclaimed, your luck is unbelievable. Come with me to register with the sister. Lindsay eagerly pulled me along. It only took 10 minutes to complete the filing. I couldn't help but exclaim that having connections really makes a difference in efficiency. After Su Chen finished the filing, Lindsay pulled me into an office and asked me seriously, are you willing to join the Night Watchman now? I was immediately conflicted. The Night Watchman is the only official superhuman organization of Dasha, and joining it undoubtedly has many benefits, but it will also be very dangerous, which made me hesitate. Lindsay spoke again, join the Night Watchman, and during the probation period, you are guaranteed three treasure maps. If you become a regular member, you will receive one treasure map every month, which adds up to 12 treasure maps a year. Hearing this, I was moved, as treasure maps are what I lack the most. At this point, Lindsay added, you will also receive an annual salary of 1, 2 million, and we will give you a 200 square meter apartment. Additionally, if you want to get married, the night watchman will help you find a partner. It's so good, I couldn't help but ask. Of course, Lindsay nodded. Is that okay? I joined without any further hesitation and agreed directly. No matter which world, being part of the system is always the best. Lindsay was also very happy at this time and immediately went to handle the formalities for me. I took out my phone and sent a message to Ponzi, I need two treasure maps, today. In less than 20 minutes, I successfully joined the Night Watchman. This is the key to the Night Watchman's residential building. Everything you need is inside, so you can move in. After explaining everything, Lindsay said, okay, you can leave now. If there's a mission, I will inform you. I'm a bit confused. Time is too short. To be honest, I haven't even adapted to the change in status. Ling, I organized my words and said I have two treasure maps, ready to sell. Do you have a channel for this? What? Lingzi looked surprised. Treasure maps are priceless. You actually want to sell them? I awkwardly smiled. I've already dug up three treasure maps. My intuition tells me that if I dig again, I might encounter danger. So, I thought of selling the remaining two treasure maps. I made up a lie. No way, could I possibly tell him that I already know the treasures of those two treasure maps? One is a stone zombie, and the other is a stone drum locust. Lingzi looked at me deeply and said, since you want to sell, it's not impossible. These things won't be left unsold. After saying that, she made a phone call. Two for 500,000 each. The contacted seller was very straightforward. Of course, before leaving, I asked about the seller's capabilities. After all, the treasure maps I sold are all dangerous. It wouldn't be good if the other party is too weak and ends up in trouble. After finishing all this, I hurried to Fatty's house and bought the two agreed treasure maps. Finally, I returned to the night watchman's dormitory. It was already 7 o'clock in the evening. They were all brand new. I looked around in the new house for a while and couldn't help but say, the night watchman is really rich. A 200 square meter large flat, besides the bedroom, was even equipped with a gym for me. Knock, knock, knock. Suddenly someone knocked on the door. I ran to the door in confusion. Ling, how did you come here? I said in surprise. I just finished work and came over to see you. I live next door, in 807. Lingzi pointed to the side. You haven't eaten yet, have you? Come and eat together. 
Hearing this, I didn't hesitate at all and agreed. 807 and 808 are the same, both are 200 square meters in size. The difference is that 807 is more pink, obviously a girl lives there. You sit first and take a look. This book is more suitable for now. Lindsay took a book from the bookshelf. Warrior Level 9, From Novice to Master. I looked at the cover and felt a strong sense of familiarity. The texture is good. You've just broken free, and I guess you're at a loss too. This book is just right. Lindsay said while putting on an apron, take your time to read. I'll go cook. You're in luck, I rarely cook. This time you must eat your fill. He had just taken two steps when he suddenly turned around and said, oh, there's a big black dog in my house. Absolutely do not provoke him. Just then, I saw a big black dog over a meter tall come out. The big black dog just gave me a casual glance. Immediately made my heart tighten, feeling like I was facing a dragon that had already died. But this feeling was fleeting, to the point that it made me doubt myself. Did I have a hallucination? Without further thought, I opened the nine levels of warriors and started reading it with great interest, from beginner to mastery. So that's how it is. I read for a while and suddenly realized that there are nine shackles inside the human body. They restrict humans, but they are also a part of human nature. If one breaks the shackles, they can initiate genetic evolution to become a warrior. Nonsense. Back then, someone cursed the human race, which led to the nine shackles. In the past, everyone in the human race was born with natural bodies. Where did the shackles come from? Suddenly, a deep voice resonated in the room. Who's talking to me? I was immediately startled. But looking left and right, there was no one else besides Lingzi, who was still busy in the kitchen. It couldn't be you talking to me, could it? My gaze fell on the large black dog lying opposite me, but, the big black dog was sound asleep with its eyes closed at that moment. I must have been daydreaming. How could a dog speak? I shook my head and couldn't help but laugh at myself. Then I picked up the book and continued to read it with great interest. Soon, a sumptuous dinner was ready. After dinner, Lindsay's expression changed and she said to me, take this book back and read it, but remember, never show it to ordinary people. I nodded thoughtfully and said as I stood up, all right, Lindsay, I'll remember that. I'll head back now. After I left, Lindsay turned to the big black dog and said, you were talking to him. This person is a bit strange. There was a moment of silence, and then the big black dog unexpectedly spoke. Something's not right. Lin's expression suddenly changed. You mean it's him, not him. Some people who dig up treasure maps also dig up some evil spirits, and then they themselves will be possessed by the evil spirits. This kind of thing is very common. No, it's not that. Dahigo turned back, shook his head, and said it's on him. I sensed the presence of my ancestors. Ancestral presence. Upon hearing this, Lin couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. But he became puzzled by the ancestral presence and asked, Where is that? You're too young, little girl. This matter is too distant for you. Dahiga turned around and walked towards the balcony, saying, I'm very weak right now. Take good care of that little one for me. Maybe he'll give me a surprise. After speaking, Dahigo lay on the balcony and lazily fell asleep. On the other hand, after putting the book back in the dorm, I quickly went out. The two newly bought treasure maps must be dug up first. The appearance of the dragon gave me a strong sense of crisis. I must quickly improve my strength. Half an hour later, I finally arrived at the destination. Then I took out the treasure map and looked at it intently. Suddenly, golden characters appeared here, sealing a broken dog's head. For you, it seems there is no danger. The dog's head left me stunned. What is this thing? Regardless, as long as it's harmless to me, I'll just dig it up. I was excited in my heart and used the treasure map without hesitation. Then, a space emerged, and within it stood a dog's head guillotine. I reached out. The dog's head guillotine seemed to respond, and immediately began to tremble. Then, endless rosy light calmly illuminated the heavens and the earth, causing the entire Tianha city to tremble. Countless people looked up and saw a dog's head guillotine spanning the sky, releasing supreme power. In the next moment, the sky darkened, a crescent moon appeared, and a sound reverberated in all directions. Guards, the dog's head guillotine is ready. Distribute the night watchman to open the gates. A middle-aged man looked on in astonishment at the scene. Someone had actually unearthed the dog's head guillotine, but as far as the myths go, that figure doesn't seem to exist. He furrowed his brows, his figure flickered, and in an instant, he crossed endless distances, appearing right beside me. It really is the dog's head guillotine, the middle-aged man's eyes lit up, staring at the dog's head guillotine that had already fallen into my palm. You are Su Chen, the middle-aged man looked at me and asked somewhat surprised. I am very surprised. I don't know the person who came, but he knows me, which makes me very cautious. 
I am Li Xiao, the head of the Tianhe branch of the Night Watchman, the middle-aged man said with a smile. At the same time, he also presented his own credentials. Nice to meet you, minister, I said quickly. Li Xiao nodded and said with some satisfaction, you are very good. Go back and study it well to see what the dog's head guillotine is used for. All right, I nodded and left. Li Xiao's figure disappeared in an instant. I didn't even get a clear look, just how powerful is Li Xiao? Just then, my phone vibrated, and I instinctively took it out to check. Congratulations to the Run Clan, congratulations to the Great Xia. Citizen Su dug out a dog after using the treasure map. The dog's head made it to the news, the first time in my life. I was stunned. Even when I dug up pig bones before, it didn't make the news like this dog's head. It seems extraordinary. At this moment, the phone suddenly vibrated again, and an important message came through once more. Citizen Zhang dug out a divine beast cub after using the treasure map, currently in fierce battle. A divine beast cub, I was stunned. Unfortunately, the news didn't specify what kind of divine beast it is. Suddenly, the night watchman's watch started vibrating. I looked down and saw that someone was sending out a distress signal, about 7 to 8 kilometers away from here. Then the phone rang again. It was Lin Zi calling. He said on the phone to rush over immediately, that my strength is too weak, and not to get close. This time, he actually dug out a divine beast, so it's a good opportunity for me to gain some experience. After receiving the order, I quickly rushed to the destination. Even before I arrived, I could feel what a divine beast is. A pig covered the sky and earth, half of the sky was burning. I have no doubt, if the divine beast is truly mature, I'm afraid the entire blue star will ignite. You're here, Lingzi. You just joined the first division and have no experience at all. Now is a good time to observe. I nodded, and asked in surprise, Lingjie, aren't you going to help? The minister doesn't need me to take action. Lingzi shook her head. At this moment, the two who were fighting the Suzaku cub said, one of them is Li Xiao, the minister of our night watch division. He just came back this morning. The other person is Captain Zhang, who dug out the Suzaku cub. Lingzi was introducing him. I suddenly said, Captain Zhang, it's on fire. Sure enough, Captain Zhang is fighting the Suzaku cub. At this point, his whole body had turned into fire. Fortunately, Captain Zhang is not simple. The flames were quickly extinguished, but his face was black, and smoke was coming out of his seven orifices, looking extremely miserable. Linzi's whole body was tense, as if she was about to take action at any moment. If I take action later, you back away immediately. This Suzaku cub's strength is somewhat outrageous. Should I join the battle? No need. You're too weak. Going up there would be certain death. I felt looked down upon, but also breathed a sigh of relief. Such a dangerous situation still needs time to adapt to. However, the next moment scene directly petrified me. Minister Li Xiao, who was in the battle, was actually swallowed by the Suzaku cub. Evil creature seeking death. Linzi suddenly became furious and shot out like an arrow. A purple long spear fell into Linzi's hand. With a sound, the long spear pierced out, aiming to kill the Suzaku cub. The pressure on the young vermilion bird in the air increased twofold, making it temporarily unable to quickly digest Minister Li Xiao. Minister Li Xiao, bathed in divine fire, also took the opportunity to break free from the young vermilion bird's mouth, looking somewhat disheveled. But fortunately, his life was not in danger. Watching this scene, I couldn't help but feel a shiver in my heart. Could this be unbeatable? At this moment, nearby buildings were all ablaze. If this continues, the casualties and property losses to the citizens will be unbearable for humanity. Damn it, as a second-tier warrior, why should I worry about these things? Thinking of this, I turned and ran, but just a few steps in, I heard Minister Li Zhao's voice echoing, All night watchmen, prepare for battle. It was obvious that they realized they couldn't kill the young vermilion bird with their limited strength, so they had to rely on overwhelming numbers. Whoever kills the young vermilion bird will be rewarded with 10 treasure maps, Minister Li Zhao's voice echoed throughout the city once again. I immediately turned around, seeing the forest torn apart by the young vermilion bird's claw, revealing a purple armor. I gritted my teeth and roared, Beast! Even as a second-tier warrior, I'm not afraid of a fight. Let's do this. I was about to switch to ice shards when, I heard a buzzing sound, and the guillotine of the dog's head appeared in front of me. If you can kill him, I will immediately submit, my heart understood. Immediately, the method of using the dog head scissors came to mind. Then I leaped up high and shouted, everyone move aside. As I did, Li Xiaolin and the others suddenly turned back, looking at me somewhat surprised, but before they could speak, they heard me shout loudly, come here, the dog head scissors are ready. Under the shocked gaze of the crowd, the dog head scissors in front of Su Chen burst out in an instant, 
magnified a hundred thousand times, appearing in front of the vermilion bird cub. In the next moment, four illusory tall figures appeared, two of them heading straight for the vermilion bird cub, suppressing it from both sides and dragging it towards the dog head scissors. One person placed a huge basin in front of the dog head scissors, while another lifted the scissors blade. The vermilion bird cub struggled desperately, but to no avail. It was firmly pressed onto the dog head scissors. Cut, it. Su Chen's voice rang out like a bell, spreading in all directions. The vermilion bird cub was shocked, desperate, and fearful. No. Sir, spare my life, I am willing to submit to the human race and serve them. Vaguely, it saw a black face, as if there was also a crescent moon. Splat. The blade came down. The head of the vermilion bird cub rolled down, staining the sky with blood, and everyone looked at Su Chen in shock. Damn. This is Su Chen, a second-tier warrior? The vermilion bird, that's a divine beast. Even if it's just a cub, it's still immensely powerful, chilling to the bone. It can be said without exaggeration that when Li Xiao shouted Night Watchman, fight to the death, he was already prepared for the streets of Tianhe City to run with blood and countless people to be displaced. And now, Su Chen solved it in one go? Li Xiao was the first to come to his senses, pressed the special ops earpiece, and said, Colleagues, no need for backup, the vermilion bird cub has been killed. In case of emergencies, the night watchman would request backup, and strong support would be sent from the nearby night watchman branch in Tianhe City. Li Xiao had already done so, but now that the vermilion bird cub had been dealt with, there was naturally no need for backup. Li Xiao, what's going on? Didn't you say the vermilion bird cub was immensely powerful and you couldn't handle it, someone asked in confusion over the earpiece. I have something to attend to now, we'll talk about this later, colleagues can check the report later. Li Xiao hastily removed the special ops earpiece, and in a flash, appeared in front of Su Chen, asking with concern, how are you feeling now? A bit weak, most of the power in my body has been consumed. Su Chen carefully sensed and slowly spoke. In fact, it wasn't that exaggerated, only about half of the power was consumed. Compared to the Taoist fragments, it was significantly less. If the dog had scissors couldn't handle it, he still had enough strength to run away. If he couldn't handle the Taoist fragments, he would have to wait for death. That's good. Li Xiao nodded, patted Su Chen's shoulder, Su Chen, you have made a great contribution this time, at the latest tomorrow, ten treasure maps will be in your hands. Thank you, minister. Su Chen said happily. This wave was not in vain. Ten treasure maps were worth at least two million, and if a valuable item was unearthed, it could be worth tens of millions. Li Xiao turned to Lin Zi and said, Lin Zi, Su Chen is under your command, take him for a checkup to avoid any unknown risks from using the dog head scissors for the first time. Okay. Lin Zi appeared by Li Xiao's side at some point and after hearing this, she carried Su Chen and quickly left. On the way, the purple battle armor on Lin Zi quietly dissipated, revealing her majestic and generous chest. Su Chen was close by, subconsciously swallowing his saliva. Soon, they arrived at the night watchman branch and entered the medical room. Su Chen lay on the sickbed, undergoing various examinations. Half an hour later, the doctor in the medical room said, Captain Lin, Su Chen is very healthy, his life is far more vigorous than that of a second-tier warrior. You can rest assured. Lin Zi breathed a sigh of relief when she heard this. She saw that Su Chen seemed a bit puzzled, so she took the initiative to say, Su Chen, don't think it's troublesome. In the past, someone used the unearthed treasures and ended up with serious health problems. It's good that you have no issues at all. Su Chen nodded, then remembered that there were reports online about this. For example, some treasures, when used, would make the owner age 10 years. There were also ones that drained potential, burned the soul, and so on. After leaving the medical room, Lin Zi couldn't help but say to Su Chen, I envy you. With the dog head scissors, you are even stronger than me. Su Chen smirked, thinking who would believe such words. The dog head scissors were indeed powerful, but ultimately they were just external force. With his current strength, he could only use the dog head scissors twice. Moreover, whether it was Lin Zi, Li Xiao, or others, he didn't believe that they only had this much ability. 
There must be something hidden in reserve. It's just that they wouldn't use it unless absolutely necessary. Lin Jia, can I leave now? Su Chen asked with a smile. He was eager to go as he still had a treasure map to dig up. He was full of anticipation, ready to sell immediately if there was danger, and then buy something new. It was simply too exciting. You can go now, Lin Zi nodded, indicating that Su Chen could leave. As he left the night watchman branch, Su Chen's phone vibrated, and he checked to see another message notification. Congratulations to the human race. Congratulations to the great Xia. Night watchman Su used the dog head scissors to kill the young vermilion bird. Seeing this, Su Chen couldn't help but smile, isn't this about me? A surge of blood flowed within him, as if it wanted to burst out and engulf him. Damn it! Damn it! Su Chen tried to calm himself down, telling himself silently, I can't be so hot-blooded next time. I'm still young, with plenty of time ahead of me. I can't just die like this. Despite the hot blood, the fear that followed was real. What if the dog head scissors couldn't defeat the young vermilion bird? Su Chen reminded himself not to get too carried away, or he would eventually suffer. He called a ride-sharing car and arrived 20 minutes later, 10 kilometers away. Su Chen got out of the car and started walking. After a while, he arrived at a ruin. Another ruin, this world is really dangerous. Su Chen sighed, took out the last treasure map, confirmed the target location, and focused his gaze. Sealed here is a pair of underpants. If you wear them outside your pants, your strength will increase. If you wear them on your head, your strength will increase significantly. Su Chen, 6. Then, Su Chen was in a dilemma. Should he dig it up or not? After much deliberation, Su Chen finally made up his mind. Not digging it up would only fetch 200,000 for the treasure map. But if he dug it up, even if he didn't use it himself, selling it would earn much more than 200,000. Dig. Su Chen gritted his teeth and immediately used the treasure map. Soon, a spatial area appeared, with a pair of underpants hanging inside. The underpants looked new, as if they had just been made, but Su Chen didn't think so. He felt disgusted just looking at them. Nevertheless, Su Chen reached out. The underpants flew out and landed in Su Chen's palm. Immediately, Su Chen understood that these underpants were not simple. Indeed, wearing them could enhance his strength. After careful sensing, it could increase the user's strength by about 10%. If worn on the head, it could increase strength by 20%. Of course, the enhancement was not unlimited but had a limit. The highest support was for the warlord level. If it exceeded the warlord level, the underpants enhancement would have little effect and would not be significant. After the ninth level warrior, it would be the warlord. War King, also divided into nine levels, if it can be increased by 10%, or even 20%, for the War King, it is like a divine tool. I am just a second level warrior. Even if I increase by 20%, I am still a second level warrior, at most a third level warrior. This thing, to me, is useless. Su Chen made a comment, so, it's better to sell this thing, yes, sell it. But, how much money is appropriate to sell it for? In this regard, Su Chen didn't have a clear idea, and he couldn't help but hesitate, should I go ask Sister Lin? Before going to find Lin Zi, Su Chen first checked online. Surprisingly, there were reports online about this. But after reading them, Su Chen became even more confused, as the prices reported online were different, ranging from tens of thousands to tens of millions. So, I still don't know how much this thing is worth? Su Chen shook his head, didn't check further, called a right hailing service, and went straight to the Night Watcher branch. Lin Zi must be working at the Night Watcher branch now. Su Chen, why are you back? At the Night Watcher branch, Lin Zi looked at Su Chen in surprise. It had been almost an hour since Su Chen left. Why did Su Chen come back? Was he thinking of working? Lin Zi thought to herself. Sister Lin, can we find a place with no one around? Su Chen looked around and saw many people coming in and out of the Night Watcher branch. He didn't want to take out his underwear in public. Sure, follow me. 
Lin Zi took a deep look and then walked away. This is my office, no one here, and the soundproofing is good. You can say whatever you want. In an office, Lin Zi looked at Su Chen and said with a smile. Su Chen subconsciously looked around, then walked to the door to check outside. Seeing no one, he came back, took out his underwear, and said to Lin Zi, Sister Lin, I dug up. Bang! Before Su Chen could finish his sentence, he saw a long and fair thigh lift up and kick towards him fiercely. Damn! Su Chen cursed, quickly retreated, and appeared outside the door. In the corridor, everyone stopped what they were doing and looked over. Who is this new guy? Did he offend Captain Lin? I remember, Captain Lei seemed to have been treated like this by Captain Lin before. Not to mention Captain Lin, even Captain Zhang has been beaten. And our minister, I don't know what happened, was also kicked out of the office by Captain Lin. But this young man seems to have not been kicked. The crowd chattered, and Su Chen felt a little scared. What if he had been kicked? Su Chen re-entered Lin Zi's office, closed the door, and saw Lin Zi with her arms crossed, very guarded. Su Chen, you are my person, and you dare to act like a hooligan towards me? Lin Zi's face was cold, making people not dare to approach. Sister Lin, can you not be so impulsive, listen to me first? Su Chen was a little angry. Lin Zi was really too impulsive. Wait a moment. Lin Zi took a deep look at Su Chen, walked out of the office, and the people outside dispersed. Lin Zi then came back, sat down with her arms crossed, and said to Su Chen, go ahead. Well, it's like this. When I left the branch earlier, I happened to dig up a treasure map, and then, I dug up a pair of underwear that is very suitable for the war king to use. Su Chen quickly explained, you know, I am only a second level warrior now, and my strength is too weak. This thing can increase the user's strength by up to 20%. I think it is not very meaningful to me. So, I want to sell it, but I don't know the price, so I came to ask Sister Lin first. Hmm. Lindsay's expression changed suddenly, then she smiled and stood up, supporting Su Chen to sit down, why didn't you say so earlier? Look at how big the misunderstanding is now. Su Chen, won't you blame Sister Lin? No. Su Chen shook his head. If you can't win in a fight, what else can you do? Can it really enhance the user's strength by 20%? Lin Zi was more concerned about this, so she quickly asked. If worn outside the pants, it can enhance by 10%, if worn on the head, it can enhance by 20%. Su Chen replied. 20%, that's quite a significant enhancement. If it's useful in battles, it's considered a very good treasure. Lindsay nodded, then took the underwear initiative and carefully sensed it. After a moment, she put down the underwear and said to Su Chen, It really is. It's a pity, it's not suitable for me at all. Otherwise, I would have kept it. Lindsay shook her head, feeling very regretful. Then she asked, Su Chen, how much are you planning to sell it for? I don't know, that's why I came to ask Sister Lin. Su Chen said with a hint of grievance. Having gained nothing, he was truly feeling wronged after being kicked by Lin Zi. Oh. Lin Zi pondered for a moment and said, if this thing of yours is not underwear, but something else, it could easily sell for five to six million. But? Lin Zi couldn't help but laugh, the usage of this thing is too embarrassing, so forget about five to six million. Selling for one to two million would be good enough. One to two million? Su Chen, upon hearing this, was not disappointed. It was much better than he had expected. Moreover, with 1 to 2 million, wouldn't he be able to buy more treasure maps? When he digs up something good later, if he can't use it himself, he can sell it, definitely a tearful but profitable deal, a sure win. After some thought, Su Chen suddenly asked, Sister Lin, how much can I sell my dog head shears for? Dog head shears? Sister Lin smiled and replied, you can sell it for about a billion. Su Chen was shocked, taking a sharp breath, the office suddenly became hot. Are you selling it? If you are, I can help you get a billion right now. Sister Lin asked. I'm not selling it. Su Chen shook his head. I thought so too. 
Lin Zi was only envious, not greedy. She thought for a moment and said, since you want to sell that pair of underwear, Sister Lin will help you. Wait a moment, I'll call Captain Lei over. Lin Zi made a phone call. After a while, Captain Lei, the bald one, just pushed the door open. As soon as he came in, he saw Su Chen and couldn't help but boast, are you selling more treasure maps? 250,000 each, I'll take as many as you have. Su Chen swallowed hard. Captain Lei was indeed wealthy, willing to buy as many as he could at 250,000 each. Can a person really say such things? Captain Lei, you're mistaken. This time there are no treasure maps. Sister Lin spoke first, smiling, but, there's something else. What is it? Captain Lei, the bald one, became interested and asked. It's a treasure that can enhance the strength of a war king by 10% or 20%, do you want it? Sister Lin asked. Really? In that moment, Captain Lei's eyes sparkled as if emitting divine light, but soon he restrained his gaze and asked in doubt, such a good thing, you're not keeping it for yourself but selling it to me? I don't believe it. He wasn't stupid. Sister Lin was also a war king, with even more terrifying strength than him. If she had such a treasure, she would never sell it to him. This thing is not suitable for me. Otherwise, would you buy it? Sister Lin looked at Su Chen. Su Chen understood and immediately handed over the underwear he had dug up. Captain Lei hesitated for a moment, but seeing the serious expressions on Sister Lin and Su Chen's faces, he slowly reached out and took the underwear, carefully sensing it. After a moment, Captain Lei's eyes lit up, and he asked, I'll take this thing. Sister Lin, how much do you want for it? Although the method of using this thing may seem a bit embarrassing, this thing can really enhance strength by 20%. Guanto Lei Gang hesitated for less than a second and immediately asked about the price. Five million. Lin Zi Lian opened his mouth wide, shocking Su Chen next to him. We agreed to sell it for only one or two million, but now you're asking for five million? Guanto Lei Gang's mouth twitched, he threw down his underwear and cursed, Lin Zi, do you really think I'm stupid? If it were something else, it would naturally be worth five million. But it's not worth it. If I put it on my head, I will become the subject of ridicule. So, just tell me, how much? Although Guanto Lei Gang was cursing, he didn't leave, making it clear that he actually wanted it. Su Chen and Lin Zi naturally saw through it. Moreover, the reason why she called Lei Gang was because she was confident that Lei Gang would not refuse. Just now, 5 million was just a test. What if Lei Gang was willing to pay 5 million? Now, Lin Zi saw the plan fail and smiled, saying, We have been colleagues for many years, how can I really sell it to you for 5 million? Lin Zi pretended to think for a moment, then said, How about this, half price, 2.5 million to sell it to you? Captain Lin, are you indirectly insulting me? Lei Gang touched his bald head, which was shining brightly, and said, How about we have a fight first, then talk about the price? How much are you offering? Lin Zi frowned slightly. 150,000. Lei Gang said. 150,000, you go grab it. Lin Zi shook her head. 180,000, I can't offer more, sell it if you want, if not, forget it. Lei Gang's attitude was firm, he said, you know, I'm not short of money, I'd rather spend 5 million on other treasures, at least, no one will laugh at me. This. Lindsay seemed to hesitate, after a while, she impatiently said, forget it, this is just you, Lei Gang, if it were someone else, I wouldn't even negotiate for less than 2 million. Lei Gang quickly picked up his underwear, turned to look at Su Chen, and asked, did you dig this out? Su Chen remained silent. It was Su Chen who dug it out, what do you want to do? Lin Zi looked wary. Su Chen, why don't you come to me, I'll take you to make a killing. Lei Gang grinned, for example, with this underwear, if you follow me, I'll just take 3 million, you'll earn an extra 1.2 million, isn't that great? Lei Gang, that's enough, trying to steal my thunder? Are you asking for a beating again? Lin Zi walked over, hugged Su Chen, and said to him, don't listen to his nonsense, they're all macho men, smelly all day long. If you follow Lei Gang, you'll end up just like them sooner or later. But if you follow me, 
it'll be different, I can protect you, make you smell good all over, and in the future, I can introduce you to potential partners. Su Chen struggled, wanting to leave the strong embrace, but Lin Zi's strength was too great, he couldn't break free at all. In the end, Su Chen had to reluctantly give up. Humph. Lei Gang glanced at him, snorted lightly, didn't try to persuade him anymore. When he was about to leave, he turned back and said to Su Chen with a smile, Su Chen, you're welcome to come to me anytime. After Lei Gang left, Su Chen was finally released, he couldn't help but breathe heavily. Just now, it was soft, but he almost suffocated. Su Chen, you're not really going to Lei Gang's place, are you? Lin Zi asked with some concern. No, no. Su Chen immediately shook his head, Lei Gang's words sounded tempting, but if he really went, once or twice would be fine, but how could he keep giving him money every time? Does he really think Lei Gang is a fool? Everything has to follow market rules. Otherwise, there will be trouble. This is about right. Lin Zi pinched Su Chen's cheek, very happy. Ding dong. Su Chen's phone rang, and when he checked it, 1.8 million had been deposited. Now, there was a total of 1.9 million in cash on his phone. Lin Jia, I trouble you this time, this is a token of. My appreciation, Su Chen said as he quickly operated his phone. Ding dong. Lin Zi's phone rang, and she saw a deposit of 300,000. Sender, Su Chen. What are you doing? Lin Zi was dissatisfied, just selling your underwear, do you need to give me a kickback? Besides, can my sister be short of your money? As she spoke, Lin Zi was about to transfer the money back, but Su Chen stopped her. Lin Jia, you must accept this money, otherwise, I won't be able to trouble you again in the future, Su Chen persuaded. Well. Lin Zi hesitated slightly, but in the end, she nodded helplessly, this is an exception. Okay. Su Chen nodded in agreement. Subtracting this 300,000, a pair of underwear could be sold for 1.5 million, in fact, the cost was only 200,000, plus the negligible cost of a round-trip taxi fare, making a profit of 1.3 million. It was simply too satisfying. Lin Jia, I have something else to do, so I'll leave first, Su Chen said. Okay. Lin Zi nodded, then reminded, make sure to read the book I gave you, in a few days, you will have to come here to work. Of course, you can also come directly to the branch to read, there is a library here with many books inside. Okay, I got it. Su Chen nodded, then bid farewell and left. After Su Chen left, Lin Zi couldn't help but show a satisfied smile, he's quite thoughtful, even knows to give me gifts. It's hard to imagine, Su Chen is only 18 years old. City First People's Hospital, Room 666 Su Chen came again, carrying a box of milk, a box of nutritional drinks, and a box of fruits. After placing them all down, he looked at the fat man on the hospital bed and asked with concern, How are you? Feeling better? The fat man looked at Su Chen with some fear and asked, What, what are you here for? You're hospitalized, as a friend, I came to see you. Su Chen was a bit puzzled. Then, why are you here again? The fat man still looked fearful. Here again? Su Chen asked in confusion. You just came this morning, and now you suddenly came again, it's hard for me not to think you have ulterior motives. The fat man was still very frightened. Hearing this, Su Chen carefully recalled, and then remembered that he did visit the fat man this morning. However, so much had happened today that Su Chen felt like it had been several days. For a moment, Su Chen felt a bit dazed, but after a while, he came to his senses and explained to the fat man, I was confused, I've had too many experiences today, it felt like it's been days. Okay. Su Chen nodded, then said, I'll leave now, take care of yourself, and when you're feeling better, I'll come see you again. By the way, I'll need to buy some treasure maps from you then. Pausing, Su Chen hesitated and said, this time I need eight treasure maps, and I have the money ready. After Su Chen left, the fat man breathed a sigh of relief, somewhat relieved, I almost thought he had other intentions, luckily, he just wanted the treasure maps. Wait a minute, he suddenly wants to buy eight treasure maps, does that mean he found something good? The fat man suddenly felt very distressed, damn it. If I had gone to dig, that thing would have been mine. After regretting for a while, 
The fat man hesitated and whispered, Should I go dig too? The fat man was conflicted, Should he go dig or not? If he really went to dig, the risk was too great, even though he was now a warrior, there was still a significant risk. Yes, after Su Chen left in the morning, he became a warrior, although only a first level warrior. After a while, Fatty closed his eyes and secretly told himself, Forget it, I'll rest for a while. If I really dig out some dangerous things, with my small body now, I won't be able to run away. Now, I have money, but I don't have a treasure map. After leaving the hospital, Su Chen sighed and took a taxi directly home. In the apartment building E, room 808, where the night watchman's family lived, Su Chen came back and started reading Warrior Level 9, From Beginner to Mastery. The book was thick, and it would take more than a few days to finish reading it completely. Some of the content was profound, requiring more time to understand. As he was reading, suddenly the doorbell rang. Su Chen was surprised and thought, could it be Lin Zi coming back? He opened the door and was stunned to see no one but a big black dog standing outside, looking at him quietly. Before he could say anything, the big black dog squeezed in and went straight to the balcony, lazily basking in the sun. Su Chen, 6. This dog is so clever, it even knows how to ring the doorbell. Su Chen thought that maybe the big black dog was bored and decided to visit. Nowadays, even the offspring of the divine beast Vermilion Bird have appeared. A big black dog knowing how to ring the doorbell didn't seem too strange. After closing the door, Su Chen ignored the big black dog and picked up Warrior Level 9, from beginner to mastery to continue reading. The book gradually deepened Su Chen's understanding of the ninth level warrior. It also recorded the breathing technique created by the Dixia officials, which could help stabilize and enhance one's cultivation strength. In addition, there were various combat skills and secret techniques that a ninth level warrior could use. It turns out that the ninth level warrior is not as simple as I thought, it is really profound. The more Su Chen read, the more he felt his understanding of the ninth level warrior was lacking, giving him a sense of his own insignificance. These combat skills are special techniques for exerting force, similar to moving a thousand caddies with ease. As for secret techniques, they are a bit complicated, requiring a certain price to be paid to use them, or they may cause serious consequences afterward without immediate cost. It's strange, I'm already a night watchman, why hasn't anyone taught me combat skills and secret techniques? As Su Chen read on, he suddenly became puzzled. Combat skills and secret techniques required instruction. While he could learn on his own, it would definitely take much longer. Shaking his head, Su Chen continued reading. But at that moment, the phone rang. It was Lin Zi calling, asking him to come to the branch immediately. Then the call ended. Is something wrong? She sounded urgent. Su Chen put down the book, got up quickly, and was about to leave when he remembered the big black dog. He walked over and asked, I have to go to the branch, do you want to go home? The big black dog lazily glanced at Su Chen and didn't bother to respond. You are a real dog. Su Chen helplessly said, I'm leaving, you stay here. After closing the door, Su Chen left directly. Once Su Chen was gone, the big black dog's ears twitched, confirming that Su Chen had gone far away. It then got up and leisurely wandered around the room. After a while, it found Su Chen's computer and turned it on. Hmm, it needs a password? The big black dog spoke, furrowing its brows slightly. There was a glint in its eyes, as if emitting a very special kind of fluctuation. In just two or three seconds, the password was cracked, and the computer entered the desktop. The big black dog manipulated the mouse, opened the browser, and checked the browsing history. Waiting online. This world is full of malice towards me, what should I do? What is a treasure map? How many levels are there for warriors? Why is it called the War King above the warriors? Why are there no chi refining, foundation building, golden core, nascent soul stages? What is the Night Watchman organization? Is there a great emperor sitting in it, possibly making decisions for eternity? The more the big black dog looked, the more shocked it became, its eyes widening as if finding it hard to believe. Could it be that Su Chen comes from the ancestral star? The big black dog thought to itself as it quickly cleared all the historical records. This is a secret. 
It's enough that it knows, but it can't let others know. Then, the computer shut down, everything returned to its original state. It went back to the balcony, continued to lie down lazily, basking in the sun. At the same time, Su Chen, on his way to the night watchman branch, stared at his phone, sweating profusely. This dog is not simple. It saw the browsing history of my computer. What should I do now? Su Chen exited the app, cleared all the browsing history on his phone. When he arrived at the night watchman branch, Su Chen regained his composure. When he saw Lin Zi, he smiled and asked, Lin, what can I help you with? Here, these are ten treasure maps awarded to you by the minister. Lin Zi took out ten treasure maps. Thank you, minister. Thank you, Lin. Su Chen said happily. He thought he would have to wait until tomorrow, but unexpectedly, he was given the ten treasure maps now. The minister is a good person. Also, considering your performance this time, the minister has specially approved your immediate promotion. Lindsay smiled and said, So, Su Chen, you are now a true night watchman. This is your new night watchman certificate, make sure to keep it safe and not lose it. After a pause, Lindsay added, Although you have been promoted, you still need to complete the training that an intern night watchman should do, not missing a single one. I will inform you when the training starts. Remember to report to the branch at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I will take you for some training. All right, you can go now. After saying that, Lin Zi turned and left. She was busy and had no time to take care of Su Chen. Su Chen didn't mind, he left because he had something on his mind, so he walked back slowly, not in a hurry at all. Boom! Suddenly, as if an earthquake had occurred, the earth shook, and in the distant sky, a dazzling pillar of light shot up, sweeping across the sky. A terrifying force spread out, causing nearby buildings to shake. Bang! Su Chen saw a figure flying through the air at a speed that was astonishing. Isn't that Minister Li Xiao? Another figure flew by, with underwear on his head. Is that Captain Lei Gang with a bald head? Su Chen looked surprised. What's happening? Why is Captain Lei Gang wearing underwear on his head? This was a very embarrassing situation, even if Lei Gang was prepared, he wouldn't have put it on his head immediately. The only answer was that something extraordinary had been unearthed, posing a great danger. Su Chen. Just as Su Chen was pondering, a figure landed, it was Lin Zi. You're here, something happened ahead, you need to come with me. Lin Zi picked up Su Chen and flew asking, by the way, can your dog head scissors still be used? It can be used, but only once, Su Chen hesitated and quickly said, after one use, it won't be usable for a short period of time. As long as it can be used, you might need to use it this time. Lin Zi said urgently as they flew, someone used the treasure map and unearthed zombies, the number is too many to count at the moment. Most importantly, among the unearthed zombies, many zombie kings have appeared. Zombie kings? Su Chen was shocked, then asked, Zombie kings comparable to the war kings? Exactly. Lin Zi quickly said, Ordinary zombies, no matter how strong they are, ultimately rely on instinct, without any intelligence. But the zombie king is different. Their intelligence is not inferior to ours humans, so they are quite terrifying. When we arrive later, you don't need to take action first. If we can't solve it, then we will need you to use the dog head scissors, or we will need you to kill the strongest zombie king. Su Chen nodded at the words. Since he joined the Night Watch, enjoying the treatment of the Night Watch, when it's time to take action, he must take action. Moreover, once he has made a contribution, he will definitely be rewarded with a treasure map. Soon, the two appeared on the rooftop of a building. Su Chen looked down and saw the entire street filled with zombies wearing strange clothes, spreading in all directions, occupying one area after another. In the center of them, a space emerged, as if it were another world, with a large army of zombies swarming out from inside. According to my observations, there are at least tens of thousands of zombies descending, and that's just the ones that have come out. As for the number inside that space, unknown. Lin Zi said with an unpleasant expression. Su Chen's expression was equally grim. He had just crossed over and had not become strong enough, but now he encountered a large army of zombies. Is this the coming of the apocalypse? 
Bang! The sky shook, Minister Li Xiao held a long spear and nailed a zombie in midair. But in the blink of an eye, seven or eight zombies leaped into the air, and in an instant, they overwhelmed Li Xiao. They can fly. They are not ordinary zombies, but zombie kings. Sizzle. A. Lightning bolt illuminated the sky, and Lei Gang, wearing only underwear, came down hard with a hammer. Two flying zombie heads were smashed to pieces by him, but in the next moment, more zombies rushed up. Protect yourself, don't rush to take action. With so many zombie kings, there must be one that is the strongest, perhaps even in existence beyond the war king. Lin Zi looked for a while and whispered, your task is to find it, and then kill it. Lin Zi stood on the rooftop, put her finger in her mouth, and whistled. The big black dog came running from a distant rooftop and landed next to Su Chen. A purple battle armor appeared on Lin Zi, enveloping her entire body. A purple long spear appeared, tightly gripped in her hand. In that instant, Lin Zi exuded a heroic and charming aura. Protect Su Chen. Lin Zi said, leaving behind these words, then wielding the purple long spear, she instantly charged out. Puff. Lin Zi killed a zombie on the spot, but more zombies rushed towards her. Lin Zi fought alone against all directions, killing zombies left and right. However, among the zombie army, zombie kings kept rising into the sky, joining the battle. Buzz. Suddenly, a flash of knife light descended, killing hundreds of zombies on the spot. Captain Zhang, who dug out the baby vermilion bird, came with a knife and instantly fought with seven or eight zombie kings. Night watchmen quickly arrived from all directions and joined the battle. However, Su Chen saw that the number of night watchmen was too small to stop the zombie army. As for killing the zombies, in the face of their huge numbers, it seemed somewhat insignificant. At this rate, we'll be done for sooner or later. Su Chen thought to himself, should I run now? Yes. Su Chen wanted to run. If he could win, of course, he would fight, but if he couldn't win and still forced himself to fight, then he would be out of his mind. I'm just a mere second-level warrior, what can I do? I can't do anything. Su Chen was conflicted and uncomfortable. Bold zombies. How dare you descend upon my Tianhe city? Suddenly, a stern shout rang out. Su Chen looked in the direction of the voice and immediately saw a burly figure carrying a huge sound system flying towards them. That person looks to be around 30 years old, with thick eyebrows and big eyes, dressed somewhat shabbily. The passionate BGM blared from the speakers, echoing in all directions. Accompanied by the BGM, the newcomer seemed to be in a world of his own, instantly killing hundreds of zombies. Dozens of zombie kings rose up, rushing forward, but in the next moment, they were all sent flying out. Citizen Xiao dug out a speaker after using a treasure map. Su Chen recalled the news he had seen before, recognizing this person as surnamed Xiao. Suddenly, Su Chen sensed something and saw in another direction a young man coming with a woman in ancient attire. The young man's strength seemed average, but the woman behind him, holding a sword, with a flash of the sword, caused a large number of zombies to fall to the ground, never to rise again. Five or six zombie kings pounced, but in the blink of an eye, the woman struck them down with a sword. They fell to the ground, dead beyond death. Citizen Duan dug out an ancient woman after using a treasure map, and has now obtained identification and household registration for the ancient woman. Su Chen remembered, this person should be surnamed Duan, and the woman behind him was the one dug out after using the treasure map. It was unclear from which era this person came, with unparalleled swordsmanship that no one could match. Su Chen felt envious, when will I be able to dig out such a beautiful and powerful woman? Maybe she could even be my wife. Boom! Suddenly, a huge chessboard descended from the sky, covering hundreds of zombies. On the chessboard, the zombies turned into chess pieces and began to fight each other. Among them, there were even zombie kings. They tried to break free from the chessboard, but the chessboard was like the heavens and the earth, trapping them within. Citizen Su dug out a chessboard after using a treasure map, and Su is trapped inside. The night watchman has organized a rescue operation. Su Chen speculated that the owner of this chessboard should be surnamed Su, who was previously trapped inside but should have been rescued by now. With the arrival of strong individuals from Tianhe City, 
the situation was immediately brought under control. No matter how many zombies there were, they were not enough to kill. Suddenly, Su Chen's sharp eyes caught sight of a zombie moving rapidly within the zombie army. When it reached Minister Li Xiao, the zombie suddenly leaped up, emitting a terrifying power that shook the sky. Why haven't you beheaded it yet? Lindsay spoke first, her voice reaching Su Chen's ears. Su Chen's spirits lifted, knowing that it was the strongest zombie king. Immediately, Su Chen's voice resounded like a bell, come. Behead it. With Su Chen's voice, the earth trembled, and the guillotine flew out. At the same time, four illusory figures appeared, two of them heading straight for the strongest zombie king. The opponent was immensely powerful, invincible in the realm of battle kings. But at this moment, they were forcibly held back by the two figures and dragged towards the guillotine. One person placed a basin in front of the guillotine, and the last person raised the guillotine's blade. The strongest zombie king struggled violently, trying to break free, but to no avail. Below, several zombie kings quickly leaped up, trying to stop the four illusory figures. But as soon as they approached, they were severely injured and sent flying. Finally, the strongest zombie king was placed under the guillotine. Execute, it. Su Chen felt extreme shame in his heart, but his voice was as loud as a bell and resounding. No. The strongest zombie king's eyes were filled with fear, pleading, I was wrong, don't kill me. Not only was it terrified, but the remaining zombie kings were also very afraid. They are fearless, not afraid of death at all, but for some reason, they are filled with boundless fear towards this dog head guillotine, as if the dog head guillotine is not just about killing them. Vaguely, it saw a black face with a crescent moon on the forehead. Behind it, there seemed to be four golden characters of bright mirror high hanging. Puff. The guillotine fell. The strongest. Zombie king, head rolling. For a moment, the whole place fell silent, everyone, all the zombies, looked at Su Chen in shock. Too strong. Really too strong. Even Li Xiao, who had witnessed the power of the dog head guillotine once, still found it hard to believe seeing it again. Directly killing a zombie king, can Su Chen, a second tier warrior, really do this? Suddenly, a piercing sound came from the mouths of the zombie kings. From all directions, all the zombies suddenly rioted, turning their heads and looking up at Su Chen. Then, fearlessly, they rushed towards the building where Su Chen was. Some zombies entered the building, running up the stairs, while others climbed the walls, scaling the outer walls of the building. In just a few seconds, the building where Su Chen was located was surrounded, zombies from all directions. The number was terrifying. It was as if Su Chen had poked a hornet's nest, and all the zombies had targeted him. Even some zombie kings abandoned their targets and came straight for Su Chen. Take him away. Lin Zi shot and killed a zombie king, then shouted anxiously. The big black dog, upon hearing this, lifted Su Chen up, and when Su Chen landed, he sat firmly on its back. With a leap, it jumped onto the rooftop of another building. Clatter. The zombies saw Su Chen leaving, and they fell from the previous building like dumplings, landing on the ground and immediately chasing after Su Chen. We're in trouble. Su Chen couldn't help but say, using the dog head guillotine, I have no strength left in my body, now I'm just like an ordinary person. Su Chen looked back and saw that the ordinary zombies were not as fast, but several zombie kings were chasing at an extreme speed. Suddenly, the big black dog stopped, extended its paw, and opened a car parked on the side of the road. It signaled for Su Chen to drive away, and without any hesitation, it rushed back. Its speed was too slow, sooner or later it would be caught up, so instead of that, it was better for Su Chen to leave first, while it stayed behind to cover. Damn! They think highly of me. Without the car keys, how can I drive? Su Chen cursed, got off, and saw a shared electric bike parked nearby. He took out his phone, scanned the code, and immediately rode off. Despite killing the strongest zombie king, his own strength was really not strong. A second-tier warrior. Moreover, he had no power left in his body now, similar to an ordinary person. Not to mention the zombie king, Su Chen couldn't even beat ordinary zombies. So, running first was the best choice. Fortunately, there was the big black dog covering the rear, otherwise, Su Chen knew he was doomed. 
This is because of my lack of strength, otherwise, I would kill you all. Glancing back at the approaching zombie kings, Su Chen said fiercely. Suddenly, Su Chen felt a connection in his heart, he reached out his left hand, and instantly, two treasure maps appeared out of thin air, falling into his palm. Ha! Huh? Su Chen widened his eyes, is this a reward from heaven? After a moment of contemplation, Su Chen understood that because he had killed the strongest zombie king, he had received a reward from heaven. I am at odds with the zombies. As a guardian of the night, my duty is to protect the country, safeguard the people. Su Chen turned around and looked fiercely at the several zombies attacking the big black dog, gritting his teeth and saying, You wait for me, I'm going to dig up the treasure map now. When I find the treasure, I'll kill you all. The shared electric scooter sped up, and in just three minutes, Su Chen arrived at his destination and took out a treasure map, focusing on it. Here is sealed a pill, swallow it, and you can quickly restore the power in your body. Golden words appeared, Su Chen saw the prompt, without any hesitation, immediately used the treasure map. A space appeared, Su Chen reached out, grabbed the pill inside, and without thinking, swallowed it directly. The pill melted in his mouth. The power in Su Chen's body was already depleted, but in that instant, the power was instantly restored. And, even more power emerged, giving Su Chen a feeling of wanting to burst himself. Damn! So strong! I feel like I can take on ten of you now. Su Chen abandoned the shared electric scooter, his figure like a monkey, sprinted out. Soon, Su Chen saw that the big black dog had already been overwhelmed. Several zombie kings were attacking the big black dog, and countless ordinary zombies were rushing towards the big black dog without fear of death. The big black dog was in danger. Come, the dog head will serve you. Su Chen's voice was loud and clear. The big black dog, upon hearing this, suddenly turned around and looked at Su Chen in astonishment. The several zombie kings attacking Su Chen looked up in fear. They saw four figures appearing, two of them coming quickly and immediately suppressing one of the zombies among them, dragging it directly to the dog head. Kill! One of the zombies locked eyes with Su Chen, showing a fierce look. In the next moment, they all rushed towards Su Chen. But at that moment, the void shook, and besides the four figures, two rows of figures holding water and fire sticks appeared, directly attacking and killing, preventing anyone from approaching. In the distance, Li Xiaoxiao, who was fighting, suddenly turned around and looked over, his expression shocked. The dog head has become stronger. Yes, the dog head became even more powerful. The first time, the second time, only four people appeared. This third time, two rows of bailiffs holding water and fire sticks appeared. Although they looked very illusory, anyone from the Great Xia Empire could recognize them even with their eyes closed. When Su Chen used the dog head, he needed someone to protect him, but now he didn't need it. These bailiffs would protect Su Chen, making it impossible for anyone to approach him. Open, the head. Su Chen's spirit rose, his voice loud and clear. Swish. The blade came down. The zombie king pressed under the dog head was beheaded on the spot. However, it was not over yet, another zombie king was forcibly suppressed by two figures, then dragged under the blade. Open, the head. Su Chen's voice rang out again. Another zombie king was beheaded. The remaining zombie kings were all horrified, their eyes full of fear. Without any hesitation, their figures immediately retreated, no longer. Attacking Su Chen. In their eyes, Su Chen was just too strong, and the dog head was not just about their bodies, but also their souls, will, and thoughts. It could be said that once they were beheaded by the dog head, they would disappear from this world completely. At that time, even if a great immortal descended, they could not be saved. As they moved away, the vision disappeared, and Su Chen did not chase after them. He had regained some strength, but could only support three times. He had already used it twice, and if he used it again rashly, he would become an ordinary person again. He still had some strength left, enough to go dig up the treasure map and a bit of self-defense. Bang! 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 The big black dog took the opportunity to knock down five or six zombie kings, and when they landed on the ground, these zombie kings were motionless, obviously dead. I'll go first. Su Chen waved to the big black dog and then ran. 
The zombie kings ran away, but ordinary zombies fearlessly rushed forward. These zombies, lacking intelligence, were not afraid of death and didn't care about their own destruction. Su Chen, move quickly. Suddenly, Su Chen heard Lin Zi's voice. He turned around and saw Lin Zi being knocked towards him. Without hesitation, Su Chen immediately moved sideways. Bang! Lin Zi's figure slammed hard on the ground and slid seven or eight meters before stopping. Puff! Lin Zi spat out blood, her face pale. It was obvious that she was seriously injured. Three zombie kings wanted to kill Lin Zi, but when they saw the dog had scissors in Su Chen's hand, they had to stop. They dared not approach, afraid of becoming headless corpses under the scissors. Lin sister, are you okay? Su Chen walked over and helped Lin Zi up. Do I look okay to you? Lin Zi seemed a bit aggrieved. You dodged pretty fast. I had no choice. I'm just a second tier warrior. What can I do? Su Chen felt even more aggrieved. He wanted to catch Lin Zi, but his strength didn't allow it. I'm fine. Lin Zi looked ahead at the three zombie kings. Although I'm injured, I can still fight. Okay, Lin sister, you fight them first. I'll take a step back and see if I can find something. Su Chen turned and ran. He was only a second tier warrior, not on the same level as the zombie kings. The reason he could kill the zombie kings was not his own strength, but the power of the dog head scissors. In the blink of an eye, Su Chen's figure disappeared. Lin Zi was slightly surprised. Was Su Chen so afraid of death? At this moment, the big black dog rushed over and stood beside Lin Zi, facing the enemy together. Boom! They quickly started fighting. At the same time, Su Chen strode away, holding a treasure map in his hand, constantly adjusting his direction based on the coordinates. Suddenly, two ordinary zombies appeared out of nowhere, startling Su Chen. Su Chen reacted quickly picked up a nearby trash can, and smashed it down hard. After dealing with the two zombies, Su Chen ran forward. Suddenly, Su Chen felt a sensation, stretched out his left hand, and a treasure map appeared out of thin air, falling into his palm. Is this my reward? Su Chen's face lit up. But why only one? Su Chen was puzzled but didn't dwell on it, continuing on his way. After a while, Su Chen arrived at the department store, kicked a zombie's head, and took out a treasure map, focusing on it. Sealed here are 100,000 zombies. Once opened, your city will be wiped out. Golden words appeared. Damn! 100,000 zombies. Just kill me now. Su Chen couldn't help but curse. Who would dare release 100,000 zombies at this critical moment? 100,000 zombies, I can't even sell this treasure map, I have to keep it for myself. My 200,000. Su Chen was at a loss. I remember, there are several treasure maps with coordinates near the department store. Su Chen put away the treasure map and searched for the coordinates, then took out another treasure map. Sealed here are 1 billion poisonous insects. Once opened, within a 100 miles, it will become their paradise. Golden words appeared again. One billion poisonous insects? Su Chen couldn't imagine. If this treasure map was used, the danger would be even more terrifying than 100,000 zombies. No, the next one, the next one. Su Chen shook his head and continued on to the next destination. Fortunately, there were quite a few treasure maps this time, many of which were near this department store. Here is Seal the Saintus. You have a certain chance of becoming her Dao companion, but also a certain chance of becoming a lost soul under her sword. The golden words appeared again, making Su Chen's expression very unpleasant. Ah, why isn't the chance 100%? Su Chen couldn't help but fantasize. If he could become her Dao companion, could he then be ranked among the immortals? Even if he couldn't be ranked among the immortals, he could still freeload, right? Su Chen thought of his friend with the surname Duan, who was accompanied by a woman in ancient clothing, which was quite terrifying. Why couldn't he do it? Perhaps my strength is too low. If my strength is strong enough, would the chance be greater? 
Su Chen pondered, would this hint also change to some extent due to my strength? Forget it, why think about these things now? Let's continue to the next one. Su Chen immediately left for the next standard location on the treasure map. Here is sealed a dog hair naturally shed by the howling celestial dog, possessing unimaginable majestic power. However, due to the passage of time, the majestic power has long dissipated, but it is still a rare one-time treasure. Looking at the golden words, Su Chen couldn't help but be stunned. Howling celestial dog's dog hair? A one-time treasure? I wonder if it can deal with this army of zombies. Without further thought, Su Chen directly used the treasure map. Since there was no hint of danger in the golden words, there should be no danger. In the current situation, Su Chen felt it was better to use the treasure map. There were too many zombies, and they couldn't be stopped by the night watchman alone. The reinforcements were still on the way, but it would take time for them to arrive. How many casualties would there be in this process? Of course, Su Chen was not that kind. Instead of thinking about protecting the country and its people, he thought about obtaining more treasure maps. Protecting the country and its people could earn him rewards from the heavens in the form of treasure maps. Soon, a space appeared before him, and Su Chen saw a white dog hair. Perhaps due to endless years passing, or perhaps it was naturally shed by the howling celestial dog, it had lost much of its luster, but it still gave Su Chen a thrilling feeling. At the same time, the large black dog fighting alongside Lin Zi suddenly turned its head and looked somewhat surprised at the department store. It felt a stir in its heart. The white dog hair trembled slightly, as if it wanted to break through the air, but in an instant, everything returned to calm. Su Chen picked up the white dog hair. In an instant, Su Chen understood how to use the white dog hair. Perhaps, it really can solve this crisis. I just don't know how many treasure maps I'll get after solving it. Su Chen was extremely excited, tightly clutching the white dog hair and quickly rushing towards the army of zombies. Lin Jia, I'm back, Su Chen rushed back and saw Lin Zi's armor shattered and her hair disheveled. Obviously, Lin Zi had been through a tough battle. Beside Lin Zi, the large black dog saw the dog hair tightly held in Su Chen's hand, baring its teeth as if wanting to snatch it away. However, it was a dog with manners, so it held back. Lin Jia, can you take me to the rooftop? Give me a view that can see most of the zombies. Su Chen spoke. Lin Zi was stunned for a moment, then she immediately reacted, without asking, she lifted Su Chen and flew up, landing on the rooftop of a building. Once Su Chen stood firm, he saw nothing but zombies in his sight. The ordinary zombies had already spread in all directions. Many zombie kings, although not far away, were also fighting the night watchman. They were very strong, injuring every night watchman, even Minister Li Xiao, who was bleeding. On the road, there is another entrance, where countless zombies are swarming out. Even some zombie kings are among them. If this continues, Tianhe will inevitably be lost, and it will become a purgatory on earth. Su Chen looked down at the dog hair in his hand and murmured softly, whether Tianhe can be safe this time, it's all up to you. Then, in front of Lin Zi, Su Chen blushed and opened his mouth, woof. Woof woof woof. Su Chen, what's your dog's name? Lin Zi was shocked, surprised, and thought Su Chen had gone crazy. Su Chen ignored her and stared at the white dog hair in his hand. In that instant, the white dog hair seemed to come alive and gently floated up. Then, it started to burn. In the blink of an eye, it turned into ashes. Is that it? Is it over? Su Chen was stunned. A one-time treasure, is it really gone like this? Su Chen, how did this? Before Lin Zi could finish her sentence, she widened her eyes, showing an expression of disbelief. A white dog, resembling a white elephant, appeared. Extraordinary aura emanated from it making people who saw it want to worship it involuntarily. The big black dog happened to follow suit at this moment, looking at the white dog resembling a white elephant with a hint of inexplicable nostalgia in its eyes. Woof! Accompanied by a bark, everyone felt the sky suddenly darken, and they all looked up to see a gaping mouth coming down to bite. In that moment, it felt like doomsday, and everyone sensed a strong feeling of despair. Puff! 
On the ground, zombies of all kinds, whether ordinary or warlords, exploded one after another. Boom! The gaping mouth did not linger and eventually entered another world, devouring the zombies inside. Soon, everything returned to calm, and at this moment, the night watchmen all came to their senses. Minister Li Xiao was covered in blood, just now in despair and sweating profusely. Now that he had come to his senses, he immediately looked towards Su Chen, a look of relief flashing in his eyes. Just now, he saw some things and guessed that Su Chen was behind it. He really is talented. Li Xiao couldn't help but say. Night Watchman, follow me into the space and take care of all the remaining zombies inside. Li Xiao crossed the mountain of bodies and led the Night Watchman into that space. Inside, there were countless casualties. The gaping mouth was incredibly powerful, biting down numerous zombies. But there were still some zombies left. However, they were severely injured and frightened, and when they encountered Li Xiao who had come in, they retreated step by step. In the end, within just ten minutes, Li Xiao returned with his men. Spread the word, the whole city is on alert, search for the remaining zombies. Li Xiao ordered. Lin Zi carried Su Chen down from the rooftop and came to Li Xiao. She smiled and said, I have already issued the order, all departments have started to take action to deal with the remaining zombies, there shouldn't be a problem. Good, well done. Li Xiao nodded, then he approached Su Chen and asked, was that you're doing just now? Su Chen scratched his head awkwardly. That was a dog hair Su Chen dug out using a treasure map. Su Chen said it was a one-time treasure, a dog hair naturally shed by the Xiong Tian dog, Lin Zi said somewhat regretfully. If it wasn't a one-time thing, that would be great, wouldn't it? Xiong Tian dog's hair? Li Xiao couldn't help but glance at the big black dog, then asked, does a single hair shed naturally by the Xiong Tian dog have such power? How powerful is the real Xiong Tian dog? The big black dog turned its head away, seemingly indifferent. Su Chen was also unsure about such a powerful being, just shook his head and said, I don't know, but it's definitely strong. Su Chen, do you have any more of this kind of dog hair? Li Zhao's eyes showed anticipation. No. Just this one. Su Chen was a little regretful and said, it would be great if we could find the dog's den of the Xiong Tian dog. There must be a lot of its naturally shed dog hair inside. It would be great to pick up a few hundred strands at that time. Behind Su Chen, the big black dog stared at Su Chen, baring its teeth as if it wanted to bite. Ha ha! Li Xiao couldn't help but laugh and said to Su Chen, if there is really such an opportunity, remember to call me. Let's bring back all of its dog dens. If dog hair has such power, the Xiong Tian dog's den is probably even stronger. Minister is right. Su Chen rubbed his hands and said, in addition to the dog den, there may also be the Xiong Tian dog's food bowl, toys, and so on. Let's bring them all back. Woof. The big black dog couldn't help it and bit Su Chen on the buttocks. Su Chen screamed in pain, jumping up uncontrollably. He touched his buttocks, blood on his hand. Su Chen looked at the big black dog angrily and said, why did you bite me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Lindsay quickly walked over, apologized to Su Chen, then glared fiercely at the big black dog before saying to Su Chen, you're injured, come to my house, I'll treat you. Su Chen touched the wound. It was bleeding, but not deep, just a skin break. He didn't know if he would get rabies. If he did get rabies, that would be a real problem. Also, he had already activated genetic evolution and was now a second-tier warrior. Would he still get rabies? What are you afraid of? Just then, Bald Lei walked over, casually took off the underwear on his head and stuffed it into his pocket, and said to Su Chen, I've been bitten before, and nothing happened. Besides, this big black dog's teeth are cleaner than ours. Nothing will happen. After a pause, Lei grabbed Su Chen's hands and said, Thank you this time. If you hadn't sold me this pair of underwear, I might have died in battle. The underwear that Su Chen sold to Lei could boost his strength by up to 20%. Don't underestimate this 20%, it could really save lives in critical moments. In today's battle, Lei had teetered on the brink of life and death several times. If it weren't for this special underwear, he might have already perished, and all the night watchmen would have been seated. 
So, he was truly grateful to Su Chen. It's nothing. If there's something good in the future, I'll still think of Captain Lei first. Su Chen smiled. Su Chen, let's go. I'll take you to get treated. Lin Zi pulled Su Chen and quickly left. The big black dog bared its teeth at Li Xiao for a while before leaving. This dog is really not a good thing. When the big black dog left, Lei couldn't help but say. I also think it's not a good thing. It even bit me back then. If it weren't for Captain Lin's sake, I would have killed it long ago. Captain Zhang's figure appeared and spoke slowly. All right, let's stop here. Li Xia pondered for a moment and said, Don't provoke Lin Zi's big black dog if there's nothing wrong. It's not simple, its background is probably astonishing. He thought of some things, but it wasn't the right time to say them now. If it was as he thought, then the origin of this big black dog was indeed astonishing. However, some details didn't match up. By the way, how many survivors are there from this zombie incident? Li Xiao asked. Preliminary estimates suggest at least a hundred. Lei's expression turned slightly serious as he said, ordinary zombies are not a problem, relatively easy to deal with. However, three zombie kings have escaped, and their whereabouts are currently unknown. Unknown. Li Xiao pondered for a moment. Retrieve all the city's surveillance footage. We must find them. Yes. After Lei and the others left, Li Xiao pressed a button on his special ops earpiece and said, Everyone, you don't need to come for support. The zombie crisis has been mostly resolved, but now, three zombie kings have escaped and their whereabouts are unknown. I need skilled trackers to come and support immediately. Li Xiao, has the zombie crisis been resolved? How was it resolved? Someone asked. I found some dog hair naturally shed by the Xiong Tian dog, which triggered a bit of power left by the Xiong Tian dog on it, that's how we solved this zombie crisis, Li Xiao said proudly. I'm really envious. What kind of luck do you have? Encountering a crisis three times in a row, and solving them all by yourself each time. By the way, has the person who controls the Rui Jingu Bang been found? Voices kept coming out of the special operations headset. In Tianhe City, they did indeed encounter three crises in a row. The first time, someone dug out a dragon. The second time, someone dug out a young vermilion bird. The third time, someone dug out a massive army of zombies, almost plunging Tianhe City into an apocalypse. Fortunately, all three crises were resolved. I currently have no leads, Li Xiao said slowly. When I find out, I will let everyone know. Night Watchman Family Building, Room E807 Su Chen originally planned to return to his own home, but was dragged here by Lin Zi. Lie down on the bed and take off your pants, Lin Zi commanded. Lin, isn't this inappropriate? Just give me the medicine, I'll do it myself. Su Chen hesitated. Doing this in broad daylight was really not appropriate. Hurry up. Stop dilly-dallying, not manly at all. Lin Zi urged, take off your pants and lie down, are you waiting for me to undress you? Su Chen, feeling helpless, had no choice but to lie down on the bed. There was a pleasant fragrance on the bed that made him feel relaxed. Reluctantly, Su Chen took off his pants. Seeing this scene, Lin Zi's face blushed slightly. She took out the ointment and quickly applied it. Hmm. It's cool and comfortable, Su Chen couldn't help but say. It was indeed very comfortable. This ointment was obtained using a treasure map, it's miraculous for treating external injuries. Lin Zi proudly said. I usually don't give it to others, but this time, I'm giving you some because my dog bit you, Lin Zi said as she gently applied the ointment to Su Chen's wound. After three minutes, Su Chen touched his buttocks and found that it had scabbed over. Is it really that miraculous? Su Chen asked in amazement as he pulled up his pants. Of course, it's that miraculous. Lin Zi said proudly. I've been seriously injured several times, and it has always saved me. After a pause, she said to Su Chen, All right, you can go back now. Don't worry about your buttocks, it's fine now. Okay, thank you, Lin, Su Chen expressed his gratitude and quickly bid farewell, returning to room 808. Upon returning, 
Su Chen extended his left hand, and a total of 15 treasure maps appeared out of thin air, falling directly into the palm of his left hand. I killed so many zombies, and all I get are these few treasure maps. Isn't that too stingy? Su Chen couldn't help but complain. At the same time, in room 807, Lin Zi looked at the big black dog and asked, You suddenly bit Su Chen, did you discover something? The big black dog was as intelligent as a demon, even surpassing many humans. It wouldn't just bite people randomly. Biting someone was always purposeful. Did you figure it out? The big black dog raised its head, somewhat surprised. Humph. Lin Zi snorted lightly and asked the big black dog, Tell me, what did you discover? Is there something wrong with Su Chen? At this point, she couldn't help but worry. If Su Chen had a problem, how should she handle it? The big black dog thought about Su Chen's computer browsing history but shook its head, saying, I haven't found any issues at the moment, and Su Chen's blood is normal. Is that so? Lin Zi stared at the big black dog, feeling that it might be hiding something from her. But for the moment, she couldn't figure out what the big black dog could be hiding from her. Then why did you bite him? Lindsay said somewhat angrily, You've wasted my divine medicine for nothing. You know the value of this divine medicine. Lindsay was truly distressed because even a small amount of this ointment could fetch a sky high price at auction. She herself was reluctant to use it, as this medicine could not be produced currently and could only be obtained through treasure maps. The big black dog gave Lindsay a disdainful look and slowly said, When I heard he wanted to move my doghouse, and even take away my food bowl and toys, I got angry. What's wrong with me biting him? Any problem with that? The big black dog expressed his dissatisfaction, indicating that Su Chen was currently on their side, otherwise, he would have bitten him to death. Didn't you say you're not a Xiong Tian dog? Lin Zi asked in silence. Did I say that? The big black dog shook his head, looking puzzled. So, are you really a Xiong Tian dog? Lin Zi pressed on, her eyes shining. If you think so, then I am. The big black dog couldn't be bothered and lazily lay down on the balcony. By now, it was already dark outside, with light shining brightly. You're such a strange dog. Sometimes you claim to be a Xiong Tian dog, and other times you say you're not. Now even I can't figure out if you really are. Lin Zi sighed helplessly. Room 808. Su Chen returned, took off his pants, and carefully examined the scab in the mirror. Lin Jie's medicine is really powerful. It's already dark now, not suitable to go out and dig for treasure maps. I can only wait until tomorrow, hoping for some surprises. I hope tomorrow will bring me some surprises. Su Chen put on his pants, stood on the balcony, deep in thought. I'm only a second-tier warrior now. When will I be able to dig out good things and become a warlord? Warriors are the weakest existence, above them are the warlords, like Lin Zi, Lei Gang, and Li Shao, who are actually warlords. Their strength is quite terrifying. Su Chen couldn't help but envy them. In any civilization, strength is the most important factor, whether in the past, present, or future. Su Chen was eager to become stronger, especially after experiencing three crises in Tianhe City this urgency became even stronger. Without strength, even with night watchman protection, the likelihood of death is very high. For example, in today's zombie crisis, although it was resolved, who knows how many people died or were injured after the zombies arrived. Become stronger, become stronger, and even stronger. Su Chen told himself silently. It's truly sad not being able to defeat even a dog without enough strength. After taking a bath, Su Chen spent some time online, read some news, and then shut down the computer. The next day, as the sky brightened, Su Chen prepared to go to work at the night watchman branch. As soon as he opened the door, the big black dog, who had been waiting, squeezed in. Wow, you dare to come back? Su Chen was angry and raised his foot to kick the big black dog out. However, before he could kick the dog, Su Chen found that he couldn't do it no matter what. It was as if there was an invisible wall in front of him, very hard, blocking his foot. The big black dog walked past Su Chen with his head held high, looking disdainful. Good morning, Su Chen. 
Lin Zi came out and said to Su Chen, it's just a dog, you shouldn't lower yourself to its level. By the way, it seems to really like you and wants to stay in your house. You don't mind, do you? I actually do mind, Su Chen thought to himself, but said, it's fine. It's good to have a dog guarding the house in case of thieves. After closing the door, Su Chen followed Lin Zi to the night watchman branch. When they arrived at the night watchman branch, Lin Zi said to Su Chen, you coming to work is actually not a problem, go ahead and study well. If a night watchman goes out for something later, you can follow along to learn. Okay. Su Chen had just responded when he saw Lin Zi had already entered the meeting room. The night watchman branch had a library, and Su Chen went straight in, found warrior ninth rank, from novice to mastery and started reading it in a corner. Glancing at the camera, he realized he couldn't see clearly what he was watching, so Su Chen relaxed, took out his phone and started watching the surveillance directly. In the surveillance, a big black dog was lying quietly on the balcony. The morning sun, representing vitality, faintly, Su Chen saw something golden, following the sunlight, entering the body of the big black dog. Am I seeing things? Su Chen frowned slightly, looked carefully again, but saw nothing. After a while, the big black dog got up, wandered around the room, and finally came to Su Chen's computer, turned it on, entered the password, then opened the browser and started checking the browsing history. Damn, this dog is really smart, entering the computer password smoother than me. Su Chen couldn't help but complain. In front of the computer, the big black dog's face gradually turned dark. Waiting online, quite urgent, how to cook a big black dog. The big black dog opened a browsing history, the light shimmered on its paw, almost pressing down. However, it held back and continued to look at the next record. Warrior second rank, bitten by a big black dog, will I get rabies? Do I need to get a rabies vaccine? How to tell if a big black dog is male or female? If I find a mate for it, will it bite me to death? Or will it thank me? What medicine can knock out a big black dog as powerful as a war king? Do dogs have natural enemies? How to defeat a big black dog as powerful as a war king with the cultivation of a warrior second rank? The more. The big black dog read, the uglier its face became, holding its breath, feeling extremely uncomfortable. It really wanted to smash the computer with a slap, but after careful thought, it gave up. Then, it quietly turned off the computer, this time, it didn't delete the browsing history again. Back on the balcony, the big black dog slowly lay down again, basking in the sun as if nothing had happened. Seeing this scene, Su Chen quietly turned off his phone and started reading Warrior 9th Rank, from Novice to Mastery again. Su Chen Over half an hour later, Lin Zi finished the meeting, found Su Chen, and quickly said, perfect timing, someone has dug out a giant python, I've taken on the task, come with me. Leaving the library, Lin Zi's voice echoed everywhere, a small team, assemble at the entrance. At the same time, Lin Zi pressed a button on the night watchman's watch. Su Chen's night watchman watch immediately vibrated, he looked down and saw a gathering icon displayed on it. Following Lin Zi out the door, Su Chen saw ten people already waiting in an orderly manner at the entrance of the night watchman branch. Captain. Seeing Lin Zi, they showed enthusiasm on their faces. I've already sent the target location to everyone, let's set off now. Lin Zi ordered. An unexpected incident had occurred outside, requiring the night watchman to intervene to resolve it. Lin Zi took the initiative to take on the task, in order to train Su Chen in advance. She had high hopes for Su Chen, thinking he was lucky, being able to activate genetic evolution at a young age, and now he was even a skilled warrior second rank. If the training went well, there would be an additional strong member among the night watchmen in the future, and the entire De Xia would have an invincible strongman. So, she was very attentive to Su Chen. Su Chen was quite helpless, in fact, he didn't want to go, he felt that the most important thing for him now was to go treasure hunting. After all, he has quite a few treasure maps now, but Lin Zi has given the order, which makes him helpless and can only follow along. Tianhe City, Wanda Plaza People fled in panic in all directions, a colorful python was rampaging. Someone here used a treasure map and dug out a colorful python. Everyone step back, the night watchman here takes over. Su Chen followed Lin Zi and heard Lin Zi's loud shout echoing in all directions. 
The ground was already stained red with blood, limbs and arms scattered everywhere. Obviously, before the night watchman arrived, the colorful python had already caused multiple deaths. A girl who couldn't afford clothes suddenly screamed in agony, swallowed by the colorful python, emitting a piercing scream. But the scream quickly stopped, blood flowing from the colorful python's mouth, a scene that was unbearable to watch. At this moment, the bold people nearby seemed to realize the danger and fled in fear. Block all sides, no one is allowed to approach, and the colorful python is not allowed to leave. Lin Zi ordered, and immediately four people in a small team took action. They stood in the four directions, holding knives in their hands, ready to strike at any moment. Su Chen Lin Zi suddenly ordered, you follow the six of them and attack the colorful python together. It has eaten people, so there is no need to leave it alive, just kill it. Pausing, Lin Zi added, and do not use your trump card, this is to train you. This was Lin Zi's purpose, to train Su Chen. Otherwise, dealing with a colorful python that wasn't even a battle king didn't require his personal intervention. Me, unarmed? Su Chen couldn't help but speak up. Although he had joined the night watchman, he still didn't have a handy weapon. Was he really going in empty-handed? Could he win like this? Take this knife. Lin Zi reached out, and a long knife appeared in his palm. Su Chen's eyes widened, where did this knife come from? All right, let's move. Lin Zi ordered. The other six immediately attacked the colorful python. Su Chen, holding the knife, was conflicted and worried, hesitating. In warrior level 9, from novice to master, there were actually many combat techniques introduced. Su Chen knew the theoretical knowledge, but in terms of practical application, he was really lacking. Su Chen, aren't you going? Lin Zi spoke up, you are a night watchman now, you should know that at critical moments, if you hesitate, it will lead to many deaths. Su Chen understood the reasoning. But when it really came down to it, he couldn't help but feel nervous. This was a colorful python, terrifying to see on a normal day. Not to mention, Su Chen had been afraid of snakes since he was a child. It was no exaggeration to say that Su Chen standing here now already showed great courage. Su Chen gripped the knife and slowly approached, his gaze fixed on the colorful python. Suddenly, Li Zhao's figure appeared beside Lin Zi. This Su Chen, his courage isn't that small, right? Li Xiao frowned and said, with the arrival of the treasure map three years ago, even ordinary people have become very brave, this Su Chen. He could see that Su Chen was a bit scared. Let's wait and see. Lin Zi spoke softly, I believe in Su Chen. Li Xiao nodded, said no more, and quietly watched. Suddenly, Su Chen leaped into the air, appearing tens of meters high. With the long knife in hand, it hummed and then came crashing down. Splurt! The colorful python was restrained by a team of six people, leaving no time to deal with Su Chen. This slash fiercely cut into the python's vital spot. Is this the heavenly slash? Li Xiao widened his eyes suddenly and said, one of the combat skills in Warrior Ninth Tier, from novice to master, heavenly slash. He turned to Lin Zi and asked, did you give private lessons to Su Chen? Are you kidding? I just let him read books, I didn't teach him anything. Lin Zi also couldn't hide her astonishment and quickly said, besides, if I did teach him, with just two days of practice, for Su Chen to unleash such a deadly strike, his talent, TSK TSK, is quite terrifying. Lin Zi didn't hesitate to say, it can be said that Su Chen is born for battle. Yes. Li Xiao couldn't help but say, such a character, the first in three years. After a pause, Li Xiao said, when we get back, let Su Chen try some other combat skills to see if he can reach the same level. Finally, Li Xiao seemed a bit worried and instructed. Make sure they all keep quiet, don't spread today's events. Also, don't disturb others during the experiment. Yes, Lin Zi nodded. Li Zhao's figure retreated, and in just three to five seconds, he was gone. At this moment, Su Chen turned to look, a hint of doubt flashing in his eyes. He clearly saw Li Xiao next to him just now, so why was he gone now? Li Xiao was elusive, if this continued, it would scare people. Clap. 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 Lin Zi applauded, walked over slowly, and said to Su Chen, you have surprised me once again. 
Last time, Su Chen activated genetic evolution and became a warrior. This time, she realized that Su Chen might be born for battle. This is talent. Back at the Night Watchman branch, Su Chen continued to read books. When it was time to clock out at 12 o'clock, Su Chen immediately left the Night Watchman branch without stopping. After being delayed all morning, now he finally had time to dig for treasure maps. With limited lunch break time, Su Chen didn't go far. He left the building, turned left and right, and after several turns, he found one of the coordinates near the Night Watchman branch, then focused his gaze. Here is sealed a lump of feces that can promote the growth of spirit plants. Oh, by the way, it's very smelly. Golden letters appeared. Su Chen was stunned. Feces? What can this thing do? Promote the growth of spirit plants? He opened his phone and quickly typed in the keywords treasure map and feces for a search. Soon, Su Chen saw a news article from half a year ago, where someone dug out a lump of feces and sold it for over 8 million. Damn! What a profit! I must dig it! Dig it now! Su Chen ignored the warning that it's very smelly and directly used the treasure map. In the next instant, a space appeared. A lump of feces appeared. After seeing the feces, Su Chen, not knowing if he was seeing things, vaguely saw that a giant beast had dropped such a lump of feces in the past. This one was small. But there was also a lump as big as a large iron pot on a rural stove. It's so big, how can I take it away? Su Chen was stunned. Before he could think of a solution, Su Chen's face suddenly changed, without hesitation, he immediately covered his nose. It stank. It was really too stinky. In that instant, not only did Su Chen smell the stench, but countless people in Tianhe City also smelled it. Strange, my snail noodles shouldn't be this smelly, right? A woman was cooking snail noodles, wrinkling her brows when she smelled the odor, but soon her mouth watered, so stinky, it must be delicious. In a hotel room, a man and a woman were doing something unspeakable. Suddenly, the stench rushed in. The woman frowned and asked, Did you fart under the covers? Why is it so stinky? No, you're too stinky, you have to pay more. Night Watchman Branch, Cafeteria Li Xiao was eating when suddenly he frowned, What's happening? Such a strong smell. Lin Zi sat opposite, glanced around, and said, Lei Gang, Zheng Tian, who farted? You're all grown-ups, pay attention to your manners. It wasn't me. Me neither. Lei Gang and Zhang Tian spoke up one after the other. Hearing this, Li Zhao's frown deepened, and suddenly he seemed to think of something and asked, Could someone have dug up the excrement of some creature? After a pause, Li Xiao said, Half a year ago, someone dug up a pile of excrement, and the whole city stank for a month. I hope this won't happen in our Tianhe city. Li Xiao was somewhat worried. If it stinks for a month, it would be better to kill him. How is that possible? Lindsay shook her head and said, according to existing records, in the past three years, only one person in the world has dug up a very smelly pile of excrement, so it shouldn't happen. Suddenly, the phone rang. I'll take the call. Lindsay glanced at it and said with some confusion, it's strange, why is Su Chen calling me? Confusion aside, Lindsay answered the call and put it on speakerphone. Since they were all familiar with each other, she wasn't afraid of others hearing, and she felt that Su Chen must have something important to discuss. Lin Jia, where are you? I need your help. I just used a treasure map to dig up a pile of excrement. Su Chen's voice came from the phone, and it's quite large. Can you bring a car to tow it away? Everyone looked at each other, then they suddenly realized something. Is it very smelly? Lin Zi hesitated and asked. Ha! Huh? How did you know? Su Chen was very surprised. Send me the location, I'll be right there. Lin Zi hung up the phone, her expression turning extremely unpleasant. It turned out to be dug up by Su Chen. Should we say Su Chen is lucky or unlucky? Su Chen is quite lucky, Li Xiao suddenly laughed and said, it may stink, but this thing is still very valuable. Lin Zi, take people to deal with it immediately. I'll call someone to figure out how to get rid of this pile of excrement quickly. After a while, 
Su Chen saw Lin Zi and her team rushing over, and he quickly went to greet them. Lin Jia, you finally came. If you hadn't come, I would have been suffocated by the smell. Su Chen couldn't help but say. Did you dig this up? Lin Zi held her breath, not wanting to breathe. Yes, Su Chen nodded. Vacuum pack it, don't let the smell leak out. Lin Zi ordered, and someone behind her immediately took action. Finally, after the excrement was disposed of, the air became much fresher. At this point, Lin Zi no longer held her breath, but she kept fanning in front of her with her jade hands, still showing her disgust. Su Chen, this thing should be of no use to you, right? Lin Zi asked. No use, Su Chen thought for a moment. He didn't have a spiritual plant himself, so what would he do with this thing? Take it back to grow chives to eat? Okay. The branch will help you deal with this thing. Just wait for the news. After saying this, Lin Zi hurriedly left with her team. It was even smellier here. Even though the excrement dug up by Su Chen had been disposed of, the entire Tianhe city was still incredibly stinky. Who knows how many days it would take for the smell to dissipate. Someone else dug it up and sold it for over 8 million. If I sell it for over a million, it should be fine, right? Su Chen thought to himself. So smelly. Su Chen covered his nose and quickly left. Ten minutes later, Su Chen arrived at the next location, took out the treasure map, and focused on it. There is a spiritual plant sealed here, and its spiritual fruit has just ripened. If you swallow it, you can become stronger. However, its fruit's fragrance can be smelled for miles and may attract unnecessary danger. Golden words appeared. To dig or not to dig? What if it attracts danger? Su Chen was conflicted. But soon, he understood, this is Tianhe City, what is there to be afraid of? Let's dig. Immediately, Su Chen used the treasure map. A space appeared. Inside, there was a spiritual plant swaying gracefully. On the spiritual plant, hung a bright red spiritual fruit. Su Chen didn't recognize the spiritual fruit at all. But upon seeing it, he couldn't help but salivate, wishing to swallow it immediately. So fragrant. Su Chen couldn't help but exclaim, it's really fragrant. Although I don't know what this spiritual fruit is called, just eating it will do. Immediately, Su Chen reached out. The spiritual plant flew out. Su Chen picked the spiritual fruit and immediately started munching on it. The fruit was sweet, far surpassing any fruit Su Chen had ever eaten. The taste was indescribable, just making Su Chen feel comfortable all over, as if a weight had been lifted off his shoulders, even feeling light as if he were about to ascend to immortality. Suddenly, Su Chen saw that there were nine chains inside his body. Currently, two of the chains had already broken. But there were still seven chains, imprisoning his genes. Boom! Suddenly, a surge of energy rushed in, unstoppable in its momentum, in the blink of an eye, it submerged one of the chains. At this moment, Su Chen suddenly felt enlightened and immediately practiced the breathing technique recorded in Warrior Ninth Stage, from novice to mastery, then tried to actively control this surge of energy. Instantly, the surge of energy gained consciousness, under Su Chen's control, this time, he could actively break the chain. Crack! One chain was broken, shattered into pieces. Su Chen felt that he had undergone genetic evolution, originally a second tier warrior, and now, he had already reached the third tier. However, this was not the end. The surge of energy had been consumed a lot, but now, Su Chen felt that he might be able to break the fourth chain. Just then, Su Chen suddenly heard a piercing alarm sounding throughout Tianhe City. Even the night watchman's watch he was wearing kept vibrating. This is. Su Chen lowered his head to look at the night watchman's watch, his face changing slightly, is a monster heading towards Tianhe City? What's happening? Suddenly, Su Chen saw the spiritual plant in front of him, his expression changing again, could it be because of this thing? Su Chen remembered that the golden text indicated that its fruit's fragrance could be smelled from miles away, possibly attracting unnecessary danger. Could this danger be attracting monsters from the wilderness? Over the past three years, People had dug up countless treasure maps, sometimes unearthing monsters. After injuring people, 
they would escape into the vast wilderness, even the country had no way to deal with them. Moreover, over the past three years, they had been multiplying, to the point that some areas had become forbidden zones for humans. Fortunately, I have already eaten the spiritual fruit produced by this spiritual plant. Su Chen couldn't help but feel lucky. If he hadn't eaten it, the fragrance would have spread even further, attracting more monsters. Should I go support them now? Su Chen hesitated. He was currently breaking the chains, and once broken, his strength would undoubtedly undergo a qualitative improvement. However, he was now a night watchman, part of the system, which was good, but sometimes he had to follow orders. This made Su Chen very uncomfortable. After some thought, Su Chen continued to practice the breathing technique, breaking through the fourth chain while calling Lin Zi. Sister Lin, I might be a little late. Su Chen quickly spoke. What's wrong with you? Lin Zi asked on the phone, and she could tell from the loud wind noise around her that she was on the road. I just dug up a spiritual fruit, just ate it, and now I'm already a third-tier warrior. If I push further, maybe I'll be a fourth-tier warrior. Su Chen quickly replied. Then don't come now, improve your strength first. Lin Zi understood Su Chen somewhat and did not force him to go for support. Also, Lin Jia, the monster rushing towards Tianhe City may have been attracted by something I dug up. Su Chen weakly spoke. Where are you? Lin Zi couldn't help but curse. Su Chen quickly reported his location, and then Lin Zi hung up the phone. In less than three minutes, Lin Zi arrived and saw the spiritual plant in front of Su Chen. You actually dug up this thing, no wonder the monster suddenly went berserk. Lin Zi said to Su Chen, this thing is dangerous. If we keep it today, the city will surely suffer countless casualties. So, we can only abandon it now. Are you willing? Can I say no? Su Chen asked. No, Lin Zi shook her head. This spiritual plant is very valuable, but can its value outweigh human lives? Even though Su Chen was reluctant, he knew the importance of the situation and immediately nodded, saying, as a guardian, the safety of the people is paramount. If sacrificing this spiritual plant can ensure the peace of Tianhe City, I am willing to abandon it. Su Chen spoke firmly, then asked weakly, how strong is the monster that is coming? Above the War King, no one in Tianhe City can stop it. Lin Zi said as she carried Su Chen and the spiritual plant, hurrying along. How much can I sell this spiritual plant for? Su Chen asked unwillingly. Based on past records, at least 30 million. Lin Zi couldn't help but say. 30 million, even now, that is a substantial income. One treasure map costs 200,000, so 30 million can buy 150 treasure maps. Don't we have any warriors above the War King? Su Chen was even more unwilling. 150 treasure maps gone. If we dig up everything, who knows how many treasures we can find. By doing so, we would directly lose a trillion. We do, but they can't come in a short time. Even if they come, they can't stay in Tianhe City forever. Once they leave, Tianhe City will still be in danger. Lin Zi understood Su Chen's thoughts and sighed, sometimes you have to admit defeat when you are not as skilled as others. It's the same for guardians. Su Chen fell silent. After a while, he said, the monster. May have come for the spiritual fruit produced by this spiritual plant, but I have already eaten the fruit. Will there be any trouble later? Don't worry, Lin Zi said frankly, you've already eaten it, can it make you spit it out? By giving it the spiritual plant, you've already given it face, it will leave. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief at her words, but couldn't help but wonder if he should use the Taoist fragments to strike the opponent with one blow? But if he did that, he would have no cards left. That would be very bad. No matter when, you have to keep some cards hidden, in case of danger, those cards could save your life. By the way, Lin Jia, what was the strength of the giant dragon that was dug up before? Su Chen asked. This way, he could make a comparison. That giant dragon was a Ninth Order War King, an invincible existence among the War Kings, able to fight ten opponents at once. Lin Zi spoke with some trepidation. Regardless of the type of dragon, it represents power, 
often beyond what humans can handle. I may be able to kill the giant dragon with one blow, but I may not be able to kill the monster that is coming this time with one blow, Su Chen said somewhat despairingly. Suddenly, with a crack, Su Chen's face couldn't help but show a hint of joy, in just a few minutes, the fourth shackle in his body broke. He reached the fourth level of the warrior. Su Chen felt incredibly powerful, as if one punch could shatter the sun and moon. Of course, he knew that this was just an illusion from his recent breakthrough. You've reached the fourth level of the warrior? Lin Zi asked. I've reached the fourth level, Su Chen nodded. Reaching the fourth level of the warrior is great. From now on, you will be a fourth level warrior, even among the guardians, you will be considered strong. Lin Zi did not hesitate to praise, then she asked with some anticipation, is there still extra power in your body to sprint to the fifth rank warrior? There is still a bit of power, but I feel like I can't sprint anymore, the power has already subsided, maybe I have to wait until next time, Su Chen sighed and said, it's a pity, when I dug it up, the spirit plant only bore one spirit fruit. If there were two, I would at least be a fifth rank warrior now. You are too greedy, Lin Zi couldn't help but say, just having one spirit fruit on these spirit plants is already lucky, and you want two? In the past three years, so many people around the world have been digging up treasure maps. Many people dig up spirit plants that are just spirit plants, without even a single spirit fruit on them, and some are even dead. Those with slightly better luck might come across half a spirit fruit, but who knows who took a bite out of it, and the power contained in the spirit fruit has already dissipated by half. People like you are really rare. In their conversation, the two quickly left the city area. Li Xiao, accompanied by skilled night guards, had arrived early. Across from them, a terrifying monster comparable to a mountain was pounding its chest. It was a gorilla. A normal gorilla is only about 2 meters tall and weighs 500 pounds. However, the gorilla in front of them was at least 13 or 14 meters tall, and its weight was immeasurable, but visually, it was at least in the ton range. As soon as Su Chen and Lin Zi appeared, the gorilla across from them immediately fixed its gaze on the spirit plant Lin Zi was holding, its eyes gleaming, and even drooling. But when it saw that there were no spirit fruits on the plant, it let out a deafening roar. Not only did this gorilla roar in anger, at that moment, a giant bird suddenly flew overhead, emitting a piercing scream. They had all come for the spirit fruit on the plant, but now, the fruit had disappeared, making them very angry. At this moment, all the night guards were on high alert, fearing a conflict. If a conflict were to break out, even with strong reinforcements, countless casualties would occur in Tianha City. Of course, although they feared conflict, they were also prepared for it. Night guards, not afraid of a fight. Su Chen stood beside Lin Zi, feeling the terrifying aura emanating from them, finding it hard to breathe. They were just too powerful. What kind of realm is above the War King? Su Chen secretly wondered. That's enough. Suddenly, Lin Zi stepped forward and spoke up, there is only one spirit fruit, and when it was dug up, my people had already eaten it. Staying here serves no purpose for you. It's better to retreat now, to avoid attracting the strong warriors of my great Xia, who will slaughter you all on this spot. Su Chen was slightly taken aback by her words. Beside him, Li Xiao explained in a low voice, that gorilla was dug up by Lin Zi. After a pause, he added, that giant bird was also dug up by Lin Zi. Is that so? Su Chen really didn't know about this. I felt the spirit fruit disappear, so give me the spirit plant. The gorilla's gaze fell on the spirit plant, and it even spoke. The spirit plant is mine. The giant bird circled in the sky, also speaking. I knew you would want the spirit plant, so I brought it with me. However, there is only one plant, so I can't divide it for you. Lin Zi raised her voice and said, I will have the head of my night guard division, Li Xiao, take the spirit plant to the uninhabited area, and then you can fight over it yourselves. But I must tell you in advance, the strong warriors of my great Xia are already on their way here. No matter how you fight over it, you must not harm a single hair on the heads of my great Xia people. Otherwise, it will be a situation of no peace until death. Lin Zi turned his head and handed the spiritual plant to Li Xiao. You two wait here and continue fighting, I'll deliver the spiritual plant to you first. 
Li Xiao picked up the spiritual plant, his figure disappeared in an instant, and when he reappeared, he was already several kilometers away. After several consecutive times, he threw the spiritual plant into an uninhabited area. Then, Li Xiao returned. All right, I believe you can feel it too. I've already delivered the spiritual plant to the uninhabited area. You can go and grab it yourselves. No need to thank me. Li Xiao shouted. Roar! The gorilla roared to the sky, leaped up in an instant, soaring hundreds of meters high, and when it landed again, it was already several kilometers away. Its speed was terrifying. And every time it landed, the ground kept shaking as if an earthquake had occurred. The sky-covering bird flew into the sky, spread its wings, and suddenly, a fierce wind raged on the ground, as if a level 17 typhoon had swept through. Whether it was the gorilla or the sky-covering bird, they were both extremely terrifying beings. They are both above the war kings. No one in our Tianha branch can match them, not even the minister. If we really fight them, we can only end up dead, Lindsay said to Su Chen, with a hint of helplessness in her voice. She continued, there are similar strong individuals above us, but many terrifying beings have been discovered nationwide, supporting the whole country. It's impossible for them to come here now. After a pause, Lin Zi continued, this thing cannot be eaten, so let it cultivate for a few days. When the stronger individuals above us have time, we'll go and get it back for you. This thing costs at least 30 million, we can't just let it be taken away for nothing. Lin Zi was also angry, but there was nothing she could do. In this world, might makes right. No. Su Chen shook his head. With 30 million, I could buy 150 treasure maps. Who knows how many treasures I could find. The value is immeasurable. They didn't take away 30 million, but a trillion, or even more. Su Chen said very seriously. Everyone was stunned. Was it really calculated like that? Su Chen, you. Li Xiao was about to speak but was interrupted by Lin Zi. Lin Zi gritted her teeth and said, Su Chen, you're right. At least a trillion. You must get it back double in the future. Li Xiao's heart sank. These two people were abnormal. However, upon careful calculation, it seemed not bad, as they weren't the ones losing out. Boom! Suddenly, a distant mountain was directly shattered into pieces, raising a cloud of dust. The entire ground also trembled violently, as if an earthquake was approaching. The distance was too far, and Su Chin couldn't see clearly, but he could feel the aftermath of the battle, which made his heart tremble. Is this the power above the War Kings? Su Chen couldn't help but think, when will I be able to reach such strength? About ten minutes later, the sky-covering bird let out a mournful cry, flew over the heads of the crowd, and disappeared in an instant. Su Chen saw that the sky-covering bird was defeated, with many feathers missing. The spiritual plant has fallen into the hands of the gorilla. Li Xiao looked into the distance and said, it has retreated, so it should be safe now. We can go back. The group breathed a sigh of relief. Gorilla, take good care of my spiritual plant for me. I will soon take back what belongs to me. Su Chen looked into the distance, gritting his teeth. Back at the night watchman branch, Su Chen wanted to go dig for treasure maps again, but the lunch break was over, and he had to go to work. This made Su Chen very helpless. Forget it, I'll go dig after work. Sitting here, I still get paid every month. I can't have issues with money, right? Su Chen sat in the library, comforting himself. The warrior's nine levels, from novice to mastery is very thick, and Su Chen reads it word by word, striving to imprint everything in his mind so he won't forget. Suddenly, Lin Zi comes and sits in front of him, asking with a smile, how much have you read? Less than a third, Su Chen truthfully replies. That's not bad, Lin Zi is quite satisfied. How many of the combat skills in there have you mastered? Su Chen's expression darkens at the question, and he slowly says, So far, I have seen a total of 13 combat skills, but I think I can only master three of them. Three? Lin Zi becomes interested and asks. Earth split, mountain opening, sky slash. Su Chen truthfully replies, As for the other 10 combat skills, 
There are some parts that I don't quite understand and need to ponder further. Lin Zi is secretly surprised at his progress. Su Chen has only been a warrior for a few days? Or rather, has he only been a knight guardian for a few days? The warrior's nine levels, from novice to mastery records many combat skills, and mastering three combat skills in such a short time seems like boasting. But considering it's Su Chen who said it, she feels maybe it's not just boasting. Nevertheless, she wants to test Su Chen's achievements. So, she stands up, takes Su Chen's hand, and walks out of the library, saying, Come, let me see how skilled you are. The Tianha branch of the Night Guardians is vast and has everything. Soon, Su Chen follows Lin Zi to a training ground. Here, there are weapon racks with all kinds of weapons. Come on, let sister see how skilled you are. Lin Zi faces Su Chen with a generous and expectant smile. Su Chen quickly shifts his gaze and asks, Is it here? If not here, then where? Lin Zi urges with a smile, Come on, I can't wait any longer. In that case, I'll do it. Su Chen takes a deep breath, and in his mind, he focuses on the three combat skills, ultimately settling on the skill Earth Split. In the next moment, Su Chen controls the power within him, gathers it in his right foot, lifts his foot, and stomps fiercely. The entire training ground trembles, and several terrifying cracks spread rapidly from where Su Chen's foot landed towards Lin Zi. Hmm. Lin Zi is surprised, leaps into the air to easily avoid it, and then says, Your understanding of Earth Split is good, useless against a war king, but quite effective against ordinary warriors. If someone were to attack Su Chen, facing the combat skill Earth Split would undoubtedly affect the speed of their attack. Su Chen picks up a long knife from the weapon rack, feels its grip, and then launches an attack towards Lin Zi. Mountain opening. Su Chen slashes with the knife. In Su Chen's eyes, Lin Zi is not Lin Zi, nor does she have a generous demeanor, she is a mountain. His goal now is to split open the mountain in front of him. This is mountain opening. The strike is unparalleled, and Su Chen seems invincible, even causing Lin Zi, a war king, to be moved when facing this strike. Bang! The long knife comes down. Instead of dodging, Lin Zi extends her right hand and grips the blade between her fingers. No matter how hard Su Chen tries, the knife cannot move any further. Very good, really impressive, Lin Zi can't help but praise, then she lightly squeezes the knife between her fingers. Su Chen feels the knife slipping from his hand. In the next moment, Lin Zi flicks the knife away, and it returns to the weapon rack. No need to try the sky slash skill, I've seen enough, Lin Zi's eyes sparkle with a smile. She walks over and says, you should go back to reading. When Su Chen left, Lin Zi couldn't help but mutter to herself, he's truly a talented individual, born for battle. After a moment of contemplation, Lin Zi went to Li Zhao's office and asked, when does the new recruit training start? Ha! Huh? Why are you asking about that? Although puzzled, Li Xiao answered, it should be in three to five days, but we'll have to wait for further notice. Has the training location been confirmed? Lin Zi inquired. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but it should be the same as last year, Li Xiao replied. Minister, I suggest you use all your connections to have this year's training location set in our Tianhe city, Lin Zi said. It just so happens that some of our branch's night guards are stationed at some hidden places. Maybe we can eliminate one or two of those places to relieve some pressure for us. Why suddenly bring this up? After a brief moment of thought, Li Xiao understood and asked, because of Su Chen? Exactly, Lin Zi nodded. Su Chen learned three combat techniques from warriors nine levels, from novice to mastery in just a few days. They are earth splitting, mountain opening, and sky slash. He learned three? Li Xiao, who was originally sitting down, stood up upon hearing this, his gaze becoming somewhat intense. He asked, so, what level has he mastered these three combat techniques? Novice? Beginner? Proficient? Combat techniques are categorized into different levels based on mastery, ranging from weakest to strongest, novice, beginner, proficient, mastery, perfection, transcendence, return to the origin. Proficient? Lin Zi chuckled lightly, showing a hint of disdain, and said, you really underestimate him. Is it mastery then? Li Zhao's face flushed with excitement. Mastery? 
Ha ha. Lindsay shook her head. Then is it perfection? But how is that possible? Li Zhao's expression showed disbelief. While it's not impossible for someone to reach the level of perfection in combat techniques, it usually takes several months. Even for some geniuses, it would still take at least a month. Perfection? Ah, keep guessing. Lin Zi shook her head. Not even perfection? Could it be transcendence? Li Zhao's whole body trembled. How could that be possible? It's simply impossible. What are you thinking? Lindsay shook her head, unable to hold back a laugh. Even if Su Chen is a genius, it's unlikely that he has reached the level of transcendence in three combat techniques. But, I said but. But what? Li Xiao urged anxiously, Lin Zi, please tell me quickly. Lin Zi smiled and said, Su Chen has mastered all three combat techniques to the level of perfection, but he's already at the point where he could potentially step into the realm of transcendence at any time. With Su Chen's talent, perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, even if he's mediocre, entering the realm of transcendence within a month is definitely not a problem. After speaking, Lin Zi took out a tablet and started playing a video. The video showed Su Chen demonstrating the earth splitting and mountain opening techniques. Li Xiao held the tablet, trembling as he watched the footage. This is a true born fighter. Li Xiao couldn't help but exclaim after watching. Lin Zi, send me the video to my email. I need to leave Tianhe City now and go see the higher ups, Li Xiao said solemnly. The new recruit training location for this year must be in Tianhe City. If we go to other cities, Su Chen's safety cannot be guaranteed. Tianhe City is relatively safe. But once you leave Tianhe City, it's uncertain. On the way to other cities, various dangers may be encountered. Some dangers are completely uncontrollable. Every year, many people die, and neither Li Xiao nor Lin Zi are willing to take that risk. Losing someone born for battle would be a great loss. After the words were spoken, Li Xiao changed into the uniform of the Night Watchman and left the Night Watchman branch directly. A moment later, Li Xiao drove away from Tianhe City. Su Chen was still unaware of this scene, as he was still in the library reading Warrior 9 levels, from novice to expert. The whole afternoon was very calm, with nothing else happening, and the night watchmen were rarely seen in action. So Su Chen kept reading until it was time to leave work, then he quickly left the night watchman branch. Endured the whole day, finally can go dig for treasure map. Su Chen was very excited. The sky was not dark yet. However, pedestrians were rushing on the road, as it was the peak hour after work, and people were all gathered together. Su Chen stood in front of the traffic light, patiently waiting for the red light to turn green. Suddenly, someone let out a terrified scream. Su Chen looked over and immediately saw someone using a treasure map to dig out a zombie. Fortunately, there was only one zombie. But even so, it caused chaos at the intersection. Quiet all of you. Su Chen suddenly shouted, picked up a pebble from the ground, flicked it with his fingers, and the pebble shot out like a bullet, piercing through the zombie's forehead. The zombie struggled and fell to the ground, unable to get up again. Soon, law enforcement officers quickly arrived to clean up the scene. As for Su Chen, under the envious and odd eyes of the crowd, he had already left. Killing just one zombie was insignificant. With stronger power, it's different, but still not strong enough. Su Chen thought to himself as he hurried along the road and quickly arrived at his destination, then focused his gaze. Here is sealed a divine crocodile, its body is as tough as diamond, it can fly and burrow, and can easily pierce through flesh and blood, unbeatable by you. Golden words appeared. Damn! Su Chen couldn't help but curse, luck is really bad, if this is dug out, I will be dead for sure. A crocodile is a crocodile but adding the word divine in front of it must mean it has some extraordinary qualities. Such a terrifying existence cannot be resisted by oneself, and if it is released, not only will he die, but the entire Tianhe city might be in danger. In the past three years, some cities in Dasha have disappeared like this. I can't sell this treasure map. To anyone else, who knows how strong this divine crocodile really is? Su Chen couldn't help but say. In an instant, Su Chen felt like he had lost 200,000. 
I can see the hint, I'll wait a bit longer, wait until I get stronger, then come back to see the hint. If I can solve it, dealing with a divine crocodile should be worth more than 200,000, right? With this thought, Su Chen suddenly felt much better. A divine crocodile, when stewed, must be very nutritious, and its skin can definitely be used to make some armor. Even if it's just making leather shoes, someone will surely be willing to pay a high price. On to the next one. Su Chen took the treasure map and continued to search for the next destination. Twenty minutes later, Su Chen arrived at the destination and focused his gaze. Here is sealed a seal of mountains and rivers, if you can refine it, you can control a piece of the world. But your strength is too weak, if you fail to refine it, you may easily perish from the backlash. Looking at the golden words in front of him, Su Chen felt like crying. The seal of mountains and rivers, being able to control a piece of the world, such a good treasure, could easily lead to one's demise from the backlash. I can't dig this treasure map now. I have to keep it, wait until I'm a bit stronger, then I'll come back to dig. Su Chen gritted his teeth. Ten minutes later, Su Chen changed his location and looked again. Here is sealed an ancient coffin, inside lies a supreme existence, once opened, blessings and disasters are unpredictable. Su Chen frowned. Blessings and disasters are unpredictable once opened? Inside lies a supreme existence, how supreme is it really? This cannot be opened. Su Chen's intuition told him that the existence in this ancient coffin might be even more terrifying than the so-called divine crocodile. Continue to switch to the next treasure map. Now, I have a treasure map. I don't believe that I can't dig out something good. Su Chen was determined. Half an hour later, Su Chen focused his gaze. Here is sealed a drop of blood from an ancient powerhouse. Over endless years, 99.9999999999% of the power in the blood has dissipated, leaving only one billionth of the power, which is just right for your genetic evolution now. Looking at the golden words, Su Chen couldn't help but swallow his saliva. Finally found a treasure. Su Chen didn't hesitate at all and immediately used the treasure map. A space appeared, and a drop of blood floated in the air. When Su Chen saw this drop of blood, his vision blurred, as if he had seen a scene from endless years ago. Millions of immortals as soldiers, hundreds of thousands of great Luo as generals. Kill, 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 kill. A majestic figure, holding a horizontal sword towards the sky, with a fierce aura. The majestic figure seemed to sense something, and actually turned to look at Su Chen. Su Chen met his gaze and realized that the other party, across endless years, could see him. The person's lips moved, about to say something, when the scene suddenly shattered. Su Chen's vision returned to normal. Was that scene just now an illusion, or a dream? It was so real that even I can't tell. Su Chen was a bit confused. But soon, he snapped out of it and reached out his right hand. The drop of blood flew out and fell into Su Chen's palm. Damn! What a loss! Suddenly, Su Chen became irritable. He saw that as the drop of blood fell into his palm, most of the contained power dissipated, so he quickly stuffed the blood into his mouth. Instantly, a powerful force spread throughout his body, and Su Chen saw that he still had five shackles inside him. It was because of these shackles that humans couldn't control extraordinary power. Only by breaking them could humans control extraordinary power and thus initiate genetic evolution. Kill, 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 kill. The power contained in the blood turned into a figure, instantly rushing towards one of the shackles. At the moment of collision, the shackle shattered instantly and then dissipated. The figure rushed towards the next shackle, with a crack, the shackle shattered again. Su Chen wanted to attack the next shackle but the power contained in the blood was already running low, and the figure it transformed into became more and more illusory. You. A voice came from the figure's mouth, but only one word was spoken before the figure cracked and disappeared directly. Two more shackles shattered. I now have the cultivation of a sixth-level warrior. Su Chen was excited. What did that figure want to say to me in the end? After calming down, Su Chen thought back to the scene inside his body, furrowing his brow slightly. After a while, Su Chen stopped thinking about it and then began to blame himself. 
most of the power in the blood dissipated, and two shackles shattered. If I had been a little faster, wouldn't I have become a king today? Su Chen regretted, feeling heartbroken. Missed a great opportunity. Ha! Huh? Suddenly, Su Chen remembered that this drop of blood only had one billionth of its power left. And yet, it was just a drop of blood. So, how terrifying was the strength of that ancient powerhouse? Millions of immortals as soldiers, hundreds of thousands of great Luo as generals. Kill, 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 kill. Su Chen recalled the scene he had seen, the majestic figure holding a horizontal sword towards the sky, with unparalleled momentum. Immortals, is it the immortal I understand? Great Luo, what does it mean? Great Luo Golden Immortal? Su Chen pondered silently. However, after thinking for a while, he had no answers. Indeed, Su Chen was very lacking in knowledge in this area. When I go back at night, I'll look it up online. Maybe I can find something on the internet. Su Chen told himself. Twenty minutes later, Su Chen arrived at the next destination and looked around. Here is sealed the fragment of the white-robed Guanin, one of the thirty-three incarnations of Guanin. It still retains a trace of the Tao rhyme of the white-robed Guanin. For you, it poses no danger. Looking at the golden characters, Su Chen was excited. Did he discover another treasure? Guanin, who in the world does not know her? As for her 33 incarnations, although Su Chen did not know them all, he had heard of them. Among them, the most familiar was the white robed Guanin. Dig! I must dig! Su Chen did not hesitate and immediately used the treasure map. A space appeared. Su Chen saw a piece of white cloth floating inside, stained with some blood. Unfortunately, the blood had long dried up. Buzz. Suddenly, the entire Tianhe city shook, and a lotus platform appeared, with a figure standing on it. She was draped in white robes, holding a jade vase in her left hand and making a wish gesture with her right hand. The whole Tianhe city shook. Countless people looked up, staring at the white robed Guanin in astonishment. The mythical Guanin had descended to earth for the first time. Soon, countless elderly people knelt down, murmuring, May Guanin Bodhisattva bless us. The Night Watch Division Lin Zi walked out, looking at the phenomenon between heaven and earth, and exclaimed, The white-robed Guanin, one of the 33 incarnations of Guanin? Has someone unearthed the white-robed Guanin, or discovered a treasure containing her Tao rhyme? Regardless of who it is, Tianhe City will gain another strong individual. Lei Gang also stepped out and spoke after hearing this. Let's investigate immediately to see who unearthed it. If it was dug up by someone with ill intentions, it could be a big problem. Zhang Tian also came out and expressed immediate concern. All right, let's act right away. Lindsay nodded, it's a pity the minister is not here, otherwise, he would have discovered it first. Lei Gang and Zhang Tian couldn't help but sigh, it was a shame the minister was not present. Otherwise, if the person who unearthed the treasure was invited to the Night Watch division, they might gain another colleague. Soon, the phenomenon dissipated. Su Chen reached out, and his palm held a piece of blood-stained white cloth. Although it doesn't directly enhance my strength, this white-robed guanine fragment can be one of my trump cards. Su Chen's eyes gleamed as he glanced at the darkening sky. And at this moment, he was very hungry, knowing he had to go eat. Looks like I can only continue digging for treasures tomorrow. Su Chen felt a bit regretful. Joining the Night Watch Division, time was truly insufficient. Having to go to work every day, when would he catch a break? But if given another chance, he would still join the Night Watch Division. I've killed so many zombies, used up a dog hair shed naturally by the howling celestial dog, at the very least, the minister should give me dozens of treasure maps. Why hasn't he given them to me yet? Su Chen muttered to himself as he walked back, feeling a bit resentful. Of course, he wasn't in a rush now, he still had some treasure maps on him. To dig them all up, it might take three or four days. Damn it! The minister wouldn't be greedy with me, right? Su Chen suddenly felt a bit annoyed. If he was taken advantage of, he couldn't fight back, and without a platform to voice his concerns, 
what could he do? I hope not. Otherwise, when I become stronger, I'll make him beg for mercy. Su Chen clenched his fist. Back at home, Su Chen brought back some fast food and enjoyed it in front of the big black dog. The big black dog looked at Su Chen, drooling on the floor. Su Chen thought for a moment, picked up a piece of meat, and threw it out. The big black dog tilted its head back, accurately caught the meat in its mouth, chewed a few times, and then stared at Su Chen again. I haven't eaten yet. When Sister Lin comes back, I'll have her cook for you. Su Chen buried himself in his meal. After a while, Lin Zi returned, looking somewhat tired. The big black dog followed Lin Zi back inside. After finishing his meal, Su Chen took a shower and returned to his room to turn on the computer. After some thought, he began searching. Millions of immortals as soldiers, hundreds of thousands of great Luo as generals. However, there were no results. The search results were all over the place, with many scam websites even ranking at the top. No records at all? Su Chen frowned. Nowadays, the internet is highly developed, in the era of information explosion. Even some ancient texts can be found online. However, this particular phrase yielded no results. Su Chen then typed seven kill characters in the browser and hit enter. This time, there were results. After someone used a treasure map, they dug up an ancient steel named Seven Kill Steel, with seven kill characters carved in blood. Su Chen clicked on it, and there was a photo attached. Seven Kill Steel? Su Chen scrolled through the page, continuing to read the news, which mentioned, but on the day the Seven Kill Steel appeared, it mysteriously disappeared and its whereabouts remain unknown to this day. Su Chen pondered, is the Seven Kill Steel related to that ancient being? The answer was unknown. Forget it, I'll ask Lin Jia tomorrow, maybe she knows something. After a while, Su Chen searched for answers related to Great Luo, but the results were all over the place, making it hard for him to distinguish. After reading a bit of Warrior Ninth Stage, from novice to expert, Su Chen fell asleep. In his dream that night, Su Chen dreamt of digging up a treasure map. Suddenly, in the dream, Su Chen saw an ancient steel with seven kill characters, blood flowing from it. Kill, 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 kill. Su Chen woke up, repeatedly uttering the word kill. At the same time, in a cave, an ancient steel trembled as if about to disappear into the distance. Several figures arrived together, forcibly suppressing the steel. Gradually, the steel stopped trembling, and the people let go. What happened? Why did the seven kill steel suddenly shake, someone asked. I don't know, someone replied, but one thing is certain, it must have sensed something. So, does that mean someone has unearthed something related to the seven kill steel outside? We should send people to investigate and see what's going on. If something related to the seven kill steel is found, we'll kill that person, bring back the item, and study it together. The end of the world is coming, we must grow and achieve great things. When Su Chen woke up, he didn't go back to sleep because it was already morning. After getting ready, Su Chen left for work and found the big black dog waiting at the door, along with Lin Zi. It really likes you, it's been waiting for you here since this morning, Lin Zi said with a smile. Su Chen squatted down, patted the big black dog's head, and said with a smile, good. Dog, go inside. The big black dog looked surprised, walked straight in, and then lay down on the balcony to bask in the sun. Lin Jia, let's go, Su Chen closed the door and said with a smile. While waiting for the elevator, Lin Zi suddenly asked, the vision of the white-robed Guanin last night, was that caused by you? Ha! Huh? Lin Jia, you even know about that? Su Chen was surprised. Night watchers are indeed formidable. Smartphones are now widely used, and someone captured you on camera, and the vision of the white-robed Guanin was reflected from you, Lin Zi paused and continued. But don't worry, last night I ordered the deletion of all videos related to the white-robed guanine on the internet, and as for the person who filmed it, I gave him some money and had him sign a confidentiality agreement. So theoretically, no one should know about your situation. Thank you, Lin Jia. Su Chen was deeply moved. This was something he truly hadn't expected. If someone sets their sights on a treasure, they might resort to killing and robbing. 
Even with night watchmen intimidating all around, there are some who are not afraid of them at all. Such incidents have indeed occurred before. So, after hearing this, Su Chen was truly touched. It was obvious that Lin Zi had thought things through very carefully. Inside the elevator, Lin Zi asked again, What did you dig up? Pausing for a moment, she added, If you feel it's private, you don't have to say. But her eyes revealed eagerness, clearly showing that she really wanted to know. Su Chen hesitated and said, Actually, it's nothing much, just a piece of blood-stained white cloth. Blood-stained white cloth? Lin Zi was surprised to hear this, the white-robed Guanin is one of Guanin's 33 incarnations, with boundless magical powers and vast supernatural abilities. Who could make her blood-stained? Whom? Su Chen sensed the meaning behind her words and immediately asked, Lin Jia, are you quite knowledgeable about the white-robed Guanin? I know a little bit. Lin Zi seemed reluctant to say more. Lin Jia, that's not very nice of you, is it? I've told you everything, but you're not telling me anything. Su Chen pretended to be angry. Actually, I don't know much either. I only know that within the night watchman, someone once dug up a severed arm with white cloth on it, said to belong to the white-robed Guanin, but I'm not sure if it's true. Lin Zi hesitated slightly and said, the minister might know, but he may not say. Su Chen was surprised to hear this. So there was still this matter? No wonder when he first crossed over, he saw a lot of news but never came across any information about Guanin. I also heard. Lin Zi thought for a moment and continued, that severed arm suspected to be the white-robed Guanin is one of the foundations of my great Xia. However, in the past three years, I have never seen anyone use that severed arm. Or perhaps they have used it, but the information has been well sealed, even I don't know. Upon hearing this, Su Chen was even more astonished. After getting out of the elevator and getting into Lin Zi's car, Su Chen sat in the passenger seat and asked again, Lin Jie, do you know any news that is not in the news, can you tell me? Su Chen was filled with strong curiosity. News is for the common people to see, regardless of its authenticity, but there are some things that will never appear in the news. Perhaps, many years later, there will be a documentary that tells of things that were not reported in the news at the time. There's quite a lot, what do you want to know? Lindsay asked as she drove. Related to myths and legends, Su Chen said expectantly. Whom? Lindsay pondered for a moment and said, In our Tianhe city, someone may have dug up the Rui Golden Cudgel of the Great Sage equal to heaven, of course, it may not be the real Rui Golden Cudgel, it could just be a fragment. Su Chen felt somewhat familiar. At this point, Lin Zi continued, that day, when the giant dragon rampaged, most of our idle strongmen from the Night Watchman branch were mobilized, but it was difficult to defeat the dragon. At a critical moment, someone wielded a cudgel, I saw it with my own eyes, and on it were five golden characters Rui Golden Cudgel. Unfortunately, to this day, we have not been able to find this person. Su Chen's heart skipped a beat, secretly thinking, could it be the fragment of the Taoist weapon I dug up? But he said, I've heard about this, besides this, is there anything else? Someone once dug up the ginseng fruit, after eating it, they directly leaped from an ordinary person to a superior warrior. Lindsay said, that person is now a pillar of my night watchman. The ginseng fruit blooms once every 3,000 years, bears fruit once every 3,000 years, and ripens after another 3,000 years. It takes almost 10,000 years to eat the ginseng fruit. Just by smelling it, one can live for 360 years. If you can eat one, you can live for 47,000 years. Su Chen couldn't help but envy, when will he be able to dig out a ginseng fruit himself? However, I have heard the minister mention that when the ginseng fruit is dug out, 99% of its power has already dissipated, the enhancement power is very limited, and the increase in lifespan is also very limited, it is impossible to reach 47,000 years. Lin Zi thought for a moment and added. Even if most of it has dissipated, if you can eat one, it is still an unparalleled opportunity and fortune. Su Chen was still very envious. In the car, Lin Zi said a lot, and Su Chen listened a lot. Even Lin Zi mentioned that someone had dug out the God Ceiling List. The God Ceiling List. It's simply unbelievable. Soon, they arrived at the Night Watchman branch. 
Su Chen walked into the library and continued reading Warrior 9 levels, from novice to master. After a while, Su Chen saw that no one was paying attention to him, so he deliberately avoided surveillance and took out his phone to access the surveillance at home. At the same time, the big black dog lay on the balcony basking in the sun, lazily, with a faint golden light shimmering on its body. After a while, the big black dog seemed to feel that it had basked enough, so it stood up and went straight into Su Chen's bedroom. It skillfully opened Su Chen's computer, entered the password, and finally opened the browser's history. Millions of immortals as soldiers, millions of great Luo as generals. Kill, 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 kill. 7 Kill Steel The big black dog looked at the browsing history, unable to hide its astonishment in its eyes, but soon, a touch of excitement appeared. Could that god of killing be dug out by Su Chen? The big black dog's mind was shaken, muttering to itself, no, if it really was dug out, wouldn't there be signs from heaven and earth? Or, did Su Chen dig out some treasures related to that person? No, no, none of this is right, even if it's a treasure, if it contains a trace of Dao Rain, it will also show signs from heaven and earth. This is the rule. The big black dog's heart stirred, should I go find Su Chen and ask? At that moment, the big black dog was really tempted, eager to go find Su Chen immediately, to ask clearly and understand everything. However, it suppressed its inner thoughts, feeling that it was not the right time to ask now. I have returned inexplicably, not even understanding myself, and now, my strength is weak again, it's better to develop sneakily. The big black dog thought to itself, otherwise, if there is a conspiracy, and my identity is exposed, who knows what terrible things might happen. And Su Chen is not simple, I smell the aura of the ancestor star on him. Logically, this shouldn't and couldn't be. Perhaps there is a huge conspiracy hidden in all this. In just a few seconds, the big black dog pondered a lot, feeling that it was better to act crazy and stupid, develop sneakily, and talk about other things when its strength was stronger. Right now, it was too weak, its strength was only comparable to that of a war king, not even a fraction of its peak power, which made it lack confidence. After a while, the big black dog turned off the computer, returned to the balcony, and lazily lay down to bask in the sun. In the library of the night watchman branch, Su Chen saw the scene and put away his phone. Before it was time for lunch, Lin Zi suddenly called and said, Su Chen, come find me immediately. Su Chen was puzzled, but he hung up the phone and hurried over. After entering the office, Su Chen saw that besides Lin Zi, there were also Captain Lei Gang, Captain Zheng Tian, and an old man he didn't recognize. You are Su Chen? The old man walked over, as if looking at his own grandson, with a kind smile, reaching out to touch Su Chen's head, but Su Chen avoided it in advance. I am. Su Chen nodded in confusion. Su Chen, this is Mr. Lu from District East 1, Lin Zi quickly introduced. Mr. Lu, nice to meet you, Su Chen quickly replied. Su Chen, you've unearthed some very special feces, and Mr. Lu is here for that, Lin Zi said with a smile. Mr. Lu thinks you're lucky, so he wants to meet you. Is this still a child? Mr. Lu chuckled. If it were an adult, I would negotiate the price, but since it's a child, I won't haggle. Su Chen, I'll take the feces you dug up, for a total of two million. What do you think? Su Chen looked at Lin Zi, who nodded at him. He knew this was a good price, so he quickly said, let's go with what Mr. Lu said. This child is really sensible, Mr. Lu said with a smile, clearly pleased with Su Chen. Then he added, if you dig up any spirit plants, you can also contact me. Ha! Huh? Su Chen was taken aback, then blurted out, I dug up a spirit plant, but it was taken by the Gorilla King. I heard about that, Mr. Lu said. If I were a bit stronger, I would intervene, but I can't beat that Gorilla King, so there's nothing I can do. After a pause, he said gently, actually, you can endure for now. The spirit plant was taken, and it can't be lost for a while. It can't bear fruit, and the Gorilla King took it, so it's useless. It also takes time to take care of it. Even if you manage to get it back, it won't have much meaning, right? But when we become stronger, we can find a way to get it back. By then, at least we won't be at a loss. Mr. Lu's meaning was clear, keeping it now would waste his resources, a loss outweighing the gain. This reasoning made sense to everyone, 
but Su Chen couldn't agree. In his eyes, these were like many treasure maps, and digging them up could make him stronger in a very short time. But he couldn't say this, so he just smiled at Mr. Liu and said, You're right. All right then, I'll take my leave. The money will be transferred shortly. If it doesn't arrive, give me a call. Mr. Liu nodded at everyone, then walked out of the office and disappeared in an instant. For a moment, Su Chen felt a very frightening aura, and he looked. At Lin Zi, tentatively asking, above the War King? You just joined, so you don't know. Mr. Liu is a strong figure in District East 1, Lin Zi said with a smile. It seems Mr. Liu has high hopes for you, which is a good thing. Remember, when you see Mr. Liu in the future, you must show respect. Su Chen nodded. Su Chen, this kid is really lucky, Lei Gang rubbed his bald head and chuckled. Kid, I'll ask you again, do you want to join me? Bang! Before Lei Gang could finish, Lin Zi kicked him out of the office. Mr. Liu has left, why haven't you? Lin Zi looked at the remaining Zhang Tian, her eyes wary. Captain Lin, Su Chen is your person, I won't poach him, Zhang Tian smiled awkwardly and quickly left. He could leave with dignity now, but if he stayed longer, Lin Zi would make it difficult for him. Su Chen, who wouldn't love him? He actually wanted to poach, but Lin Zi was just too rough, a good girl who kicked people at the drop of a hat. Vulgar. Zhang Tian silently complained as he left the office, helping Lei gang up and joking, Captain Lei, are you okay? Get lost. Lei gang cursed and got up, seeming to look down on Zhang Tian. You coward. You. Zhang Tian wanted to argue, but saw Lei Gang pat his butt and leave. In the office, Lin Zi looked at Su Chen with a different expression, like an older neighbor sister. She smiled and asked, Are you satisfied with the price? Selling for two million, of course, I am very satisfied. Thank you, Sister Lin, Su Chen said with a bright smile. As night watchers, we have many expenses, so this amount is actually not much, Lin Zi patted Su Chen and said, you don't need to give me a bribe this time, keep it for yourself. I don't need your trifles. Last time, Su Chen gave her a bribe, which made her happy, but she didn't want to continue accepting it. If she accepted, her integrity would be compromised, and the reputation of night watchers would suffer. How could they protect the country and its people? After leaving the office, Su Chen went to the library to read until lunchtime, then left the branch eagerly. Today, he continued to search for treasure maps. In Su Chen's eyes, digging for treasure maps was the most important thing. Everything else was secondary. He even didn't have time to eat for the sake of digging for treasure maps. Here is sealed a pair of embroidered shoes with lingering resentment. Do not release it under any circumstances. Arriving at the first target location of the day, Su Chen's expression turned extremely unpleasant. It was just a pair of embroidered shoes, yet it was so dangerous. The golden inscription warned not to release it. The repetition of do not emphasize the level of danger. In this way, Su Chen felt that he couldn't sell this treasure map. If someone released it, the entire Tianhe city might turn into a living hell. I am truly great. For Tianhe city, for Dasha, for humanity, I can only keep this treasure map locked away until the day the hint changes. Su Chen was moved by himself and quickly changed the location. Here resides a winged dragon, beneath it lies a volcano that has been dormant for a hundred thousand years. Once you release it, the volcano will erupt, and a radius of three thousand miles will turn into a barren land. Su Chen looked at the golden inscription in front of him, feeling insane. What kind of luck is this? If I dig out a winged dragon and the volcano erupts, the entire Tianhe city will be in trouble. No. Not only Tianhe City, but several neighboring provinces within a radius of 3,000 miles will also be affected. Moreover, this is a winged dragon, something from textbooks. Who knows how powerful it is? Su Chen knew he must not dig up this treasure map or sell it to anyone. If someone else dug it up, the consequences would be equally terrifying. Soon, Su Chen went to the next location. Here is sealed millions of evil spirits that hate humans and all living beings. Wherever they go, there will be devastation. Looking at the golden inscription, Su Chen's heart trembled. Millions of evil spirits. 
What kind of concept was this? If released, Tin Has City would immediately face Doomsday. Fortunately, I can see the hints, otherwise, I would have died countless times. Su Chen felt some fear. At this point, he finally understood why most people dared not dig up treasure maps in the past three years. This thing would either kill you now or later. The only way to survive was never to dig up a treasure map, not even once. Of course, Su Chen was an exception. After a while, Su Chen found another location and gazed intently. Here is a sweet potato planted by an immortal. Eating it will make you stronger. Golden words appeared. Su Chen almost cried. Finally, he could dig up something good. Although it was a sweet potato, because it was planted by an immortal, the effect was bound to be extraordinary. Su Chen could already imagine that today, he would definitely surpass the War King. Great ape, I will come find you soon, Su Chen thought happily. Then, Su Chen used a treasure map, and a space appeared. Su Chen reached out and directly pulled the sweet potato out of the ground. There was only one sweet potato, not very big, about the size of an adult's fist. But when Su Chen saw the sweet potato, drool ran down his mouth. His instinct told him that this was a good thing, and after eating it, it would greatly benefit his body and allow his life to leap forward. Without any hesitation, Su Chen went to a nearby supermarket, bought a peeler, processed the sweet potato, and then started nibbling on it. It tasted sweet and delicious, with an endless aftertaste. Su Chen inwardly saw that of the nine chains in his body, six had already been broken. And now, the power contained in the sweet potato gathered together, under his control, and ruthlessly slammed into the seventh chain. Crack! A crisp sound rang out, and Su Chen saw the seventh chain shatter. Suddenly, a strong feeling surged through his body, making Su Chen feel incredibly powerful. Seventh level warrior. But soon, Su Chen was stunned. The power of the sweet potato had already been consumed by 90%, and the remaining power was simply not enough to break the next chain. Is that it? Su Chen cursed, isn't this sweet potato planted by an immortal? And then, that's it? What kind of nonsense immortal is this? The sweet potato he planted is too lousy. Su Chen had prepared to surpass. The war king directly, but now, his dream was shattered. But, it's not a complete loss. At least, I am now a 7th level warrior. As long as I work harder, I can be like Sister Lin and the others, all war kings. Su Chen was not discouraged at all, but rather comforted himself, then he glanced at the time and shook his head, there are still some treasure maps left, but they are too far away to go now. I can only wait until after work in the afternoon. And, I'm too hungry now, I hope the cafeteria still has food. Su Chen thought to himself. After eating the sweet potato planted by an immortal, Su Chen did not feel full at all, but rather felt even hungrier. After eating at the Night Watchman Branch's cafeteria, Su Chen went to the library to read Warrior Level 9, From Beginner to Mastery. So that's how it is. Su Chen read with great interest, enjoying himself and unable to extricate himself. He didn't even know when Lin Zi came to his side. Su Chen. Lin Zi sat next to Su Chen and suddenly spoke, startling Su Chen. Sister Lin, when did you come? Su Chen was surprised and quickly put down the book. Just now. Lin Zi smiled and said, how's the book going? In another day or two, I should be able to finish it. Su Chen replied truthfully. One or two days, that's still pretty fast. Lin Zi smiled and said, you continue, I also came to the library to read. With that, Lin Zi picked up a book titled War King Level 9, From Beginner to Mastery, and started reading. Su Chen saw the cover and couldn't help but be stunned, then he leaned in to see the contents. As a result, as soon as he leaned in, he felt dizzy, as if he saw a lot of words, but also as if he saw nothing at all. Vaguely, it seemed like he saw many people, but also like he saw no one at all. For a moment, Su Chen felt a bit confused. You are only a warrior now. When you reach the War King level, then you can read this book, Lin Zi said with a smile. Okay. Su Chen nodded, somewhat eagerly thinking, I am now at the seventh level as a warrior, not far from the War King. With some effort, it can be achieved in a day or two. 
After a while, Su Chen's phone suddenly rang, a call from someone named Xiao Ru. Xiao Ru was Su Chen's classmate who used to live in the same neighborhood. However, after Su Chen's parents passed away, Xiao Ru's parents did not allow them to keep in touch. It was the same in the previous life. It is the same in this life. Su Chen, help me, please come and save me. After answering the phone, Su Chen heard Xiao Ru panting as if she was running. What's wrong? Su Chen asked with a frown. I used a treasure map and dug up something terrifying, it's chasing me. Please come and save me. Xiao Ru seemed scared and started crying. Send me your location. Su Chen hesitated and said. If he were an ordinary person or not a member of the Night Watch, he would not bother. But now, he is not only an ordinary person but also a member of the Night Watch, and it is his duty to respond. Of course, the most important thing is to protect the country and its people, and heaven will reward the treasure map. Xiao Ru has unearthed something terrifying, and if not stopped, it will cause countless deaths and injuries. As soon as the call ended, Su Chen received Xiao Ru's location on his phone. The location was being shared in real time, and he could see that Xiao Ru was on the move. However, Xiao Ru was just an ordinary person, so her speed was average. Just then, Su Chen and Lin Zi's night watchman watches vibrated, indicating an urgent call for help from another night watchman. Su Chen saw that the location was the same as Xiao Ru's shared location, indicating that the terrifying thing Xiao Ru had unearthed had been observed by the night watch and an emergency call for help had been sent out. Lin Zi glanced down and quickly said, the danger isn't too great. Let me accompany you there. Lin Zi had been by Su Chen's side all along and had seen and heard everything. Since she knew the person Su Chen was going to help, her presence would provide additional security. Okay. Su Chen nodded and said, Thank you, Sister Lin. Thank me for what? Lin Zi chuckled, It's my duty. Leaving the Night Watch branch, Lin Zi carried Su Chen and flew directly to the destination. Xiao Ru was panting heavily, covered in sweat, leaning against the railing in front of her, staring at the terrifying creature below. It was a monster. It had a huge mouth full of blood, with two rows of eyes, each row with nine eyes. The eyes were bloodshot, emitting a murderous aura as if it was born to kill. Its body was covered in bloody lumps, resembling a toad's back. Surprisingly, it had over a dozen tentacles growing on both sides of its body, with slippery liquid flowing on them, looking very disgusting. Behind it, long trails of blood extended, with many severed limbs scattered on both sides of the blood trail. It was evident that it had already harmed many people. In front of it, two night watchmen were trying to fend it off. However, it was clear that the two night watchmen were struggling, appearing to be on the offensive but only managing to hold it back. Moreover, they were already injured, with blood staining their clothes. Everyone, retreat immediately, run as far as you can, do not stand and watch. One of the night watchmen shouted loudly while defending against the monster. Some people were too bold, when they saw someone blocking the monster, they did not run but instead stood at a distance taking photos and videos. Hey, girl, why aren't you running? One of the night watchmen turned around, saw Xiao Ru standing on the overpass, and immediately shouted. Bang! The night watchman who tried to warn Xiao Ru was immediately struck by the monster and sent flying, coughing up blood. Instantly, the pressure on the other night watchman increased significantly. Just a few seconds later, the second night watchman was also knocked down and struggled to get back up. The monster approached one of the night watchmen, opening its huge mouth, ready to swallow him whole. Stop, you beast! Suddenly, a long spear descended from the sky, emitting a terrifying force that swept in all directions. The monster reacted quickly, dodging the fatal blow in an instant. However, one of its tentacles was pinned to the ground by the spear and then snapped off. Lin Zi descended from the sky with Su Chen, standing in front of the almost eaten night watchman. Captain Lin, you're here? That's great, the almost eaten night watchman exclaimed excitedly. We're here, so everything will be fine, Lin Zi helped the night watchman up, then she glanced at the monster opposite, frowned slightly, and asked Su Chen, can you handle it? I feel like your strength has increased a lot. Let me try. Give me a knife, Su Chen stared at the monster with determination, reaching out to take the long knife Lin Zi handed him. 
Earth split. Su Chen gripped the knife and stomped the ground fiercely, causing terrifying cracks to spread rapidly towards the monster. The monster immediately felt unstable, wanting to leave, but suddenly, the ground burst open with more cracks. Kill. Su Chen roared, wielding the knife and charging forward. In that moment, the monster in Su Chen's eyes was not a monster, but a mountain. Mountain split. Su Chen unleashed the martial skill Mountain Split, slashing down fiercely. The monster, with its rows of eyes, showed fear, seemingly surprised by the terrifying aura emanating from Su Chen. Tentacles reached out to block Su Chen's fearsome strike. However, it had underestimated Su Chen. With a swift strike, Su Chen cleaved the monster in half. Su Chen stood still, looking at the monster with a calm expression. Your martial skill has reached the realm of transcendence? Lin Zi approached, unable to hide her astonishment. Just yesterday, Su Chen's martial skill was only at the mastery level. Although one could enter the realm of transcendence at any time, it was just talk. Who would take it seriously? But today, Su Chen had already reached transcendence. And your cultivation has reached the seventh rank of warrior? Lin Zi's shock deepened. Su Chen hadn't even made a move, but she could sense his increased strength. But she couldn't quantify how much stronger he had become. Yet, when Su Chen acted, she could feel it a seventh rank warrior. In just a few days, he had reached the seventh rank of warrior? With a seventh rank warrior and a martial skill at the realm of transcendence, killing the monster in front of them was not difficult. It's just luck, Su Chen quickly responded. Wow, Su Chen, long time no see, you become so powerful. Just then, Xiao Ru ran down from the bridge, her eyes filled with excitement as she looked at Su Chen and continued, unlike those two useless people who can't even handle a monster, they still have the nerve to. Buzz. Su Chen suddenly struck down with his knife, silencing Xiao Ru's words. The two injured night watchmen looked helpless, wanting to speak up but not knowing how to argue. Xiao Ru had a blood stain on her forehead, blood seeping out. You should be grateful that the apocalypse hasn't arrived yet, and there are still rules in Disya. Otherwise, I would have cut you down with one blow. Su Chen's voice was stern, their strength may be a bit weaker, but without them, do you think you could still stand here? Su Chen pointed his knife at Xiao Ru, speaking sharply, you. Apologize to them. Right now. Immediately. Su Chen, shall we just forget about it? A night watchman coughed lightly as he spoke. She's just a young girl, isn't it embarrassing to apologize in public? Another night watchman also spoke softly, advising Su Chen to give up. However, Su Chen's face turned ugly, his gaze sharp as he pointed at Xiao Ru, saying in a deep voice, Apologize. Why should I apologize to them? Xiao Ru was initially scared, but now she regained her composure and said defiantly, Protecting us is the duty of the night watchman, that's what you should do. Why should I apologize? She didn't believe Su Chen could do anything to her, nor did she believe the night watchman could harm her. As she spoke, she took out her phone, started recording a video, and said, Family, who would understand? Just encountered a few lower-ranked night watchmen. Indeed, you are still the same. Su Chen suddenly sheathed his knife and chuckled self-deprecatingly. In the previous life, and in this life, things were still the same. Although there were many differences between the two worlds, there were still many similarities. Suddenly, Su Chen swung his knife down. Xiao Ru's phone was split in half and fell to the ground. She was completely stunned, standing in place, unable to say a word. Her pants gradually became wet, liquid flowing down and forming a small puddle on the ground, emitting a foul smell. Su Chen searched his body for a while, took out 3,000 yuan, and stuffed it into Xiao Ru's arms, this is compensation for your phone, go buy yourself a good one. Also, you better pray every day that the apocalypse doesn't come, otherwise, you won't even live for a day. Su Chen turned around, smiling, and said, let's go. Lin Zi glanced complexly at Su Chen, didn't say anything, and followed Su Chen with the two night watchmen. It wasn't until much later that Xiao Ru reacted, shouting, Su Chen, I'm your childhood sweetheart, why would you treat me like this? Back at the Night Watchman branch, Su Chen went to the library to read again. 
After Lin Zi arranged for the two injured night watchmen, she came to the library, sat across from Su Chen, and smiled, I didn't expect you to have this side. Before Su Chen could speak, Lin Zi continued, you've caused big trouble this time, it's a big hassle. If someone complains about you, they will definitely have to give an explanation. I'm not afraid, Su Chen raised his head, smiling, what explanation? They won't kill me, right? At most, I'll just quit, what else can they do to me? Hearing this, Lin Zi couldn't help but laugh, you're quite bold, but if you don't want to be a night watchman, what do you want to do? I haven't figured that out yet, Su Chen shook his head. Xiao Ru was really too much. Even he couldn't bear to watch anymore. As long as there were still rules and regulations, otherwise, he would have killed her with one stroke. Did she really think of herself as a dish? Just then, a female night watchman hurried in, placed a tablet in front of Lin Zi, glanced at Su Chen, and said to Lin Zi, Captain, you need to see this. Lin Zi casually glanced at it, pushed the tablet in front of Su Chen, and said, Take a look, it's about you. Su Chen nodded and started reading. Family, who would understand, today I encountered three lower-ranked night watchmen. G Mei, who would understand? Childhood sweethearts. Who grew up together, today he actually wants to kill me, the one I love. Speechless, this scumbag, in order to become a night watchman, actually made me kneel to the night watchman. Help, I'm just saying I'm completely speechless, today I was forced by a lower-ranked man. All the videos showed distorted content, spreading rumors, and causing trouble. Su Chen only watched for a while before he couldn't bear it anymore. He returned the tablet to Lin Zi and said, Don't show me this again. Otherwise, I'm afraid I won't be able to resist chopping her with a knife. Notify these platforms to delete all related videos and articles. If anyone posts again, ban their account and IP directly. If that still doesn't solve the problem, then inform the relevant departments to arrest the posters directly. Lin Zi seemed very experienced. Yes. The female night guard quickly left with the tablet. I didn't stop you at that time because I wanted to see your reaction and actions, and also to give you some experience and lessons. Remember next time, don't be too impulsive. Lin Zi stood up and said gently, in this world, not everyone is willing to reason. Sometimes we feel wronged, but we have to endure it. Lin Zi laughed. Su Chen seemed pensive, and after a while, he shook his head mockingly. Endure? Endure what? Once or twice can be tolerated, but three or four times, it's better to kill him. Shaking his head, Su Chen resumed reading. As he read, he suddenly felt a surge of power within him. After taking several doses of precious materials, a considerable amount of power had accumulated in his body. Perhaps seeing some records in the book, Su Chen felt a sense of enlightenment and realization, prompting the dormant power in his body to come alive and start surging. Three to five minutes later, Su Chen's internal vision revealed that the eighth shackle in his body had already shattered. He had reached the eighth level of a warrior. Is it that simple? Su Chen was stunned. Treasure maps come with both opportunities and risks. Looking at it from a big data perspective, the opportunity is only 1%, while the risk is as high as 90%. Therefore, when breaking the shackles and evolving genes, people do not solely rely on treasure maps but also undergo rigorous training. Su Chen knew this from the first day he crossed over, but training was too arduous. With the treasure map, many people were unwilling to endure the hardship. Su Chen was no exception. I can now advance to the 8th level of a warrior, not because of my own abilities, but because of the power accumulated in my body these past two days. Su Chen pondered, and upon realizing this, he became humble. Just a moment ago, he almost thought of himself as an unparalleled genius. After work, Su Chen didn't immediately go home. Instead, he had a meal in the cafeteria and then took a ride hailing car. During the ride, Su Chen casually chatted, and an hour later, he arrived in a desolate suburb. Three years ago, this place was bustling, but now it was deserted. Su Chen wouldn't have come if he had a choice, but the treasure map on him was no longer valid in the city center. He had to venture into the wilderness. I wonder what I'll find later. I'm already at the eighth level of a warrior. With some effort, tonight I will become a warlord. 
Su Chen told himself silently, his eyes filled with anticipation. Following the coordinates on the treasure map, Su Chen continuously adjusted his direction and soon reached his destination. Hmm. Su Chen's eyes lit up as he hurried over and asked, Fatty, what are you doing here? Suddenly, Su Chen saw the treasure map in Fatty's hand and also noticed the hint that only he could see. His expression changed abruptly, and he quickly shouted, Fatty, don't dig. Unfortunately, it was too late. Fatty had already used the treasure map, and a spatial rift appeared. Su Chen, what are you doing here? Fatty only realized at this moment and subconsciously turned to look at Su Chen. Without saying another word, Su Chen flew over and quickly dragged Fatty away. What are you doing? Fatty struggled, feeling a terrifying power surging within him. However, no matter how he struggled, he couldn't resist Su Chen's strength. In his perception, he was like a child, while Su Chen was a strong adult. Finally, after stopping dozens of meters away, the chubby man angrily straightened his clothes and asked, Su Chen, why did you drag me? See for yourself, Su Chen pointed to the location marked on the treasure map that the chubby man was using. There, a space emerged, revealing a deep yellow color within. Suddenly, with a whoosh, a terrifying flame spread out, instantly igniting everything within a few meters. Both the chubby man and Su Chen felt as if they were holding a blazing furnace, sweating profusely from the heat and sensing that they were about to be roasted alive. Su Chen knew that if they stayed any longer, it wouldn't be an illusion but a real danger of being burned alive. Their clothes had started to smoke. Let's go! Su Chen knew they were still too close. Without hesitation, he dragged the chubby man and ran quickly until they felt the heat subside before stopping. What, what is this? The chubby man took off his smoking jacket, shocked, and asked. This is a type of celestial fire called Xianhuang flame, touching it means certain death. Su Chen said solemnly. He had seen a warning earlier mentioning that this was a powerful celestial fire. So you were trying to save me. I thought you were trying to steal what I was digging for. The chubby man, coming to his senses, expressed gratitude, if you hadn't pulled me away just now, I might have turned into a roasted pig by now. My luck is so bad. I dug up a secret martial arts manual and almost ended my family line. Today, I mustered up the courage to come dig for treasure again, only to unearth this terrifying celestial fire. Thanks a lot, buddy. I have another treasure map on me, I'll give it to you as a token of gratitude for saving my life. The chubby man forcefully handed the treasure map to Su Chen. He was truly scared. He had thought that with the martial arts manual and his newly evolved genes as a warrior, he was safe, but a fire almost took his life. He imagined himself hanging on a wall, with his family spending money to hold a funeral feast. The thought was unbearable. Boom! Suddenly, the deep yellow flames shot up into the sky. Like a nuclear explosion, creating a terrifying mushroom cloud. At that moment, the horrifying flames spread in all directions, as if about to engulf the entire city. Did I cause a disaster? The chubby man watched in panic as the flames spread. Don't worry, I'll try to contain it. Su Chen, feeling helpless, reassured the chubby man and pressed a button on his night watch for three seconds. Night Watcher Division Su Chen had finished work, but Lin Zi was still on duty, along with Lei Gang and Zheng Tian. Suddenly, the night watches of the three vibrated simultaneously. Su Chen sent out an emergency distress signal? Lin Zi exclaimed, showing a sense of urgency, I'll go ahead. Lin Zi rushed out of the building, her figure turning into a blur as she headed towards Su Chen's distress signal. She didn't fly directly. Flying was too slow compared to running. She couldn't let anything happen to Su Chen, so she had to get there as quickly as possible. Su Chen, what's happening? Lin Zi asked as she ran and pressed a button on her watch to communicate. After pulling the chubby man back further, Su Chen suddenly heard Lin Zi's voice coming from his night watch. This watch can make calls? Su Chen was surprised and quickly explained, Lin, someone has unearthed a celestial fire. It's spreading, and I don't know when it will stop. Lin Zi, who was running fast, slowed down slightly upon hearing the words, and said to Su Chen, don't worry too much. Immediately evacuate the nearby crowd, don't let anyone get close, then be careful yourself, 
find a safe place and wait for me to come over. Strange fires have been unearthed before. The night watchmen here are already very experienced in this matter. After ending the call with Su Chen, Lin Zi pressed the special operations earpiece and said, Lei Gang, my people are too slow, and their authority is not enough. Go to the warehouse and get a second generation Nine Dragons Firehood and come over immediately. What happened? Lei Gang asked. Someone has unearthed a strange fire and we need the Nine Dragons Firehood to take it away, Lin Zi quickly explained. Okay, I'll go to the warehouse and get it right away. Lei Gang immediately took action. We still need to continue to retreat, this strange fire Xian Huang Yan is still spreading. If this continues, I suspect the entire Tianhe city will burn down, Su Chen said as he quickly retreated with the fat man. At this point, he didn't even bother to dig for the treasure map. There really was no other way, things had to be prioritized. Currently, the matter of the strange fire was more important. Not to mention that the location marked on the treasure map had already been covered by the strange fire Xian Huang Yan, so even if he wanted to dig now, it was not realistic. The only way now was to wait. As for evacuating the nearby crowd, it was not necessary, as this was a remote area with no one around. Su Chen, the fire is getting bigger and bigger, am I done for this time? Will I be caught and put on a sewing machine? The fat man was getting more and more panicked. In fact, if it weren't for Su Chen being here, he would have run away. He couldn't bear the consequences. Don't be afraid, the night watchman will take care of it soon, Su Chen said, trusting the night watchman. After about 10 minutes, Su Chen felt something and immediately turned his head to look. A figure flashed like lightning, rushing towards them. Phew! Lindsay slammed on the brakes, standing directly next to Su Chen, then looked up at the towering flames that had covered an area of over a hundred meters. It really is a strange fire. Lindsay was not worried at all, smiling as she spoke, if this thing can be tamed, it would be a great asset. But? Lindsay's expression gradually became serious, saying, why do I feel that something is not quite right about this strange fire? I'm here. Suddenly, a thunderbolt struck, and the next moment, Lei Gang was holding a hammer, bathed in lightning. Hood. Lei Gang arrived just in time, extending his left hand with a hood appearing in his palm. With his voice, the hood flew out at a visible speed, quickly enlarging and appearing above the towering flames. Boom! The huge hood came down hard, instantly extinguishing the flames in a range of hundreds of meters. The night watchmen have long developed special weapons to deal with strange fires. This is the second generation Nine Dragons Fire Hood, created based on the mythical Nine Dragons Divine Fire Hood. Dealing with a mere strange fire is naturally easy. Damn, not good, retreat quickly. Before the word's easy task could be spoken, Lei Gang's face suddenly changed, and he and Lin Zi both rushed towards Su Chen and the fat man, each grabbing one and quickly moving away. Boom! The second generation Nine Dragons fire hood exploded. It really exploded. A terrifying heat wave swept across the sky, and for a moment, Su Chen felt like he was burning. Lei Gang held the fat man, Lin Zi held Su Chen, standing two kilometers away. The expressions of the four were all very disheveled. It's over, I've caused a big disaster. The fat man saw the flames connecting heaven and earth, as if it had become a sea of fire, and couldn't help but exclaim. Lin, Captain Lei, the range of this strange fire has expanded again. What should we do next? Su Chen's gaze became serious. No wonder I felt something was off. This strange fire is not simple. Even the second generation Nine Dragons fire cover can't contain it. Lindsay's expression became unusually serious. She didn't answer Su Chen's question but said to Lei Gang, I remember, it seems we don't have the third generation Nine Dragons fire cover? The cost of the third generation is too high, and currently we don't have it equipped, Lei Gang said with an unpleasant expression. And, from what I know, even the third generation wouldn't be able to contain it. This strange fire is really too fierce. Our only option now is to report it upwards and see if there's any solution from above. As he spoke, Lei Gang took out his phone, ready to request support from above. However, Lin Zi stopped him. Wait a moment, Lin Zi thought for a moment and said, Do you think Captain Zhang can handle it? 
Lei Gang's eyes lit up at first, but soon dimmed. He said, Captain Zhang has been guarding the cave with his men and can't leave. He probably won't be able to come. You and Captain Zhang go. Replace Captain Zhang and have him come here immediately. If Captain Zhang can subdue this strange fire, then we might be able to pacify the cave he's guarding. In that case, not only will we gain another strong ally, but we can also eliminate a major threat. You're right, Lei Gang's eyes lit up again. He raised a hammer, and in a flash of lightning, his figure disappeared, leaving only his voice behind, wait for me, I'll go call for help now. Lin, can Captain Zhang really deal with this strange fire? Su Chen asked with some concern. To be honest, I don't know, Lin Zi shook her head. If he can't handle it, then we'll have to request support from above in the whole Tianhe city. Su Chen was still worried upon hearing this. At this moment, Lin Zi looked at the chubby man and asked, Did you dig out this strange fire? Yes, the chubby man lowered his head. If I remember correctly, you're the one who castrated yourself? Lin Zi asked. The chubby man lowered his head even more and softly replied, Yes. Seeing the chubby man so shy, Lin Zi didn't bother to say more and turned to Su Chen, Luckily you called for help. Otherwise, if this thing burned all night, it might have reached the city center. By that time, we would have been in danger. After a pause, Lin Zi suddenly asked, By the way, how did you end up coming here after work? Su Chen raised the treasure map in his hand and said, I came to dig for treasure on the map, but before I could start, I saw him digging out the strange fire. At this point, Su Chen couldn't help but sigh, fearing that he might miss the chance to become the war king tonight. You guys step back a bit more, I'll go take a closer look. Lin Zi nodded and headed towards the strange fire. After two minutes, Lin Zi returned with a grim expression on her face. She said to Su Chen, the strange fire is still expanding, at a rate of about 1 meter per second, which is 60 meters per minute and over 3 kilometers per hour. If it continues to expand, in less than 10 hours, it will have spread over 30 kilometers. Within 24 hours, it could engulf the entire city area. Lin Zi's expression became even more grim. At this moment, Su Chen's expression also turned very grim. He said, Lin, let's not panic yet. When Captain Zhang arrives, he might be able to resolve this. Let's hope so. Lin Zi took out her phone and said, I'll call the minister, you keep an eye on this side. Okay, Su Chen nodded. When Lin Zi went to make the call, the chubby guy finally looked up, his eyes red with tears, saying, It's all my fault, all my fault. If it weren't for me, this thing wouldn't have been dug up. Su Chen, feeling helpless, went up to comfort him for a while until the chubby guy calmed down. However, Su Chen could still see the self-blame and regret in the chubby guy's eyes. After such an incident, no one could do anything about it. In fact, in the past three years, there have been too many incidents like this, even more dangerous ones than this. After a while, Lin Zi returned and said, the minister will be back soon, and he will bring a third generation Nine Dragons fire hood with him. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief upon hearing this. With Captain Zhang and a third generation Nine Dragons fire hood, the situation was much more secure. Even the chubby guy seemed to feel much better after hearing this. Captain Zhang is here. Lin Zi suddenly looked up and said. Su Chen followed her gaze and saw a fireball approaching rapidly. Bang! A figure landed steadily in front of everyone, the flames dissipating to reveal the figure inside. Captain Zhang, you're finally here, Lin Zi said happily. Hmm, Captain Zhang nodded and said, let's focus on the task first, we can catch up later. Captain Zhang turned to look at the strange fire, and terrifying flames erupted from his body as well. I'll go in first, you all stay back, I don't want to hurt you. Captain Zhang said as he stepped into the sea of fire. Su Chen moved away from the fire while looking back, seeing the entire sea of fire churning like a raging ocean. Captain Zhang was battling the tsunami inside. After a moment, with a bang, Captain Zhang was thrown out. When he landed on the ground, Captain Zhang's figure was still unsteady, staggering backward. It's too strong, I can't subdue it. Captain Zhang said with a grim expression. Captain Lin, prepare to evacuate the people. We have provoked it, and it is now expanding at a rate of 2 meters per second. 
In less than 10 hours, it will engulf the entire Tianhe city. At the same time, request support from above, see if there's a way to resolve this. Oh, and. Captain Zhang transformed into a fiery figure, soaring into the sky, saying, when requesting support from above, remember to tell them that this is the Xianhuang flame of heaven and earth, classified as level 3. Alright, I'm off, I need to go back to guard the cave, to prevent them from coming out and causing havoc. With that, Captain Zhang flew off like a shooting star into the distance. This situation is troublesome. Lindsay couldn't help but feel despair, I didn't expect this to be the third level exotic fire, Xianhuang flame. Lin Jie, is there no way to deal with this third level exotic fire, Xianhuang flame? Su Chen frowned and asked. Su Chen had just crossed over and didn't really understand many things. He just felt that since the entire De Xia had survived these three years, there must be some means available. Now, how could they be stumped by the so-called Xianhuang flame of heaven and earth? This didn't make sense. Upon hearing this, Lindsay pondered for a moment and said, there is a way to deal with it, but talking about it is not very meaningful. We just have to wait for the minister. The minister is already on his way back. Let's see if the minister can subdue or suppress it with the three generations nine dragons ten thousand fires cover he brings back. That's the only hope. Of course, there are some methods specifically for dealing with exotic fires, but they are not usually used. They are strategic resources that are only used when the survival of Dixia is at stake. Su Chen fell silent upon hearing this. What if even the minister can't resolve it? Su Chen thought for a moment and asked. Apply for support from above. If there is support, that would be best. If not, or if support cannot arrive in time, then the only way is to evacuate with people. Lin Zi said. In fact, Captain Zhang had already made it clear that evacuation was being prepared. This indicated that even Captain Zhang was not very optimistic. So, the upcoming situation would be troublesome. On the side, Fatty was completely stunned. He had unearthed this, and he felt like he was the culprit of humanity. But at this moment, neither Su Chen nor Lin Zi had time to comfort him. Dealing with the Xianhuang flame was the most important thing. Suddenly, the void trembled, a golden light appeared, and then, a portal with a golden border emerged. With the appearance of the portal, Su Chen saw a completely different scene on the other side of the portal. Captain Zhang has already briefed me on the situation, and I understand it all, Li Xiao hurriedly walked out of the portal, his left hand extended, revealing a cover in his palm. This cover looked the same as the one Lei Gang had earlier, seemingly no different. But Su Chen knew that this was a third generation product. Buzz. Suddenly, the cover flew out and became extremely huge, covering all the Xianhuang flames in the blink of an eye. The flames were completely covered. Seeing this scene, Su Chen's face immediately lit up, feeling hopeful about extinguishing the fire. Even Lin Zi and Li Xiao felt that there was hope this time. But in the next moment, everyone showed expressions of disbelief. The cover was cracking. An exotic fire is an exotic fire, even if it's only third level, it still leaves people helpless, Li Xiao sighed and ordered, Lin Zi, gather all the night watchmen in Tianhe City, prepare vehicles, and safely evacuate all the people. Minister, are we going to abandon Tianhe City? Lin Zi's heart trembled. This was where she grew up. Now, are they really going to abandon it? Once covered by the Xianhuan flame, Tianhe City would turn into ashes. Bang! The three generations nine dragons ten thousand fires cover exploded too. The Xianhuan flame seemed to be enraged, expanding even faster. We can't not give up. The province also has no solution. I have also contacted the person in charge of East District 1. It will take at least 72 hours to resolve this, Li Xiao sighed. Currently, the Xianhuang flame is spreading too fast. Not to mention 72 hours, even 7 hours, we can't hold on. So, we can only evacuate, Lin Zi remained silent. Captain Lin, obey the order, Li Xiao suddenly raised his voice and said, In the past three years, we have lost too many cities. Tianhe City is not the first, nor will it be the last. Yes, tears welled up in Lin Zi's eyes. Then, a series of commands were immediately passed down. 
The entire Tianhe city, wherever there were human inhabitants, sounded a piercing alarm. All night watchmen, regardless of whether they were on vacation, were called back. Dear citizens, we are facing an unprecedented crisis and now need to evacuate urgently. Please bring your valuable items and head to the nearby emergency gathering point within 30 minutes for evacuation. Below is the list of emergency gathering points. On the news, with a blue background and white text, continuously scrolling. Everyone's phones received the same message, requiring urgent assembly and evacuation. Some people couldn't help but cry, but more acted numbly. Over the past three years, many of them had been involved in such evacuations. After three years, they had truly become numb. Minister, Lin Jia, I have something to do, so I'll leave first, Su Chen suddenly spoke up. Ha! Huh? What are you going to do? Lin Zi felt something was wrong and instinctively asked. I'm going to dig for treasure maps, see if I can find some treasures. While there's still time, I want to give it a try. We need to find a way to save ourselves. Nonsense. If you go dig for treasure maps now and dig up something dangerous, won't it make the situation in Tianhe City even worse? Li Xiao was the first to oppose. In fact, it was true. Many people tried to make the best of a bad situation, but in the end, they only made things worse. I believe in my luck. I think, given some time, I can definitely find something. Su Chen said solemnly. Li Xiao was about to speak up in opposition, but heard Lin Zi say, I believe in your luck too. In that case, I'll give you something. Lin Zi waved her hand, and a motorcycle appeared in front of Su Chen. This is a modified motorcycle that can reach speeds of up to 500 kilometers. Borrow it for a day, and you must return it to me by then. Lin Zi quickly said, I can't bear to use it on ordinary days, so be careful. There was a look of anticipation in her eyes. Go, I'll wait for your good news. Su Chen was surprised by Lin Zi's ability to conjure things out of thin air, but he didn't ask much and just nodded, saying, then I'll go first. Everyone, wait for my good news. Su Chen rode off on the motorcycle. Captain Lin, are you sure about this? Li Xiao spoke with some helplessness and concern. Desperate times call for desperate measures. If there's really no other way, Su Chen can use it to evacuate. Lin Zi said, Minister, let's go back to headquarters and prepare for evacuation. Oh, take this chubby one with you. After Lin Zi finished speaking, she hurried towards the city. Ah, what a troublesome autumn, what a troublesome autumn. Li Xiao sighed and quickly left with the chubby one in tow. In the rear, half of the sky had turned into a sea of fire, and the expansion speed of the mysterious yellow flame seemed to have increased. At this rate, Tianhe City was truly in danger of being burned to ashes by the mysterious yellow flames. On the other side, a motorcycle was speeding along the road, suddenly stopping. Su Chen got off, holding a treasure map, walking and stopping. Soon, he stopped in a cornfield and focused his gaze. Here is a lush forest, covering the sky and sun, with endless bones buried in the soil. Toxic insects and fierce beasts roam the forest. Are you sure you want to enter here? Golden letters appeared, making Su Chen's scalp tingle just by looking at them. This is definitely a forbidden area, even though I am now a level 8 warrior, I dare not enter. Su Chen was certain. Three years ago, the treasure map appeared, bringing both opportunities and risks. But in reality, the risks were greater. This forest was definitely a forbidden area. Next one. Su Chen got back on the motorcycle and continued on to the next location. After a while, Su Chen found the target. Location in an abandoned park. There is an isolated island here, and no one who has set foot on the island has ever come back alive. There are rumors that endless dragon beasts live on the island. Golden words appeared, causing Su Chen a headache. In this world, anything related to the word dragon is never simple. Here is also a forbidden place, perhaps even more dangerous than the previous forest. Why haven't we found a solution yet? Su Chen was getting anxious. Tianhe City is also his hometown. Whether in the past life or this life, he has a deep affection for Tianhe City. If a great fire were to turn Tianhe City into ashes, 
he would never be able to accept it. Twenty minutes later, Su Chen arrived at an abandoned village in the countryside, looked down at the treasure map in his hand, walked a few dozen meters forward, and then stopped. Since ancient times, the village chief has been the most evil. They deceive and oppress the villagers. Some powerful individuals became dissatisfied, killed a million village chiefs, and refined a soul flag, sealing it in this place. So, never open it, otherwise, the world will turn into a purgatory. Su Chen looked at the golden words, looking astonished. Is there really such a thing? And how deep must the grudge be to do this? Killing a million village chiefs. But thinking carefully, many village chiefs really aren't good people. This soul flag must be very terrifying, something I can't touch now, and it has nothing to do with solving the Xianhuang flame. Su Chen shook his head, mounted Lin Zixin's beloved motorcycle, and quickly rode away. Tianhe City. Li Xiao and Lin Zi have returned. Is Su Chen okay? Li Xiao asked with some concern. He should be fine, he is on the move now, if something happens, he should seek help from us. Lin Zi looked down at the night watchman's watch, where a red dot was continuously moving. That's good, I wonder if Su Chen can find something good, if he digs up something dangerous, that would be a real problem. Li Xiao sighed. I believe in Su Chen. Lin Zi said firmly. Li Xiao glanced at Lin Zi and said nothing. Now everyone is helpless and can only trust Su Chen. Let's start the evacuation. Li Xiao thought for a moment and said, if Su Chen solves it, we'll bring everyone back. If not, now is the best time for us to evacuate. I understand. Lin Zi left to personally lead the evacuation. Li Xiao looked down and operated the night watchman's watch, and soon, a red dot appeared on it as well. That represents Su Chen. Su Chen, oh Su Chen, I hope you can give me a surprise. Li Xiao muttered. In ancient times, a strong warrior killed 30 million enemies, leaving behind a magic spear, sealed in this place. With your current cultivation, you cannot subdue it. Su Chen felt excited but also disappointed. This magic spear is absolutely powerful, but he cannot subdue it, nor can he solve the current crisis. The white-clothed Saint King fought 3,000 tribes, leaving behind a volume of Battle Saint Law, this is a remnant of it, with a terrifying rhyme that you cannot bear at your current level. Su Chen found another location, feeling even more excited. It's a pity, whether to use it or not, it still can't extinguish the Xianhuang flame. Su Chen sighed, mounted his motorcycle, and continued on to the next destination. When he arrived, Su Chen took out the treasure map and immediately looked intently. In ancient times, a strong individual was fishing in the Jialing River, encountering a vast expanse of red land. He went to a place where the rain was abundant, and induced a dark cloud. It is a thoughtful dark cloud, where no droughts or fires are allowed. It poses no danger to you, but it also cannot be used by you. Looking at the golden words, Su Chen's face lit up with joy. A dark cloud. This means it can rain. Having thoughts is not important. As long as it can extinguish the fire, that's fine. Su Chen did not hesitate and immediately used the treasure map. Suddenly, a space appeared. This time the space was extremely huge, like a world. A dark cloud covered the sky, making everything black. Heavy rain poured down, flooding the ground. As the space appeared, it seemed to have disturbed something. The rain was suspended in the air and no longer fell. In the next moment, the water on the ground rolled up and rushed into the dark cloud. The dark cloud became even darker. Boom! The dark cloud burst out and rose into the sky, covering the entire Tianhe city in an instant. It was now nighttime. The mysterious yellow flame ignited half of the sky and was spreading rapidly. Suddenly, a thunderbolt lit up the sky. Bang! A torrential rain suddenly poured down from the sky. Especially above the mysterious yellow flame, the sky seemed to split open, and endless heavy rain with strange power descended. Hiss! The mysterious yellow flame roared, flames rising into the sky, but soon it was drenched by endless rain. The rain gathered and formed a moat around the mysterious yellow flame, continuously flooding towards it. Boom! 
Suddenly, the void trembled, and Li Zhao's figure appeared next to Su Chen, asking, Did you dig this out? Su Chen nodded. Li Xiao carried Su Chen and instantly appeared near the mysterious yellow flame. This rain is really heavy. Ha ha. Li Zhao's laughter echoed in all directions. Tianhe City. Countless people got into their cars, started the engines, and drove towards the distance. In fact, many people had already driven hundreds of miles away. Suddenly, a heavy rain fell from the sky. At first, people didn't react. It was just rain, nothing seemed different. But soon, some people noticed the difference in this rain. It seemed to contain a special power, and those who were wet by the rain not only didn't feel uncomfortable but felt full of strength. Lin Zi, Lei Gang, and Zhang Tian sensed more and looked towards where the mysterious yellow flame was. There, the sky was pitch black, and even from dozens of kilometers away, they could see the pouring rain. The three looked at each other, and Lin Zi was the first to react, rushing out. Soon, all three arrived and saw the mysterious yellow flame shrinking rapidly. Currently, the mysterious yellow flame only covered a range of tens of meters and seemed to be shrinking. Around it, the rain turned into rivers, surrounding it. Is it resolved? Lin Zi asked happily. It's resolved, Li Xiao said with a smile. Su Chen is. Really lucky. He actually dug out a dark cloud filled with abundant rainwater, not ordinary rainwater, but rainwater that can extinguish the mysterious yellow flame. Just as he was speaking, Li Zhao's expression suddenly changed, and he shouted, Su Chen, be careful. At the same time, he flew out, trying to push Su Chen away. However, his speed was too slow. The mysterious yellow flame that covered a range of tens of meters suddenly shrank, turning into a spark and rushed into Su Chen's body at a terrifying speed. In an instant, Su Chen turned into a fire person. Li Xiao had just rushed over and was injured by the mysterious yellow flame on Su Chen's body, forcing him to step back. Su Chen! Lin Zi saw this scene, her eyes turning red. Su Chen belonged to her. Lin Zi didn't hesitate and rushed forward immediately. However, the terrifying mysterious yellow flame covered Su Chen's whole body, burning anyone who approached. As soon as Lin Zi got close, her whole body became scorching hot, and smoke rose from her clothes. Purple battle armor emerged, but it seemed to be on the verge of melting. Moreover, the mysterious yellow flame made the purple battle armor emit a terrifying heat, and in an instant, Lin Zi had to dispel the purple battle armor. Su Chen, don't be afraid. I will definitely save you, Lin Zi shouted loudly. But at the moment, she couldn't get close at all. This mysterious yellow flame was too terrifying. If she got too close, even she could get hurt. It hurts so much. Su Chen screamed miserably, feeling like his whole body was cooked, even smelling the scent of meat. But in the next moment, Su Chen couldn't care about screaming anymore. He said in a panic, mysterious yellow flame, you've gone too far. Why are you burning my clothes? There are still people here, and Su Chen didn't want to be taken advantage of in broad daylight. However, it was all in vain. His clothes were all burned clean. I'm done for. Ah. Su Chen cursed, letting out another painful scream. Gradually, Su Chen had no strength left, and his vision became blurry. Damn, am I really going to die like this? Su Chen thought to himself. Finally, he had no strength to struggle anymore. It wasn't that he didn't want to struggle, it wasn't that he didn't have the desire to survive, but he really had no strength left. Having the will but lacking the strength, that's the situation now. Am I, am I going to die? Su Chen's vision plunged into darkness. Is this the world after death? Su Chen looked at the darkness in front of him, feeling no pain, and couldn't help but think to himself. Suddenly, in the endless darkness, a glimmer of light flickered, and in the next moment, one of Guanin's 33 incarnations, white-robed Guanin, appeared. She sat between heaven and earth, draped in white robes, holding a jade purification bottle in her left hand and making a wish gesture with her right hand. She gazed quietly at Su Chen, her lips moving slightly as if saying something, but Su Chen couldn't hear anything. Ah, it hurts, but it's so comfortable. Suddenly, the endless darkness receded like a tide, 
and Su Chen saw a familiar scene again. Li Xiao was on the phone trying to figure things out, Lin Zi was looking at him with red eyes, trying to get closer but having to step back. Lei Gang and Zhang Tian were assisting on the side, but they were helpless. Su Chen. Lin Zi rushed over, hugged Su Chen, and asked worriedly, How are you feeling now? Are you okay? Su Chen looked down and found that the mysterious yellow flame was gone from his body. This allowed Lin Zi to get closer. My whole body is a bit sore, but also somewhat comfortable, Su Chen said slowly. It's like something is nourishing my body. At this point, Su Chen asked with some confusion, Sister Lin, did you give me some medicine? I? I didn't give you anything, Lin Zi quickly said, the mysterious yellow flame entered your body, but for some reason, it extinguished itself. At this point, she saw something she shouldn't have seen, her face turned red, she threw Su Chen on the ground, turned around, and said, who has extra clothes, give Su Chen a set. Su Chen, I'm giving you a deal. I just bought this and haven't had a chance to wear it yet. Lei Gang was very happy, laughed, and threw a set of clothes on Su Chen. Su Chen quickly put on the clothes to avoid a more embarrassing situation. Su Chen, take a look inside your body and see if there's any problem? Li Xiao walked over, approached Su Chen, and after careful examination, said with some concern. That was the mysterious yellow flame that entered Su Chen's body, and he thought Su Chen was going to die. As a result, Su Chen survived. And that mysterious yellow flame would definitely not disappear for no reason. Su Chen, take a look quickly. Lin Zi turned around, worriedly said, the mysterious yellow flame clearly wanted to kill you. We don't know what happened now, so you should check first. Su Chen nodded, closed his eyes, calmed his mind, and began to introspect. A space appeared, with nine chains floating, but eight of them had already shattered. Only the last one remained intact. In addition to these, a deep yellow fire seed appeared. That was the mysterious yellow flame. It floated quietly between heaven and earth, but didn't harm Su Chen at all. Su Chen felt a sense of control over the Xianhuang flame in his heart. With a thought, he opened his eyes and the Xianhuang flame appeared in his palm. Despite the close proximity, no one felt the terrifying heat. You, you've tamed the Xianhuang flame? Lin Zi exclaimed. As I suspected, the only way to survive encountering this kind of heavenly fire is to tame it, Li Xiao sighed in relief, looking at Su Chen with admiration. At 18 years old, he had tamed a third-level Xianhuang flame, a power beyond that of a battle king. Although Su Chen couldn't fully utilize the power of a battle king at his current level, it was still a terrifying achievement. Lin Zi patted Su Chen on the head and said, It's good that you're okay. This turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Su Chen had been brought here by Li Xiao, who had left his motorcycle at the spot where Su Chen had unearthed the dark clouds. A thunderclap cut through the night sky, intensifying the rain in Tianhe City. Li Xiao looked at the dark clouds with concern and asked Su Chen, Will this rain continue? Su Chen explained that the Xianhuang flame was created by a powerful angler and had its own will, preventing droughts and fires in its vicinity. He also mentioned its connection to the Jialing River. Li Xiao nodded and promised to investigate further. Su Chen realized he had shared too much information, information that others wouldn't be able to see. Fortunately, Li Xiao didn't press further and they returned to the city. Back home, Su Chen bid farewell to the big black dog, took a shower, and felt relieved. Looking at himself in the mirror without clothes, he marveled at how he had survived the burning of the Xianhuang flame. He attributed his survival to the blood-stained white cloth fragment he had seen in his darkest moments, where he had encountered the white-robed Guanin. Su Chen then fell asleep, exhausted from the events of the night. As he slept, the blood-stained white cloth fragment transformed into the white-robed Guanin, silently watching over him. Unable to speak, the white-robed Guanin gazed out the window, observing the unrest in Tianhe City. People were being evacuated in buses, some getting drenched in the rain while others celebrated the resolution of the Xianhuang flame crisis. The white-robed Guanin walked among the people, appearing both bewildered and somewhat content in the night. Until it was almost dawn, he returned from outside, transformed back into the blood-stained white cloth fragments, quietly entering Su Chen's body. The sky was getting bright. Su Chen opened his eyes, about to rub them, when he suddenly felt something heavy in his left palm. 
Ha! Huh? Su Chen looked and his face lit up with joy as he saw a stack of heavy treasure maps in his palm. No wonder I dreamt last night that I got a lot of treasure maps. Su Chen was overjoyed and quickly sat up to count them. This time, there were a lot of treasure maps, a total of 20. 20 treasure maps, much more than dealing with those zombies. Su Chen couldn't help but smile. This must be a reward from heaven for me. The night watchman will also reward me, I wonder how much he will give me. Su Chen thought to himself, feeling excited. However, Li Xiao did not speak, and he didn't want to ask. Forget it, let's wait a bit longer. If the minister doesn't give it to me tomorrow, I'll go ask Sister Lin. Su Chen told himself. After washing up, Su Chen went out to work. Just as he stepped out, the big black dog was waiting outside again. By now, Su Chen was numb and didn't bother to say anything to the big black dog. After the dog went in, he simply closed the door. Sister Lin, good morning. Su Chen greeted Lin Zi with a smile. Good morning. Lin Zi smiled, showing her happiness. She gently flicked a strand of hair behind her left ear and softly asked, Are you okay from last night? Me? I'm fine, just woke up a bit thirsty this morning, probably got a bit of heat. Su Chen replied with a smile. His throat was indeed a bit dry in the morning, but after drinking some water, it eased a lot. Su Chen speculated that this might have a lot to do with the yellow flame. The two went to work together, and when they arrived at the night watchman branch, Lin Zi went to a meeting while Su Chen went straight to the library. As he read, Su Chen had some insights. After a while, he suddenly had an idea and his heart stirred. Instantly, he saw nine chains in his mind, with one still remaining. In the next moment, under his control, the yellow flame descended directly onto the last chain. Sizzle. The yellow flame burned. In this world, it seemed like there was no chain it couldn't burn. Soon, under the terrifying heat, the ninth chain broke. Does this mean I'm a warrior of the ninth rank now? As the ninth chain shattered, Su Chen felt a powerful force filling his body, as if he could crush a tank with a single blow. This immense feeling gave Su Chen a surreal sensation. Smack! Su Chen slapped himself, feeling the pain, realizing that this was not a dream but reality. Now, I'm a warrior of the ninth rank, the next step is to become a warlord. As for how to become a warlord, I'm not quite sure yet. I'll ask Sister Lin later. Su Chen thought to himself, coincidentally, warrior of the ninth rank, from beginner to mastery has a little bit left, about one or two hours to finish, then I'll go ask Sister Lin. Su Chen was not in a hurry and focused on reading the book. Even though he had reached the warrior of the ninth rank, he deeply understood that there was still much for him to learn. Two hours later, after finishing the book, Su Chen went to Lin Zi's office. Su Chen, why are you here? Lin Zi was working in her office and was somewhat surprised to see Su Chen suddenly. Sister Lin, I want to know, after becoming a warrior of the ninth rank, how to become a warlord. Su Chen sat across from Lin Zi, smiling and asking, I searched online, but there's no information on this. It just says that when you become a warlord, you will condense divine runes. I don't understand the specifics, so could you teach me? Upon hearing this, Lin Zi put down her work, stood up, leaned on the desk with both hands, and looked down at Su Chen, asking, why are you asking about this? Could it be that you've already reached the ninth level as a warrior? She was somewhat incredulous. It had only been a few days, and he had reached the ninth level as a warrior? However, even though she didn't believe it, she was still filled with anticipation. If Su Chen had really reached the ninth level as a warrior, the significance would be immense. After all, Su Chen was only 18 years old, and the stronger he became now, the higher his future achievements would naturally be. For the Night Watchers, for the Great Xia, for all of humanity, this might have epic-making significance. I just reached the ninth level as a warrior two hours ago, Su Chen didn't hide it, scratching his head and saying frankly, Xian Huan Yan burned my shackles, and I inadvertently reached the ninth level as a warrior. You're really lucky, Lin Zi's eyes were full of envy, then she asked, have you finished reading the book? I've already finished reading it, Su Chen nodded. Go home and get the book I gave you, and read it again, Lin Zi suddenly said. Why? 
Su Chen was puzzled. Trust me, I won't harm you, Lin Zi smiled mysteriously, not telling Su Chen the reason. All right, Su Chen nodded, saying, the book is at home, I'll go get it now. Okay, the sooner you go, the sooner you'll be back, Lin Zi said. With Lin Zi's permission, Su Chen left the night watcher's branch, hailed a ride-sharing car, and went straight back home. The big black dog was still sunbathing on the balcony. Su Chen glanced casually and then picked up the warrior ninth level, from beginner to mastery that Lin Zi had given him. He took a closer look and found that it was not much different from the book in the library. What was he supposed to see in this? Su Chen couldn't figure it out. Soon, Su Chen arrived at the Night Watcher's branch with the book and started reading in the library. They're all exactly the same, what am I supposed to see? Su Chen looked for a long time, it was almost time for lunch, and he still hadn't seen anything. Just as Su Chen was about to give up, he suddenly saw that it seemed like there were people fighting in the book. Am I seeing things? Su Chen wondered, focusing his gaze, there really are two little figures fighting, using the martial arts techniques from the book. Su Chen couldn't believe it, so he found another identical book in the library and started reading it. The result was just a normal book. The content was all the same, but there were no little figures fighting. Setting aside the book from the library, Su Chen picked up the book Lin Zi had given him and started reading it again. The longer he read, the more little figures fighting he saw. They were practicing the martial arts techniques or breathing techniques described in the book. At some point, Su Chen had flipped through the entire book. Then, all the fighting figures gathered together and formed the word war, drilling into Su Chen's forehead. Looking inside himself, Su Chen saw that the nine shackles had long been broken and shattered. This meant that he had reached the ninth level as a warrior. But at this moment, something was different, a change occurred in this space. After the word war drilled into his forehead, it appeared in this space, floating above the nine broken shackles. So, this is the divine script. The so-called war king is someone who condenses their own divine script. With the divine script, one becomes a war king. Su Chen was overjoyed, understanding everything, knowing what a war king was. No wonder Lin Zi didn't tell him how to become a war king, she just asked him to read the book. Because without condensing the divine script, it would be hard to understand no matter how much was said. Only by condensing the divine script could everything be understood. Ha! Huh? Suddenly, Su Chen exclaimed softly. He saw that in addition to the newly condensed war divine script, there were also blood-stained white cloth fragments, a dog's head chopper, and fragments of a weapon resembling the Rui Jin Gu Bang, all here. Before this, he knew that these were all inside his body, but he didn't know exactly where. Before becoming a war king, even if he looked inside, he couldn't see them. Su Chen saw that whether it was the bloodstained white rogue fragments, the dog head scythe, or the fragments of the Dao soldiers that resembled the Rui Jin Gu Bang, at that moment, they were all closely linked to his battle divine text. If he were to use them again, he could unleash even more terrifying power than before. When I was still a warrior, using the dog head scythe, I could even slay the zombie king. Now, if the zombie king were to appear before me again, with just a snap of my fingers, I could make them vanish into thin air. Su Chen felt heroic, thinking that the zombie king, even one as powerful as the warlord, was nothing to him. But then again, how many divine texts can one person condense? Su Chen suddenly felt doubtful and picked up the book Lin Zi had given him to read again. However, this time, no more little people were fighting no matter how he looked. It's time for lunch break. I should go eat. Su Chen, with a sense of doubt, put down the book and headed to the cafeteria. After finishing his meal, Su Chen was still pondering about the divine texts when suddenly, he seemed to remember something and looked up to find Lin Zi's figure. Soon, he saw Lin Zi and quickly walked over, sitting directly across from her. Su Chen, you, who? Hmm? Lin Zi suddenly widened her eyes, with a hint of hesitation, and asked uncertainly, I feel like your aura is fluctuating. Have you become a warlord? Yes, Su Chen nodded lightly. Really? Lin Zi asked again. How long has it been? Just this morning, Su Chen had evolved from a ninth level warrior to a warlord? It was too unbelievable, too incredible. Yes, Su Chen replied quickly. 
What divine text have you condensed? Lin Zi asked. Just the word battle, Su Chen answered truthfully. Indeed, the word battle is the easiest divine text to condense, Lin Zi nodded, not surprised. But even so, she still found it somewhat unbelievable. Easier as it may be, in reality, the battle divine text was still very difficult, just relatively easier compared to other divine texts. She fell silent and continued, besides the word battle, are there any other divine texts? None, Su Chin shook his head, pondering, and asked, are there more divine texts in the book? Yes, Lin Zi nodded and said, in the book I gave you, there are a total of three divine texts. You have already comprehended the word battle, which is already quite good. As for the other two, you may need some time to comprehend them. If you still can't comprehend them, it means they are not suitable for you. I see, Su Chen thought for a moment, smiling as he asked, Lin Zi, how many divine texts can a person comprehend? In theory, you can comprehend as many as you want, but in reality, a person's energy is very limited. Even if you comprehend many divine texts, most of the time, each person mainly cultivates three to five divine texts, leaving the rest to be dormant, Lin Zi patiently explained to Su Chen. Some people even condense unnecessary divine texts and shatter them, turning them into energy to strengthen other divine texts. Remember, to become stronger, focus on cultivating one divine text. You could say it's specializing, but if you can push that path to its extreme, the achievements will be greater. Of course, if you have enough resources and extra time, you can cultivate another divine text. But for the warlord realm, up to the ninth level of warlord, you should mainly cultivate one or two divine texts. When you reach the ninth level of warlord, then consider cultivating a third, or even a fourth divine text. Now, Su Chen understood, and then he looked around, whispered, Can I ask, Lin Zi, how many divine texts have you cultivated? Me? Lindsay smiled lightly, leaned in, and whispered, I have cultivated around 10 divine texts, but currently, I mainly cultivate two divine texts. The first one is the same as yours, the word battle, and as for the second one, it's the word spear dot. So, Sister Lin, are you good at marksmanship? Su Chen suddenly realized. Lin Zi had a purple long spear, indicating a deep understanding of marksmanship. Yes, Lin Zi said as she ate, generally speaking, what a person is good at, they are more likely to condense the corresponding divine text. For example, Captain Lei Gang condensed a hammer character. And Captain Zhang Tian condensed a knife character. And have you met Captain Zhang? He condensed the fire character divine text. Our minister Li Xiao, like me, also condensed a gun character. These are all related to what they are good at. Some people don't know what they are good at but if they condense the corresponding divine text, they will know what they are good at. Su Chen pondered, feeling that he had gained a lot. This information was not available online, so he was not very clear about it. All right, stop daydreaming and eat quickly. After eating, I'll take you to get books, Lin Zi said with a smile. Okay, Su Chen was somewhat excited and started eating quickly. Slow down, don't rush, Lin Zi couldn't help but laugh when she saw Su Chen eating quickly and quickly advised him. After eating his fill, Lin Zi took Su Chen to the library. In the library, after Lin Zi registered, she found a book titled Warrior Nine Levels, From Beginner to Mastery, and handed it to Su Chen. You can continue reading the book Warrior Nine Levels, From Beginner to Mastery, and see if you can condense two more divine texts. Of course, you can also read this book. There are also divine texts in this book. Whether you can condense the corresponding divine text depends on your own abilities and luck. If you don't understand anything, you can ask me, or wait until the new recruit training, you can ask the training instructor then, Lin Zi said expectantly. Okay, thank you, Sister Lin. I'll go read the book first, Su Chen couldn't wait and even temporarily forgot about going to dig for treasure. Finding a corner to sit down, Su Chen eagerly opened Warrior 9 levels, from beginner to mastery, and started reading it with relish. So, the space I see with my inner vision is called the inner heaven and earth? So, whether it's shackles, divine texts, or treasures, they are all stored in the inner heaven and earth. Then, what is the inner heaven and earth? The inner heaven and earth corresponds to the outer heaven and earth, the entire human body is a universe. As Su Chin read on, he gradually became immersed in it, 
unable to extricate himself. True to its name, the book really covered everything from beginner to mastery, explaining in great detail. Suddenly, a piercing alarm woke Su Chun from his trance. Many night watchmen were reading in the library, and upon seeing this scene, they all immediately got up and rushed outside. As a night watchman, Su Chen naturally could not be an exception. Sister Lin, what's happening? Su Chen rushed out of the library and, upon seeing Lin Zi, quickly asked. Hundreds of places in the city are requesting support simultaneously. Someone has unearthed a terrifying danger and needs our support, Lin Zi said with a grim expression. All at the same time? Su Chen realized something was wrong. Yes, all at the same time, Lin Zi said as they walked, there are night watchmen all over the city, and they can handle ordinary dangers themselves, there's no need for us to support them. To have hundreds of places requesting support at the same time, either it's extremely bad luck, or someone is causing trouble. But I lean towards someone causing trouble, otherwise, the luck would be too bad. Lin Zi suddenly stopped and tapped on the night watchman's watch. She said to Su Chen, Su Chen, you are now a night watchman, and also a warrior king, with the dog head scissors. I believe in your abilities. Now, I need you to go for support. This mission is not to be taken lightly, you must be extremely careful. Lin Zi's face was very serious. After speaking, she didn't wait for Su Chen to respond at all, she turned around and continued to arrange tasks. The entire night watch division, everyone started to act. Some people went to support alone, some formed teams of three to five to support. There were even entire teams going to support together. Boom! 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 Su Chen was still in the night watch division when he heard booming sounds coming from many places outside. Some sounded like explosions, some sounded like buildings collapsing. Without delay, Su Chen rushed out of the night watch division, glancing at the night watchman's watch, which marked the target location. As a night watchman, one must protect the country and safeguard the people. This is the duty of a night watchman. Running all the way, Su Chen saw cars crashing into each other one after another on the road, cars exploding and causing towering flames. The transportation department personnel were already in action, conducting rescue operations. In the distance, a large building had collapsed for unknown reasons, raising a cloud of dust. Suddenly, a monstrous creature ten stories high burst out of the dust, roaring deafeningly. Damn! Who unearthed this thing? Startled, Su Chen felt the terrifying aura emanating from the creature and felt like his heart was about to stop. Facing such a terrifying creature, Su Chen was about to take action when Minister Li Xiao flew out and started fighting the creature. I'll deal with this, you all go support immediately. Many night watchmen nearby were ready to confront the creature, and upon seeing this, Li Xiao immediately spoke. Gritting his teeth, Su Chen abandoned the creature and ran towards his target location. Passing by the terrifying creature, Su Chen suddenly saw a giant shark leaping and landing heavily on a viaduct. What surprised Su Chen was that the shark had seven or eight legs. Su Chen thought he was mistaken, rubbed his eyes, and looked again. No mistake. It was just as he had seen. Damn. Am I going crazy, or is this world crazy? A shark leaping on land and still alive is one thing, but damn, it even has seven or eight legs. Ha! Huh? As Su Chen approached, he saw the shark, his expression changing slightly, and he couldn't help but curse, it's a damn zombie shark. Fortunately, several night watchmen had already begun to attack the zombie shark. Su Chen felt relieved. Boom! Suddenly, hundreds of zombies poured out of an alley, lunging and biting at anyone they saw. Dozens of zombies even rushed directly towards Su Chen. However, as soon as they approached, Su Chen raised his hand, and terrifying flames spread out, burning them to a crisp in the blink of an eye. At that moment, Su Chen felt a connection, leaped up, and appeared on the rooftop of a building. Standing on the rooftop, Su Chen looked around and his expression became extremely grim. Everywhere he looked, there were flames, terrifying creatures, and clouds of dust. The only sounds were of wailing. What is happening? Why is this suddenly occurring? Su Chen's heart sank, feeling as if doomsday had arrived, catching him off guard. Crack! Suddenly, a thunderous sound rang out. 
Dark clouds rolled in, covering the sky over the entire Tianhe city. Rain poured down. Countless flames were extinguished instantly. Su Chen looked up and saw the dark clouds he had summoned. These clouds had a mind of their own. It rained all night last night, and when he woke up this morning, the clouds were gone. The weather had cleared up, but now they had come back to put out the fires. Thank you. Su Chen glanced at the dark clouds and murmured softly. Boom! Su Chen jumped down from the rooftop and continued on his way. The task assigned to him by Lin Zi was a bit far away, so he had to hurry. Finally, ten minutes later, Su Chen arrived at his destination. This was the neighborhood where he originally lived. Because someone had unearthed a dragon, the entire neighborhood had become a ruin. Upon his arrival, Su Chen saw a night watchman desperately fighting dozens of zombies. This night watchman was just an ordinary soldier, far from being a war king. Facing dozens of formidable zombies alone was indeed very challenging. Moreover, Su Chen also saw several familiar faces lying nearby, who had already been bitten by zombies and would soon turn into zombies themselves. Among them, Su Chen recognized a few faces from his former neighborhood. Night Watchman Su Chen is here to support. Su Chen shouted, Step aside, I'll take care of them. The Night Watchman was overjoyed at the words and immediately stepped back. He couldn't hold on any longer. If he continued, he would die here. Death was not scary, but he feared turning into a zombie and harming his compatriots. Gasping for breath, he looked at Su Chen, who was only 18 or 19 years old, very young, and his expression changed instantly. Damn! I remember now, you're the new recruit Su Chen. Are you crazy? You're only a second-tier soldier, what are you doing here? Stop wasting time. Get out of here. I'll handle this. He didn't have time to rest and immediately rushed forward. He thought a skilled fighter had arrived, but instead, it was a second-tier soldier rookie. Disappointed. However, as a night watchman, he knew his duty and could not retreat. Everyone's duty was to protect their home and country, safeguarding the people. In his eyes, even though Su Chen was also a night watchman and a second-tier soldier, he was still someone to protect. Because Su Chen was too young. If there was a chance at life, it should be given to the young. As for himself, he didn't want to die, but if someone had to die, he would rather it be himself. Bang! Several zombies attacked, sending him flying. In the next moment, the zombies swarmed in, trying to bite him and turn him into a new zombie. But then, Su Chen appeared, standing in front of the night watchman who had been knocked down. You just joined the night watch, your strength is too weak, why haven't you run away? The night watchman said anxiously, but soon his eyes widened in disbelief. Earth split. Su Chen stomped his foot, and the ground cracked open rapidly, creating terrifying cracks that appeared under the zombies' feet in an instant. Their figures immediately became unstable and fell in all directions. Mountain split. Su Chen's figure flew out, appearing in front of one zombie after another, striking with his hand. Without a sword, he had to use his palm. Bang! 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 Each strike resulted in a zombie falling to the ground, their heads split open, clearly dead. In less than five seconds, all the zombies were lying on the ground, defeated. You're a second-tier soldier? The injured night watchman got up, looking at Su Chen with an incredulous expression, finding the scene unbelievable. He remembered that Su Chen had only joined the night watch a few days ago and was only a second-tier soldier, but now, it seemed like he was no longer just a second-tier soldier. He was at least a seventh or eighth-tier soldier. Second-tier soldier? I haven't been one for a long time, Su Chen said with a light laugh. Impressive. In that moment, the night watchman looked at Su Chen and felt that Su Chen was incredibly powerful, radiating a brilliance akin to a master. All right, I need to go support the nearby distress call, please handle things here, Su Chen said quickly. Some of the bitten people had already died, but soon, they would turn into new zombies. However, the limited strength is just that, even an ordinary night watchman can easily handle it. Boom! Su Chen exerted force on the ground, and his figure rushed out like a cheetah. Ha! Huh? Outside the night watchman branch, Lin Zi was fighting a monster. 
Suddenly, her night watchman watch vibrated, and she took a look while on defense. Su Chen resolved it so quickly? Lin Zi was slightly surprised and then remembered, Su Chen is already a war king, dealing with ordinary dangers is not a problem. In that case, let's assign Su Chen some more tasks. With that in mind, Lin Zi quickly tapped on the watch. Then, she resumed fighting the monster. At the same time, Su Chen's night watchman watch vibrated, and the time disappeared, replaced by a map. The arrows on it represented himself, and there were many red exclamation marks around, indicating people in need of help, requesting support. So many? Su Chen looked down, and within three kilometers, there were more than ten red. Exclamation marks. If there are so many within three kilometers, then who knows how many there are in the entire Tianha city. Even if no one is causing trouble, Su Chen doesn't believe it. Too coincidental. Suddenly, Su Chen stopped and looked ahead. A space suddenly appeared, and a figure as huge as a mountain walked out. At this moment, there are still people digging for treasure maps. Moreover, they dug out such a terrifying monster. The monster walked upright, with eyes as big as an adult, and one hand the size of a car. It emitted a terrifying stench, as if it hadn't bathed in years. Ha, ah, after countless years, I finally came out. Today, I will feast on 300 humans. The monster, as big as a mountain, just walked out of the space and immediately grabbed the person who had just released him and stuffed him into its mouth, chewing continuously. Blood flowed down its mouth. Delicious, truly delicious, it's the taste I remember. The monster spoke human language, extremely happy. Su Chen watched the scene and felt his whole body trembling. Unbelievable. There are actually monsters that eat people in this world. Come. Dog head guillotine, serve. Su Chen knew the opponent was very strong, not something he could handle alone, so he shouted loudly. The sound reverberated like a bell, booming. In an instant, the dog head guillotine flew out, turning into a huge guillotine that spanned the sky. Four figures appeared, and two of them rushed towards the monster. Get lost. The monster roared in anger, unleashing its terrifying power like an avalanche. A building collapsed directly. But soon, it was forcibly suppressed by two illusory figures and dragged in front of the dog head guillotine. Execute the guillotine. Su Chen's voice was like a bell. Splurt. The guillotine fell. Blood splattered. The monster, as big as a mountain, even though immensely powerful, once under the dog head guillotine, only had the fate of being beheaded. Bang. The huge body fell to the ground, twitched twice, and then lay still. Su Chen breathed slightly, seeming quite exhausted. After resting for a few seconds, Su Chen continued towards the next location seeking help. Before Su Chen reached the next location, he saw people running towards him in panic. Even in front of them, a night watchman was clearing the way for them. Along the way, there were cars blocking the road, and the night watchman immediately went forward to push the cars aside. Seeing Su Chen, the night watchman was slightly stunned and quickly shouted, Hurry, someone has dug up a lake, and a flood is coming from behind. Su Chen looked up and saw water really flooding in front. Not only was the entire ground submerged, even the third floor was flooded. This lake was not an ordinary one, so much so that the water was not ordinary either. If not handled properly, not to mention the entire Tianha city being flooded, it would at least cause countless casualties. But how to solve it? Faced with such a disaster, Su Chen was somewhat at a loss for a moment. Try everything possible. Su Chen's heart moved, and the Xianhuan flame in his inner world trembled slightly. Just as he was about to fly out, he suddenly saw all the floodwaters rising straight up and disappearing into the sky full of dark clouds. Hmm. You are indeed a thoughtful dark cloud. Su Chen's face naturally showed a hint of joy at this scene. Using the Xianhuan flame, he was not sure if he could solve the problem. Now, with the dark cloud absorbing all the floodwaters, it was naturally the best outcome. In just three to five seconds, the lake water that had been dug out was all absorbed into the dark cloud. Damn! What are you trying to do? Suddenly, Su Chen's face turned slightly pale, and his figure quickly retreated. However, Su Chen's speed was still a bit slow. 
the dark clouds in the sky shrank rapidly and then rushed into his body. The inner world was like a real world. The Xianhuang flame turned into a spark, rooted in this inner world, becoming one of the powers controlled by Su Chen. But now, a dark cloud appeared, floating in the sky, pouring rain down as if to extinguish the spark formed by the Xianhuang flame. There were even thunder and lightning roaming in this world. Put. Su Chen's face turned pale, and he spat out a mouthful of blood, cursing, Damn, what are you trying to do? This dark cloud had its own ideas. Now, suddenly diving into his inner world, it was definitely up to something. Whether it could extinguish the flame was uncertain, but if this continued, Su Chen felt he might be played to death by it first. In an instant, Su Chen's heart moved, and in the inner world, the blood-stained white cloth fragments floated and transformed into the white-robed Guanin. She was draped in white, holding a jade purification bottle in her left hand and making a wish gesture with her right hand, one of Guanin's 33 incarnations. The dark cloud trembled slightly, as if realizing something, and turned into a dark shadow, trying to escape from Su Chen's inner world. But as soon as it moved, the white-robed Guanin acted swiftly. The jade purification bottle flew out, spanning the sky, emitting a terrifying suction force. The dark cloud's figure immediately lost control, struggling for a moment before being sucked into the jade purification bottle. At this moment, Su Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief, feeling relaxed all over. But in the blink of an eye, the white-robed Guanin disappeared, and the dark cloud reappeared in the inner world. Damn! These days, even Guanin is unreliable. Su Chen cursed inwardly, preparing to activate the fragments of the Azul Gold Banded Cudgel when he suddenly paused. For some reason, he felt like he had established a certain connection with the Dark Cloud. It seemed that he could manipulate the Dark Cloud just like he could with the Gold Banded Cudgel. Currently, the Dark Cloud still had its own ideas, pouring heavy rain down. Stop! Su Chen's heart moved. Instantly, the pouring rain disappeared, not a drop falling. Go! The dark cloud quivered, conveying a sense of joy, and promptly unleashed a heavy downpour. Stop! The downpour ceased. Collect! Immediately, in the inner world, the rainwater on the ground rose up and returned to the dark cloud. At the same time, the dark cloud transmitted a very dissatisfied emotion to Su Chen. It was somewhat unhappy and really wanted to rain. But Su! Chen was truly wicked, actually not allowing it to rain. Villain! Is this still a dark cloud? It feels like a living person. Su Chen looked at the dark cloud and couldn't help but sigh. Fortunately, the white-robed Guanin intervened, otherwise, Su Chen understood that he might have died long ago. The risk of digging up the treasure map was too great. Even if he didn't die directly, he would indirectly perish. Fortunately, I am not simple either, with many treasures to protect me. Su Chen felt somewhat fortunate. Ha, huh, why did the floodwaters disappear? People who were fleeing suddenly noticed in surprise. The night watchman who was clearing the way ahead was stunned when he saw this scene. Quickly take them to a safe place. Su Chen quickly said to the night watchman as he approached. Come with me. You are still a child. The night watchman in front urged. I am a night watchman too. Su Chen grinned, his figure already flying away quickly. Damn. So young, could it be the newly arrived Su Chen? Watching Su Chen's back, he came back to his senses, so young. Everyone follow me, do not leave the group, and also, do not dig for treasure maps, it's too dangerous now. He immediately organized people to go to a safe place. Following the markings on the night watchman's watch, Su Chen quickly went to one place after another where distress signals were coming from. Countless people were digging for treasure maps at the same time, uncovering many dangers. But wherever Su Chen went, he could easily resolve the situation. Even when encountering monsters at the peak of the warlord level, Su Chen could summon the dog head scissors to decapitate them. However, Su Chen was getting more and more anxious. Tianhe's city was getting more chaotic. Initially, there were over a hundred places calling for help, requesting support from the Night Watchman branch. But now, there were over 300 places calling for help. With so many places, support was impossible, not because there weren't enough Night Watchmen, 
but because there were too few strong individuals at the warlord level. No, at this rate, the entire Tianhe city might become the next city to be lost in history. Su Chen's heart grew colder and heavier, the ministers must be freed up to deal with the upcoming crisis. Thinking this, Su Chen rushed out. Lin Zi was locked in a fierce battle with a monster. The opponent was clad in heavy armor, protecting all vital points, making it difficult for Lin Zi, despite her unparalleled strength, to break through its defense. Lin, leave it to me, I'll handle it. Su Chen came running, quickly speaking. Ha! Huh? Lin Zi was momentarily stunned, then quickly understood, nodding and swiftly retreating. Come forth. Doghead scissors at your service. Su Chen's voice rang out like a bell. Instantly, the doghead scissors appeared, spanning the sky. Four figures emerged, with two of them heading straight for the monster. Roar! The monster, clad in heavy armor, looked down on the world, unbeatable. But in the next moment, it let out a terrified howl, being forcibly suppressed by the two figures, then dragged towards the doghead scissors. Open! Scissors! Su Chen's voice echoed in all directions. The blade fell, blood staining the sky red, and for a moment, many monsters in all directions saw this scene, a strong sense of fear flashing in their eyes. On the other side, Lei Gang held his hammer in front of him, blocking a fierce attack from a monster. The opponent was like an armored pangolin, but with some differences. Tough skinned and covered in scales, each scale bore mysterious patterns, like divine runes, possessing unimaginable terrifying power. Put. Lei Gang had a pair of underwear on his head, boosting his strength by 20%, but he still couldn't beat the opponent. Just then, Su Chen arrived. Captain Lei, step back, I'll deal with this monster. Su Chen spoke up. Come forth. Doghead scissors at your service. Su Chen's voice resounded through Tianhe City. Boom. The doghead scissors flew out. Soon, the monster that Lei Gang couldn't handle was dragged to the doghead scissors by two figures. Open. Scissors. Su Chen's voice was firm, his expression cold and devoid of emotion. Put. A monster invincible at the warlord level was beheaded in an instant. Despite its tough skin and scales, each scale bearing natural patterns, it couldn't escape the blade of the doghead scissors. This was the power of the doghead scissors. Su Chen, thank you. Lei Gang gasped heavily, speaking. If it weren't for Su Chen, he might have died in battle today. He wasn't afraid of death, but he didn't want to die like this. If he could choose, he hoped to die gloriously in the future. Dying now would be too frustrating. Captain Lei, you're too kind. We are all night watchmen, we should help each other. Su Chen's words were cut off abruptly as his expression changed dramatically, looking up at the sky. The sky split open. A giant hand that covered the sky suddenly appeared from nowhere, holding a high-level treasure map in its palm. The map shimmered with light, and was instantly activated. In the next moment, a space emerged, and a monster with a power surpassing that of the War King stepped out from the space. Damn! A monster above the War King! Lei Gang cursed angrily, someone used a high-level treasure map to release a monster above the War King. This time, Tianhe City is doomed, and we will die in battle here too. Someone dug up a treasure map at this moment, and not just any map, but a high-level one, undoubtedly causing trouble. Even more absurd to Su Chen was the possibility that the person digging up the map might have known what they would find. That was terrifying. Beside him, Lei Gang was furious, but more so, deeply helpless. Someone released a monster above the War King, how can we fight this? Lei Gang was helpless, even desperate. Outside Tianhe City, there were already two monsters above the War King. They hesitated to attack Tianhe City. But this newly unearthed monster knew nothing, cared for nothing, or perhaps was inherently hostile to humans. How dare you! In the distance, Li Xiao was in battle, but upon seeing this scene, he angrily shouted, who dares to cause trouble in Tianhe City? Aren't you afraid of being found out and having your whole family slaughtered? Clearly, this was man-made, and the disaster from start to finish was caused by humans. But, there was no response at all. 
Only a monster with a power surpassing the War King emerged from the space, continuously causing destruction. Su Chen looked up, his eyes widening in shock. The monster was as tall as a 30 story building, with horns on its head, blood red eyes filled with hatred. It even had a nose ring. In its hand, it held a fork about a hundred meters long, emitting a terrifying aura, as if it had slain formidable enemies in endless ages past, its prongs stained with their blood. Boom! Suddenly, it burst into flames, engulfed in fire. It seemed to crawl out of hell with flames, intent on destroying the world. The ground cracked open, and molten lava spewed out like a fountain. People who couldn't dodge in time were immediately submerged in lava, not even able to scream before they died. Slurp. Suddenly, it opened its mouth, its tongue darting out like lightning, instantly swallowing hundreds of people, the sound of crunching flesh and blood flowing from its mouth. It was eating people. This was a monster that preyed on humans. In the past three years, too many monsters had been on Earth, but any that preyed on humans, even just once, were doomed to die. Faced with such monsters, the official stance of the Great Xiao was zero tolerance, they must be killed on sight. The two monsters outside Tianhe City were still alive because they had not preyed on humans. Otherwise, they would have died long ago. Suddenly, the giant hand that covered the sky reached out again, holding another treasure map in its palm. The map fell, was activated, and another space emerged. In that space, a volcano appeared. The giant hand reached into the space and slammed down on the volcano. The space shattered, and the volcano descended upon Tianhe City. Endless lava erupted from the volcano, covering the entire city. If no one stopped it, today, Tianhe City would become history. The tens of millions of people in Tianhe City would become mere numbers. It was a terrifying situation. It can be said without exaggeration that today is the doomsday of Tianhe City. Do you think I'm just a decoration as the night watchman? Suddenly, the sky shattered, a figure in military uniform emerged and threw a punch. The sky covering giant hand shattered, and a figure wearing a mask was punched out. General Bai from the East District, why are you here? The man's face suddenly changed, didn't you enter the cave paradise? Oh, you're quite well informed. So, does that mean there are people from your side within my night watchman group? General Bai, in military uniform, remained calm and said lightly, when I return, I will investigate thoroughly. If there are your people, I will kill them and send their heads to you. By the way, since I'm here, you should know that you won't be able to leave here alive today. After I kill you, I will kill all your family members. General Bai was very aggressive, every word he spoke was about killing. Then try me. The masked man, the wary of General Bai, was not afraid and said, I want to leave, General Bai from the East District cannot stop me. Don't think I haven't noticed, you are just using the power of the divine culture. Boom. General Bai threw a punch, forcing the opponent to retreat step by step, and he said, I am using the power of the divine culture, and it seems like you are too. If I want to keep you here, it won't be difficult. Boom. The two instantly started fighting, causing darkness to envelop the sky, with no light from the sun or moon. Who is General Bai from the East District? Beside Lei Gang, Su Chen asked. He really didn't know. Before Lei Gang could speak, Lin Zi walked over and said on behalf of Su Chen, General Bai is not from our era, he was unearthed by someone. Pausing, Lin Zi continued, Speaking of General Bai, you may not know him, but if I mention Wu and Jun, you should know who he is. Wu and Jun? Bai Qi? Su Chen pondered for a moment and couldn't help but speak out. Yes, he is Wu and Jun Bai Qi. Lin Zi visibly relaxed, saying, Today, with General Bai here, we might have a chance. Even so, the pressure on us is still great. I wonder if the minister has any other plans. If it's just General Bai alone, it's still very dangerous. Today, Tianhe City may suffer terrible casualties. Su Chen's expression turned serious upon hearing this. General Bai from the East District was currently fighting the person behind the scenes. But it was difficult to defeat him in a short time. Now, a 30-story tall monster was on a killing spree, and a volcano was erupting. If this continued, even if General Bai could save Tianhe City, it would be left in ruins. 
Could it be that I have just crossed over for a few days and will lose my hometown, then become a wanderer? Su Chen watched the scene, feeling extremely distressed. Whether in the previous life or this life, Tianhe City was his hometown. Suddenly, Su Chen's heart stirred, and the dark clouds in the sky immediately turned into dark light, rushing out in an instant, soaring up and appearing in the sky. Crack! A thunderous roar resounded. The next moment, endless rain poured down. The volcano spewed out endless magma, but before it could fall, it was covered by the rain and continuously cooled down. The thirty-story tall monster bathed in flames, even the War King would find it difficult to approach. However, when the rain fell on its body, the flames visibly extinguished rapidly. Roar! The monster roared to the sky, and its hundred-meter-long fork stabbed directly at the dark cloud. However, it was too far away, and it missed. But Su Chen's eyes suddenly narrowed, he saw that the monster actually leaped into the sky and rushed into the clouds. Boom! Lightning flashed and thundered, the sky was split by thunder. The black clouds pressed down on the city, but there was a thirty-story tall monster in the dark clouds, commanding wind and rain. Fortunately, it headed towards the clouds, which allowed countless people on the ground to survive. But because of its actions, the dark clouds no longer had the strength to rain. The volcano continued to erupt. In addition to the thirty-story high monster and the volcano, there were many dangers unearthed by people. These dangers had spread throughout many places in Tianhe City, destroying everything. Countless people died as a result. Lei Gang's head was wrapped in underwear, quickly moving a creature with wings. Su Chen, stop standing there, hurry up and take action. Lin Zi left a sentence, wearing purple battle armor, holding a purple spear, and quickly killing a colorful butterfly. The butterfly spread its wings, surpassing 30 meters, very terrifying. With just a flap of its wings, countless people were blown away. With just a sweep of its wings, a building was split in half, the cut was smooth and shocking. On the other side, Zhang Tian wielded a knife, the blade reflecting the heavens and earth, attacking a humanoid creature covered in blue. In the distance, a space appeared, Captain Zhang bathed in towering flames, suppressing the rebellion of numerous tall tree people in the cave. Years ago, someone used a treasure map to unearth a cave. The entire cave was filled with lush trees, which had cultivated into tree people causing chaos in Tianhe City. Later, the night guards forced them back into the cave, and then Captain Zhang led people to guard it. Now, they sensed the situation outside and immediately formed teams to break out. Many places had become very dangerous, beyond what ordinary people could handle. It could even be said that even the night guards were struggling to protect themselves now. This can't go on. Even if we can save some people, more will die. We must come up with a better solution. Su Chen couldn't help but feel anxious. Suddenly, Su Chen seemed to have an idea, and the fragments of the Rui Jingu Bang appeared in his palm. Rui Jingu Bang was a Dao weapon. What was a Dao weapon, Su Chen didn't know, but being named with the character Dao indicated the power and terror of the weapon. With these fragments, Su Chen could only unleash one billionth of its power. The last time he used it, Su Chen killed a dragon with one blow. Killing a war king was not a problem. But above the war king, Su Chen was not confident. However, Su Chen knew that to change the current situation, there was only one way. That was to get General Bai from the East District out of the battle. Currently, General Bai was still fighting the mysterious person. It seemed that General Bai would win sooner or later, but the longer it dragged on, the greater the losses in Tianhe City. So, Su Chen thought of using the fragments of the Rui Jingu Bang to kill the mysterious person. Even if he couldn't kill the mysterious person, it could create an opportunity for General Bai. As for the aftermath of using the fragments of the Rui Jingu Bang, at this moment, Su Chen had no time to think about it. Boom! Su Chen unleashed the power contained in the fragments of the Rui Jingu Bang. In an instant, the earth shook violently, a golden rod pierced through, and fiercely smashed towards the mysterious person. In that moment, everything fell silent. Everyone looked up in horror at the golden rod. It was engraved with the five golden characters Rui Jin Gu Bang. Even the thirty-story high monster wreaking havoc in the clouds couldn't help but look at the Rui Jin Gu Bang in that moment. 
Its eyes narrowed, its whole body trembling, as if it had realized something terrifying. General Bai was still fighting the mysterious person, but in that moment, he also looked over. Rui Jin Gu Bang. General Bai was shocked. Damn. The mysterious person felt locked in, his pupils dilated, and all the power in his body poured out, immediately turning to run. The speed was so fast, it was shocking. Where do you think you're going? When General Bai saw it, he immediately realized that an opportunity had come and hurried to catch up. However, the mysterious person fought desperately, but he was not a match, so he was a bit slower. Suddenly, General Bai stopped in shock, looking at the mysterious person with a horrified expression. The Rui Jingu Bang struck the mysterious person fiercely. His figure instantly shattered, turning into a divine character kill, then the kill character also shattered, turning into pure energy, dispersing in all directions. It really is a cult scum. General Bai came to his senses and couldn't help but curse, but, what came was just a divine character incarnation, now that it's shattered again, it's very difficult to determine its true identity. General Bai was somewhat disappointed, but now, perhaps this was the best outcome. He was also a divine character incarnation, far inferior in strength to his true self. Otherwise, he wouldn't still be unable to resolve it now. Tianhe City is truly a hidden dragon and crouching tiger. I wonder who unearthed the Rui Jin Gu Bang, being able to kill the war emperor with a single blow. General Bai turned around, scanning the surroundings, but couldn't find Su Chen immediately. Someone who could kill the war emperor shouldn't be staying in Tianhe City. The war emperor, an existence above the war king. The fact that a realm could be named emperor shows the terror and power of the war emperor realm. Suddenly, a 30-story tall monster struggling with dark clouds, pierced through the clouds with a fork and fled into the distance. It was afraid. If the Rui Jin Gu Bang struck again, it would die. General Bai raised his eyes, glanced indifferently, and threw a punch. In an instant, a total of 13 huge fists descended from the sky. The humanoid creature fighting with Lei Gang was instantly shattered. The colorful butterfly fighting with Lin Zi was smashed to death on the ground. The colorful humanoid creature fighting with Zhang Tian was also shattered. In a cave, Captain Zhang was forcibly suppressing endless towering tree people, but at this moment, a fist rudely rushed in, passing over Captain Zhang and smashing a tree person approaching the War Emperor realm into pieces. The remaining tree people, upon seeing this scene, trembled in fear and quickly retreated. Su Qin saw this scene, and even though he felt his internal power depleted, he couldn't help but smile. This blow was worth it. Once General Bai withdrew from the battle, the situation would immediately change. Indeed, even though I am now a war king, I can still only activate the fragment of the Rui Jingu Bang once. Su Chen sighed. A real man in a second. I am too weak now, I must leave this place. I must find a way to restore my strength, otherwise, once I encounter danger, I am doomed. Su Chen turned and ran. Riding a shared bicycle, he sped away. I still have a treasure map on me, let's see if I can dig up something. Su Chen thought. But soon, Su Chen had to stop. In front, three zombie kings blocked the way. After carefully observing, Su Chen's face turned pale. The ones blocking the way were actually three zombie kings. They were comparable to the war king, and last time someone dug up the treasure map, releasing countless zombies. He tried to stop them with the fur of the howling celestial dog but some zombies still escaped. Among them were the three zombie kings. Now, they had come for revenge. Before this, Su Chen was not afraid of them, but now, he was exhausted. How could he have the strength to deal with them? Facing Su Chen, the three zombie kings were not in a hurry, approaching slowly. It gave Su Chen even more pressure because of their slow approach. It was intentional. If a person was killed in a very short time, even if they were terrified, they wouldn't feel much. Because they were already dead. If the time is extended, and this person faces approaching death constantly, fear will be infinitely magnified, even to the point of internal collapse. They are full of hatred towards Su Chen, a hatred that is deep-rooted and irreconcilable. They wish to dismember Su Chen, crush his bones, and tear him apart. If it weren't for Su Chen uncovering the dog hair dropped by the Xiong Tian dog, 
their tribe would have been wiped out. It can be said that because of Su Chen, their tribe was almost wiped out. Of course, now it's almost the same as being wiped out because only the three zombie kings are left. Seeing the three zombie kings, Su Chen's face turned pale, but he remained calm. He didn't hesitate at all, raised the shared bike, and smashed it directly. Taking advantage of this moment, Su Chen immediately turned and ran. His internal strength was depleted, but his physical fitness far exceeded that of an ordinary person. Otherwise, why call him the War King? However, no matter how Su Chen tried to escape, the three zombie kings followed him unhurriedly. The distance between them remained constant. You have great courage. Aren't you afraid that the night watchman will come and kill you? Su Chen suddenly stopped, looked at the three zombie kings, and shouted sternly. Ridiculous. Tianhe city is in chaos, the night watchman is too busy to care, where is the time to save you? You are doomed. For killing so many of our people, today, you will pay with your life. When you die, we will still lurk in Tianhe city and turn all the people of Tianhe city into our people. The three zombie kings spoke one after another, putting great pressure on Su Chen. Initially, these three zombie kings wore strange clothes that clearly marked them as not being from the Blue Star. But now, they were dressed like normal people, and if you didn't look closely, you couldn't tell they were zombies. Moreover, they possessed the strength of a war king, hidden in Tianhe City like a time bomb. Oh, by the way, not only will the people of Tianhe City become our people. Even you will become our people. One of the zombie kings said with a sinister smile, by then, you will be dead, but another consciousness will awaken in your body, and that will be our people. At that time, you will become the vanguard of our tribe, hunting down your own kind. Until one day, this land will completely become our territory. It continued to fantasize, and the other two zombie kings had the same expression, clearly sharing the same thoughts. But Su Chen was sweating profusely. If that were to happen, it would be too terrifying. The zombie tribe is truly despicable. They will turn others into their people, a race that grows stronger with each battle. In that case, then all of you can go to hell. Su Chen no longer ran away but faced the three zombie kings head on. Boom! In the inner world, the divine word war resonated, and a terrifying power flowed out. The terrifying battle intent was released. In that instant, Su Chen gave off a feeling of daring to fight against the heavens. Ha! Huh? The three zombie kings couldn't help but change their expression, how do you still have strength? Are you kidding? Su Chen spoke, sneering, just now, there were many people around, and I was afraid of hurting them. Do you really think I'm afraid of you? I had already suspected that it might be you causing trouble. Even if it wasn't you causing trouble, you would probably come to kill me at this time. How could I not be prepared? In the next moment, Su Chen used his own power to activate the blood-stained white cloth fragments. Boom! The earth shook, and the white-robed Guanin appeared, holding a jade cleansing bottle in her left hand and making a wish with her right hand. Suddenly, the wish disappeared, and she raised her right hand, extending only one finger and gently pressing down. The three zombie king's faces changed dramatically, and they immediately rushed towards Su Chen. However, before they could get close, they felt as if their whole bodies were stuck in quicksand, unable to move. At this moment, the white-robed Guanin's jade finger descended from the sky, pressing down towards them. The three-headed zombie king resisted with all its might, but it was the white-robed Guanin. Although not the real white-robed Guanin, but a piece of blood-stained white-robed fragment, it carried the aura of the white-robed Guanin, and even the blood might belong to the white-robed Guanin. The power it possessed was something that the three-headed zombie king, as small as ants, could not resist. The ground cracked, continuously sinking, the three-headed zombie king fell into a deep pit, its skull shattered. Bang! 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 Suddenly, the three-headed zombie king exploded all over, turning into a pile of minced meat. Su Chen approached, just glanced casually, and couldn't help but feel nauseous. Too tragic. At this moment, the white-robed Guanin turned around, looked kindly at Su Chen, her lips moved slightly, but no sound came out. Before dissipating, she smiled and nodded towards Su Chen. What does that mean? Su Chen's heart sank, white-robed Guanin smiled and nodded at me? 
Does she know me? Ridiculous, ridiculous, I am just an ordinary person, how could I know the white-robed Guanin? Su Chen shook his head, extinguishing the unrealistic thoughts in his mind. Suddenly, Su Chen sensed something, looked up, and saw an arrow streaking across the sky, heading straight towards General Bai. The aura on that arrow was terrifying, like an abyss. Damn! Someone is attacking General Bai, and moreover, it is a presence above the War King. General Bai suddenly turned his head, about to dodge, but when he looked back, he saw countless citizens of Tianhe City behind him. If he dodged, then countless citizens behind him would surely suffer casualties. At that moment, his figure, which was about to dodge, stabilized, and he raised his right hand to directly grab the incoming arrow. He caught it, but his figure became extremely dim. Vaguely, it seemed that General Bai's figure could not be maintained, as if it was about to revert to its original form and transform back into a divine state. Fortunately, General Bai was General Bai, even if it was just a divine body, he was still immensely powerful, and eventually stabilized. Boom! General Bai punched out, striking the void. A figure with a completely blurred face fell out, looking somewhat surprised, General Bai is indeed powerful, not even dead from this, and still has the strength to force me out. But, how much strength do you have left now? Today, if I destroy this divine body of yours, how much power will you lose? Then try it, see if you can destroy this divine body of mine. General Bai's figure stepped out, appearing in front of the opponent in an instant. The two immediately started fighting. Su Chen watched with a scalp tingling. Another presence above the War King had appeared? Today, can Tianhe City really not escape this disaster? No. I have to go dig up the treasure map. Su Chen's spirits lifted, realizing that the only way to save Tianhe City was this. There was no other way. The only support coming to the East District was General Bai, and he was only a divine body. If there were more reinforcements, they wouldn't let Tianhe City become what it is now. Or maybe they were still on the way. But Su Chen couldn't wait. Moreover, the power in Su Chen's body was almost depleted now. Killing the three-headed zombie king just now was basically his last bit of strength. Now, even if he went to kill the enemy, he wouldn't be able to kill much. The only way to save Tianhe City from the depths of danger was to dig up the treasure map. Only the treasure map could bring miracles. Others couldn't dig at will, fearing to unearth more terrifying dangers. But Su Chen was different, he could see the prompts, ensuring that what he dug out was 100% safe. Finding another bicycle, Su Chen rode on it and quickly headed towards the destination. Soon, he arrived at the destination. Here, it's a mess, with bodies on the ground, a sight too horrible to bear. Su Chen forcibly suppressed the urge to kill in his heart and focused his gaze. In the past, a brat who loved to drink beast milk hid a jar of it here. If you drink it, your strength will be fully restored. Golden words appeared. Beast milk? Su Chen was slightly stunned, then immediately used the treasure map. A space appeared, with a jar inside. Su Chen reached out, the jar flew out and landed in his palm. Smells good. Su Chen opened the jar, tilted his head back, and started drinking it down. The beast milk entered his body. Su Chen suddenly felt his whole body boiling with heat, becoming incredibly hot. Within the beast milk was a kind of violent power that surged into his body, merging into the war divine text. I'm restored. I can fight again now. But there are too many monsters in Tianhe City, even if I'm one person more, I can't kill them all. I still need to continue digging for treasure maps, only with treasure maps can today's crisis be resolved. Su Chen dropped the bicycle and started running. By now, his strength had been restored, and his speed was many times faster than the bicycle. Boom! Suddenly, from a distant place, came a violent shock. A huge space appeared, and even from a great distance, Su Chen could see a bone dragon flying out. In its eyes, a ghastly green fire flickered, and its whole body exuded a strong undead aura. This was an existence that infinitely approached the War Emperor, and because its whole body was bones, ordinary attacks had little effect on it. In fact, it could be said without exaggeration that any dragon, whether alive or dead, was invincible at the same level. 
For example, a few days ago, someone dug up a dragon, and even with the help of skilled night guards, they struggled to kill it. That's a dragon for you. Who the hell dug up another bone dragon? Su Chen couldn't help but curse. Su Chen, where are you? Suddenly, the night guard's watch trembled slightly, and Lin Zi's voice rang out, saying, Where did you go? Someone dug up a bone dragon, we might not be able to handle it. The minister is being held back, General Bai is also being held back, we need you now. After a pause, Lin Zi added, By the way, do you still have the strength? You've just entered the realm of the War King, if you can still fight, go chop its head off. If you don't have the strength, don't worry about it, just protect yourself first. I'll do it. Su Chen responded, killing the bone dragon might yield a few more treasure maps, it was a real bloodbath. Su Chen's heart stirred, about to summon the dog head scissors to chop off the bone dragon, when a sudden change occurred. Woof! A dog's bark suddenly spread throughout Tianhe City, echoing through the heavens and earth. In the next instant, the sky darkened suddenly, and a huge blood-red mouth descended from the sky, biting down. Snap! The bone dragon was bitten by that blood-red mouth, making a cracking sound as its bones were crushed. The ghastly green fire in its eyes flew out, but before it could go far, a terrifying suction force emerged. No, please! The bone dragon begged, its voice filled with endless fear. But soon, the voice abruptly stopped. The sky returned to normal, and all that could be seen was a dark cloud, with no sign of the blood-red mouth. In the night guard's residential building, the big black dog lay limp on the ground, covered in cold sweat. I overdid it, my strength disappeared all at once. The big black dog lay on the ground, ears drooping, looking very tired. In its mouth, a bone dragon that had been shrunk countless times had already lost its life. Delicious. Can't deal with a live dragon, can't deal with a dead bone dragon? Last time the dragon didn't let me eat, today, I must eat my fill. The big black dog started gnawing on the bones, with each bite, its strength recovered a bit. Grass. What the hell is that big bloody mouth? Who made the move? Su Chen hadn't had a chance to make a move before seeing the bone dragon being swallowed. Forget it, don't think about it. Headache. No matter who did it, this is a good thing. At this point, there are still people digging for treasure maps, which means that someone is still causing trouble. More importantly, Tianhe City is already in chaos, and if someone causes trouble, it will inevitably unearth more terrifying beings. If this continues, Tianhe City may really be destroyed. Su Chen shook his head and continued on his way to the destination. Along the way, there were countless monsters. Some monsters saw Su Chen and immediately rushed towards him. But Su Chen easily dealt with them. Even as a newcomer to the War King, Su Chen was invincible in the War King with the dog head scissors. Finally, Su Chen made his way through the obstacles and finally arrived at the destination. It was a tall building. But now, the tall building had collapsed, with bodies scattered around. Even under the collapsed building, there were many bodies. Su Chen sensed it slightly and found that there were no survivors under the collapsed building. They were all dead. With one blow from a strong person, the tall building collapsed. How could there be any survivors? Su Chen stood on the ruins of the collapsed building, took out the treasure map, and looked intently. An old Taoist with a distorted body is sleeping here. He is a bit crazy and is single-mindedly trying to become immortal. At present, he has no malice towards the vast majority of humans. Golden words appeared. Su Chen frowned, feeling conflicted. The old Taoist has no malice towards the vast majority of humans. This means that he still has malice towards some people. So, should he be dug out? And if he is dug out, if the old Taoist doesn't help, wouldn't it be in vain? Boom! 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 The earth shook violently, and Su Chen looked around to see many spaces appearing, with terrifying monsters coming out one by one. Su Chen knew that there was no time to hesitate. If he hesitated further, who knows what Tianhe City would become. Grass. Dig. Su Chen gritted his teeth and immediately used the treasure map. A space appeared. A figure walked out. 
However, Su Chen noticed that it was clearly an incredibly strange pair of legs supporting three figures. Or rather, the other party only had a lower body, but had three upper bodies. One was young, one was middle-aged, and one was elderly. They were dressed in tattered white, black, and red robes respectively. The three figures were entwined together, indistinguishable from each other, as if they were born together, and more importantly, the heads of the three figures were extremely ugly. Child, thank you for releasing me. In the future, we will become immortal together. The old Taoist walked out. Su Qin saw that the three ugly faces all had a terrifying bloody mouth. In each of the three mouths, there were dozens of nested small mouths, all filled with disgusting yellow teeth. The old Taoist was ragged, with many organs on his body that did not belong to humans. His body was entwined with strange tentacles. Suddenly, the old Taoist saw the entire Tianhe city, saw endless monsters, and the three ugly faces immediately showed excitement. Ugh! Wow! Su Qin couldn't help it and vomited everything he had eaten. This was the old Taoist? If it weren't for the prompt, Su Qin seriously doubted that this was an extremely disgusting monster. No, this was disrespectful to monsters. Su Qin felt that this old Taoist was even more monstrous than monsters, and was truly disgusting. Child, vomit. Keep vomiting until you get used to it. The old Taoist withdrew his gaze, looked at Su Chen, and all three mouths opened at once, not caring at all about Su Chen's reaction. Finally, Su Chen vomited for a while, until he couldn't vomit anything else, and then stopped. At this moment, Su Chen looked very miserable, tears streaming down his face. The old Taoist's gaze shifted away from Su Chen and back to Tianhe City, excitement showing on his face once again. Child, I'll be right back. Wait for me. I will take you to become an immortal together. The old Taoist exclaimed excitedly. Before Su Chen could say anything, the old Taoist's figure appeared in the distance. A fierce beast, tens of meters long, with a surging aura, was approaching the war emperor. Currently, dozens of night guards were teaming up to attack, but they were still no match. Suddenly, the old Taoist arrived, his eerie tentacles swiftly wrapping around the beast. Then, three terrifying fleshy mouths immediately rushed forward, starting to tear and bite. In just a few seconds, the incredibly terrifying beast was gone. Old Tao. Su Chen caught up, hurriedly shouting, Don't hurt them, they are all our own people. Child, I know what I'm doing. The three ugly faces turned back, grinned, revealing a dozen nested small mouths and a mouth full of yellow teeth. Ugh. Su Chen couldn't hold it in, turned around and vomited again, but nothing came out, just dry heaving. Not only Su Chen, but also the dozens of night guards attacking the beast all started vomiting when they saw the scene, tears streaming down their faces. The old Taoist saw this but didn't get angry, just grinned and quickly disappeared. In the distance, a humanoid creature stood 7 to 8 meters tall, completely purple, resembling a giant purple sweet potato. Its aura was incredibly terrifying, like an abyss. Lin Zi and Lei Gang were teaming up to attack this humanoid creature. However, even with their combined efforts, they were no match for the creature. Suddenly, the old Taoist pounced from somewhere, his countless tentacles entwining the purple humanoid creature. The old Taoist opened his three terrifying fleshy mouths, revealing yellow teeth, and fiercely bit down. No matter how the purple humanoid creature struggled, it was futile. Su Chen arrived and saw this scene, feeling as if a lion was devouring a rabbit, so simple. Su Chen, what are you doing here? Lin Zi saw Su Chen, her face changing drastically, and whispered, a more ferocious monster has appeared here. Obviously, she mistook the old Taoist for a monster and was now extremely wary. She and Lei Gang stood on either side, protecting Su Chen behind them. Suddenly, the old Taoist's three ugly heads turned towards Lin Zi, grinned, showing yellow teeth. I am not a monster. I am an immortal. In the next instant, a strange tentacle shot out. Old Tao, stop. Su Chen was anxious, immediately stepping forward to block Lin Zi. Although the old Taoist was truly disgusting, Su Chen felt that the old Taoist did not seem to have any malicious intent towards him. At least, not at the moment. Indeed, the eerie tentacle immediately stopped. Child, I'll listen to you. 
The old Taoist still had yellow teeth but smiled. He retracted his tentacles, turned back, and continued gnawing on the purple humanoid creature. Lin Zi broke out in a cold sweat. In that moment just now, she felt like she was done for. Moreover, she wanted to resist internally, but her body seemed to be frozen, completely unable to move. Lei Gang on the side was the same, sweating profusely, even his bald head was covered in sweat. Even the underwear he had on his head was completely soaked. They realized that the monster called Old Tao by Su Chen was an even more terrifying existence than the War Emperor. As the Old Taoist turned back, Lin Zi and Lei Gang suddenly felt incredibly relieved, and their bodies could move freely again. The feeling of narrowly escaping death was something they would never forget in their lifetime. I dug it out, noting the puzzled looks of the two, Su Chen explained, Lao Dao means us no harm. Tell all the night guards not to lay a hand on Lao Dao. Su Chen was worried that someone might think Lao Dao was a monster and instinctively try to attack him, not even knowing how they would die. Okay. Lindsay nodded without hesitation, took a photo of Lao Dao, immediately sent it to all the night guards in the Tianha branch, and told them not to harm Lao Dao. Child, you've done very well. Wait for me, we will ascend to immortality together. After finishing devouring the purple humanoid creature, Lao Dao turned his three ugly faces towards them, revealing a terrifying smile. Okay. Su Chen's scalp tingled, but he had to respond. Boom. Lao Dao disappeared instantly. Su Chen saw Lao Dao reappear in front of a monster. By the time Su Chen arrived, Lao Dao had already devoured the monster completely. So far, it seems to be going well. Su Chen followed Lao Dao for a while, silently thinking. Lao Dao was truly disgusting, but at the moment, he was helping the night guards kill various dangers that had been unearthed. Moreover, Lao Dao's speed was so fast that he could eliminate one in a matter of seconds. Although it seems fine for now, I still need to continue digging for treasure maps. Su Chen felt it was better to be safe than sorry. Currently, although Lao Dao seemed fine, one must not let their guard down. If Lao Dao went berserk, with such terrifying power, even the original form of General Bai might not be able to defeat him. Su Chen turned around. After a moment, Su Chen arrived at his destination and looked intently. In the past, a fragment of the Rui Jingu Bang of the Great Sage equal to heaven shattered, and one piece fell here. Obtaining it can merge with the other piece you have, allowing you to unleash even greater power. Golden characters appeared. Su Chen was instantly delighted. Another fragment of the Rui Jingu Bang, this was really great. With this item, whether for self-defense or killing enemies, it would be incredibly satisfying. Su Chen was about to use the treasure map when suddenly, Lao Dao's voice echoed throughout the entire Tianhe city. Ha ha! Dao Yi, I have succeeded. Su Chen couldn't help but be surprised and immediately looked in the direction of the voice. Lao Dao stood in mid-air, his three ugly faces showing a manic smile. His internal organs were exposed, filthy and unclean. Strange tentacles shot out like lightning, covering the entire Tianhe city. Lao Dao had made his move. Su Chen couldn't help but tense up, clenching his fists subconsciously. At this moment, Lao Dao must not cause trouble. Su Chen silently prayed. Otherwise, he would become a sinner of Tianhe City, a sinner of Dasha. Because Lao Dao was unearthed by him. Cries and pleas echoed in countless places in Tianhe City. I surrender. I am willing to submit. I was wrong, I was wrong, please, immortal, don't kill me. But soon, these voices abruptly stopped. Su Chen couldn't see the distant places, but nearby, he witnessed monsters being pierced by the eerie tentacles that were dug out. Boom! Su Chen leaped up and appeared on the rooftop of a tall building, looking around. After hitting the target, the eerie tentacles immediately retracted. The tentacles were like skewers, each one skewering one or more monsters. Lao! Dao opened his bloody mouth, as if he were eating barbecue, swallowing the monsters on the tentacles one by one. As he ate more, the aura around Lao Dao became even more terrifying. Initially, Su Chen thought Lao Dao was very strong, perhaps at the level of a war emperor. But now, it seemed like he had broken through the bottleneck of a war emperor and was evolving towards an unknown realm. 
Kill. 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 Suddenly, a humanoid creature emerged from a void, exuding the aura of a war emperor that spread throughout the heavens and earth. Another treasure map has been dug up, releasing a terrifying presence. Although this humanoid creature is humanoid, it is over a hundred meters tall, like a giant from Legends. What makes it eerie is that it actually has a tail. If it were a normal tail, it would be fine, but its tail looks strikingly similar to a scorpion tail. Suddenly, the scorpion tail crossed the sky of Tanha City and stabbed towards the old Dao. Sizzle, scorpion tail giant, the taste is quite good. The old Dao's three ugly faces lifted, revealing a mouthful of yellow teeth. Two eerie tentacles flashed out and instantly pierced the chest of the scorpion tail giant. The scorpion tail contains a deadly poison. Even if a warlord is stabbed, they will instantly lose their combat power. But now, its scorpion tail stubbornly stopped in front of the old Dao. Delicious. The old Dao immediately started gnawing on the scorpion tail giant. So terrifying. Su Chen couldn't help but sigh. The scorpion tail giant, so terrifying, was even more frightening in Su Chen's perception than General Bai's divine cultural body. However, it was directly killed by the old Dao. The old Dao didn't even go all out just extending two of its many tentacles. I dug it out, not sure if it's right or wrong. Su Chen shook his head, it's meaningless to dwell on this now because I've already dug it out, and there's no regret medicine in this world. Forget it, I'll continue digging my treasure map. Su Chen jumped down from the high building and arrived at the previous location, immediately using the treasure map. A space emerged. Inside, a fragment was quietly floating. At the moment the fragment appeared in the space, it resonated and directly entered Su Chen's body. In the inner world, Su Chen saw the two fragments merging into one. Now, it became a slightly larger fragment. I wonder if I can dig out all the fragments and then merge them. By then, won't I have a wish-fulfilling golden hoop? Su Chen suddenly felt extremely excited. The wish-fulfilling golden hoop, that's the treasure every boy dreams of. Now, I have two fragments of the wish-fulfilling golden hoop. I wonder how much power I can unleash. Su Chen raised his eyes and looked at another person who was fighting General Bai. That person, with a blurry face, was completely unrecognizable, probably also a divine cultural body. A terrifying strength, even though it was a divine cultural body, still had the cultivation of a warlord. Su Chen's gaze shifted and landed on the old Dao. The old Dao was still diligently killing the monsters that were dug out, although it was very cruel, at least for now, they were on the same side. It wasn't appropriate to turn against the old Dao. In the end, Su Chen's gaze fell on the blurry figure, and then his heart moved. Boom! The earth suddenly violently shook. The old Dao was the first to react, suddenly looking up. When he saw a golden stick falling from the sky, his eyes revealed a strong sense of fear. Boom! Su Chen fiercely smashed down with the stick. The blurry figure was so frightened that it quickly retreated without any hesitation. Who are you? Why are you against me? The person spoke in a deep voice. However, there was no response. The wish-fulfilling golden hoop smashed down on him, causing his figure to quickly shatter, turning into a divine text, dispersing into the world. Another warlord was killed by Su Chen with a single blow. The old Dao came to his senses, and his three ugly faces all looked at Su Chen. Others may not know, but since being dug out, the old Dao had been paying attention to Su Chen and naturally knew that Su Chen had struck with the stick. Child, on the path to becoming an immortal in the future, we must support each other. The old Dao's voice entered Su Chen's ears. Su Chen was slightly stunned and quickly nodded, saying, Okay. The old Dao's face lit up. Phew. Some weakness, but not completely exhausted. Su Chun took a deep breath and flashed a brilliant smile. It feels great to be strong, even if I'm just borrowing power, it still feels awesome. Su Chen couldn't help but feel secretly happy. Suddenly, Su Chen's eyelids twitched, and in the next moment, General Bai appeared in front of him. How old are you? General Bai asked calmly. In response to General Bai, I am 18 years old. Su Chen was surprised in his heart and quickly replied. 
Oh? General Bai raised an eyebrow slightly, then smiled, you actually know my identity? General Bai was somewhat surprised. He was also a night watchman stationed in the East District, but he rarely showed himself, so not many people knew him. Especially ordinary people and some lower-ranking soldiers. Of course I know. I am a night watchman, and General Bai is a strong figure in the East District. If we calculate carefully, you should be my superior. Su Chen smiled. Oh, so you are a night watchman. That explains it. General Bai glanced at the night watchman watch Su Chen was wearing, suddenly understanding, and asked with a smile, Did you dig out the Rui Golden Cudgel? Seeing that his secret was known by General Bai, Su Chen was not flustered and said, I only dug out fragments of the Rui Golden Cudgel. Fragments? General Bai sighed at the words, Even the legendary Dao weapon was shattered? General Bai seemed to know something. Work hard. General Bai patted Su Chen's shoulder, then his figure flickered and appeared directly in front of the old Taoist, smiling gently, fellow Taoist, shall we talk? The old Taoist stopped his movements, raised his head, and three ugly faces stared quietly at General Bai. General Bai showed no fear, staring back at the old Taoist, constantly assessing. After a while, the old Taoist nodded slightly and all three mouths said, okay. But you'll have to wait. The old Taoist grinned, showing all his yellow teeth, pointing in all directions with his tentacles, and said, I'll talk to you after I finish eating them. General Bai nodded slightly and agreed. The appearance of the old Taoist made General Bai very wary. If they could sit down and talk properly, that would naturally be the best outcome. Otherwise, if they really fought, General Bai felt that even if his true form came, he might not be a match for the old Taoist. The aura of the old Taoist was not only terrifying but also very strange, as if some kind of change had occurred, or as if he had been contaminated. Let's talk later, goodbye. General Bai nodded, his figure flickered, and he appeared in the sky above the volcano. This volcano was intentionally excavated by someone. Originally, the volcano was in another space. But now, this volcano had descended directly on Tianhe City, located in the city center. This thing was too dangerous. Fortunately, the sky was covered with dark clouds, and heavy rain kept falling, preventing the volcano from spewing scorching lava even if it erupted. Boom! General Bai's figure landed, diving into the mouth of the volcano, his figure continuously sinking. In the end, General Bai reached the depths of the earth, and his power spread out. In the next moment, the volcano took off. In the distance, Su Chen saw the scene and couldn't help but be amazed. Was General Bai so terrifying? He was actually carrying a volcano in flight. Su Chen watched as General Bai carried the volcano away from Tianhe City, stopping only in a very remote place. There, desolate and uninhabited, even if the volcano erupted, the impact on the citizens of Tianhe City would be relatively small. The dark clouds moved along, continuing to rain. The entire Tianhe city gradually quieted down, with only the sound of the old Taoist chewing, making countless people feel uneasy. Su Chen climbed a tall building, looked around, and saw that no one was digging for treasure maps anymore. The danger that was dug out is also rapidly disappearing. Many have become food for the old path. I don't know if the old path is turned into a glutton, no matter how much it eats, its stomach never bulges, but the emitted breath becomes stronger and more terrifying. Su Chen, thanks to you again this time, otherwise, Tianhe City would have definitely fallen. Lin Zi came to Su Chen's side and spoke softly. I am a night watchman, this is what I should do, Su Chen sighed. This time, even if Tianhe City did not fall, the losses were definitely huge. Many buildings collapsed and became ruins. Many cars exploded, although the heavy rain extinguished the flames, the cars were destroyed. These are all losses. Most importantly, the casualties this time are probably a terrifying number. This number is so terrifying that even the night watchman may not dare to disclose it. After a pause, Su Chen asked, this incident is definitely not accidental, it must be intentional. Lin Jia, do you have any clues? Some, Lin Zi nodded, her expression slightly serious, and said, this incident is very likely the work of a cult. A cult? Su Chen was slightly surprised, 
recalling that he had searched a lot of information on the internet on the first day he crossed over. Among them, there was mention of cults. Three years ago, the treasure map appeared. Some people dug out treasures, strengthened themselves, and thought of protecting their families and country. But some people, after digging out the treasure, thought of causing destruction. Especially some criminals, who usually fear the law and punishment, but once they gain power, their inner darkness will be greatly magnified, feeling that from now on, their fate is in their own hands. These criminals gather together, form gangs, and become what is known as a cult. There are many cults, I wonder which one Lin Jia is referring to. Su Chen asked again. The Seven Killings Sect. Lin Zi said solemnly. Yes, I also believe it is the Seven Killings Sect. At this time, General Bai arrived and said, the first divine cultural body that came today is a clone made with the character Kill as the divine culture. That aura, I am very familiar with it, because I have dealt with the Seven Killings Sect before, this is definitely the work of the Seven Killings Sect. Su Chen frowned at the words, pondered for a moment, and asked, what is the relationship between the Seven Killings Sect and the Seven Killings Steel? According to the news found, someone dug out the Seven Killings Steel, but on the day it was dug out, the steel mysteriously disappeared. Its whereabouts are still unknown. Su Chen originally wanted to ask Lin Zi about it, but he got busy and forgot about it. So until now, he had not inquired. What was publicly announced was the mysterious disappearance of the Seven Killings Steel. But in reality, based on our investigation, especially now, we can be very certain that the Seven Killing Steel has fallen into the hands of the Seven Killing Sect. General Bai talked confidently, in the Seven Killing Sect, someone has comprehended the unparalleled killing technique from the Seven Killing Steel, and over the years, has caused a lot of slaughter. The Night Watchmen have been hunting down the followers of the Seven Killing Sect, but so far, the results have been minimal. General Bai sighed. Sometimes, even the Night Watchmen are powerless. The situation changes every day. The people of the Seven Killings sect are also digging up the treasure map every day, and sometimes, the things they dig up are too powerful. Over the past three years, the casualties of the Night Watchmen have been a very frightening number. At this moment, Su Chen remembered the drop of ancient strong blood he had dug out, and once saw a majestic figure, holding a horizontal sword towards the sky, with a murderous aura soaring. Millions of immortals as soldiers, hundreds of thousands of great Luo as generals. Kill, 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 kill. At that time, Su Chen was deeply shocked. General Bai, do you know the origin of the seven killing steel? Su Chen asked. There is no information online about the origin of the seven killing steel. General Bai's words made Su Chen feel that General Bai might know something. MMM. General Bai pondered for a moment before saying, the Seven Kill Steel is a stone monument left behind by a forbidden existence from endless ages past, inscribed with the supreme art of killing. Forbidden existence. Just these four words made Su Chen. Understand that the ancient powerhouse must have been a terrifying existence that once dominated the world in the endless ages past. General Bai, do you know what Great Luo means? Su Chen suddenly asked. Millions of immortals as soldiers, hundreds of thousands of Great Luo as generals. Immortals can still be understood, but Great Luo, does it refer to the Great Luo Golden Immortals? Ha! Huh? You even know this? General Bai looked surprised. After a pause, General Bai continued, Great Luo refers to all spaces, eternal freedom. Golden signifies immortality. Immortal naturally refers to immortals. Great Luo Golden Immortals naturally refer to immortals who are eternally free and immortal in all spaces and times. At the realm of Great Luo Golden Immortals, even if heaven and earth perish, they remain immortal. Su Chen suddenly realized. Indeed, as he had guessed, Great Luo referred to the Great Luo Golden Immortals. However, the explanation about the Great Luo Golden Immortals made Su Chen feel too terrified. Immortals who are eternally free and immortal in all spaces and times are the Great Luo Golden Immortals. So, in the phrase hundreds of thousands of Great Luo as generals, even if there is an element of exaggeration, it still indicates that there are a vast number of Great Luo Golden Immortals. But now, where are the Great Luo Golden Immortals? 
Moreover, General Bai actually knows about this, which is quite extraordinary. Su Chen, who had crossed over, naturally knew General Bai's identity. Regardless of how he was viewed in history, General Bai was just an ordinary person, but here, General Bai was unexpectedly unearthed by someone, and he even knew what great Luo Golden Immortals were. This could only mean that General Bai was not ordinary. The so-called history may not necessarily be true history. Su Chen still had questions and was about to ask when suddenly, the old Taoist appeared in front of them. Now, we can talk. The old Taoist looked at General Bai, revealing a mouthful of yellow teeth. Su Chen retched several times, but General Bai looked at the old Taoist with a calm expression, as if he didn't feel much. General Bai nodded, then turned to Su Chen and Lin Zi. General Bai, I'll take my leave first. Lin Zi understood and immediately pulled Su Chen to leave. However, the old Taoist looked at Su Chen and spoke, Child, you stay. Su Chen suddenly felt a bit awkward. Actually, he also wanted to listen, but General Bai clearly didn't want him to. Su Chen, stay. General Bai waved his hand, indicating that Lin Zi could leave. After Lin Zi left, General Bai looked at the old Taoist and asked, I represent the Night Watchman, welcoming the Taoist friend to the world. May I ask how the Taoist friend is called? MMM. What am I called? The old Taoist's three ugly faces showed a look of confusion, and finally, he looked at Su Chen and asked, Child, do you remember my name? I don't know. Su Chen shook his head, suddenly feeling that the old Taoist's mind might not be functioning well. He had unearthed the old Taoist, so how would he know what the old Taoist's name was? Ah! The old Taoist sighed and said to General Bai, It's been too long, I can't remember my name anymore. I only remember that I usually call myself Dao Yi. How about you call me Dao Yi? Dao Yi. General Bai felt uncomfortable inside, so he quickly changed his words, Daoist friend, you were just unearthed by Su Chen, there are some things you may not be aware of, so I need to inform you in advance. Please go ahead, the old Daoist said. In Dasha, you must not kill anyone at will, this is the bottom line, General Bai said, if you cross the line, it means going against the Night Watchman, and you will inevitably be hunted down by the Night Watchman. The old Dao has three faces, suddenly all looking at Su Chen, and asked, boy, is he threatening me? Can I eat him? General Bai's face changed. Su Chen's face also changed, and he quickly said, General Bai is not threatening you, this is just a rule. Without rules, chaos will ensue. If rules are not followed, the world will be in great disorder. Boy, you are right. In that case, I agree. I used to be a human too, naturally I won't randomly kill my own kind, the old Dao replied. General Bai's face immediately brightened, then he said, Friend, just by hearing your words, I know you are a good person. This time, with your help in resolving the Tianha crisis, would you be willing to join the Night Watchman? General Bai extended an invitation to the old Dao. If such a force could join the Night Watchman, their strength would undoubtedly greatly increase. As for the appearance of the old Dao, although extremely ugly, it made people want to vomit. But within the Night Watchman, there were also non-human beings. They too could contribute to Disya, and naturally the old Dao could as well. I'll pass on joining the Night Watchman, the old Dao directly refused, shaking his head and saying, I am used to being free and do not wish to be constrained by others. General Bai looked at Su Chen, signaling him to persuade the old Dao. Su Chen simply turned his head, pretending not to see. What's the point of persuading? The old Dao's mind was clearly abnormal, and his state seemed off. A person who was fine had turned into this state, and if trouble was stirred up by persuading him, it would be very troublesome. The old Dao's fighting power was too strong, who could stop him if he went mad? That's fine too, General Bai said somewhat disappointed and helpless. After searching his body for a while, he took out a document, wrote a few words on it, and handed it directly to the old Dao, saying, this is your identification, with this you can apply for an identity card and have a legal status. Boy, I can't read, can you help me see what's written on it? The old Dao handed the document to Su Chen. Su Chen glanced at it and said, This is a temporary identification, name, Dao Yi, age, unknown, birthplace, Tianha City, responsible person, Su Chen. Damn! General Bai, why am I the responsible person? 
Su Chen's expression turned cold. You dug him out, so naturally you are the responsible person. General Bai explained. If something happens, do I have to take responsibility? Su Chen asked. Not necessarily responsibility, but there will be a deduction from your salary, General Bai said. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief. What say? Few coins of salary. He didn't care at all now. Permit to process identification, approver, East District, Ai Chi. Su Chen read. Then he handed the temporary identification to the old Dao. Good, the old Dao nodded, his mouth full of yellow teeth, almost making Su Chen vomit again. All right, then it's settled, I'll take my leave. General Bai nodded, his figure soaring into the sky, and in the blink of an eye, he disappeared at the end of the horizon. Su Chen took the old Dao to the night watchman branch and processed his identification in the hall. Many unearthed beings, as long as they were not enemies, had to apply for identification. This was the rule of Disya. Someone once joked that even if the Buddha came, he would still have to get an ID. After processing the identification, Su Chen faced a dilemma, as the placement of the old Dao became a big problem. Fortunately, Lin Zi arrived and said, there is a special place for the night watchman branch to accommodate, if the senior does not mind, you can temporarily stay at the night watchman branch. The old Dao nodded. Su Chen, along with Lin Zi, settled the old Dao, and then returned alone to the night watchman's family building. He was too tired and needed to rest. However, in the middle of the night, Su Chen was suddenly awakened. Sitting up, Su Chen saw that the old Dao had appeared in the room at some point, with three ugly faces staring quietly at him. This made Su Chen feel extremely nervous. What, what are you doing? Su Chen asked instinctively. Child, I am leaving. The old Taoist sighed, sounding somewhat reluctant, I have found the method to become immortal, but I am still lacking resources. I need to go search for resources. Child, wait for me. Wait for me to gather enough resources, and I will come back to take you to become immortal together. Pausing, the old Taoist extended seven or eight eerie tentacles. On the tentacles, there were figures bound. All of these people were unconscious. These are the gifts I am giving you. I saw them digging for treasure maps everywhere, releasing many entities. After speaking, the old Taoist flew out the window and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Su Chen finally reacted. Nearly scared me to death. Su Chen mistakenly thought that the old Taoist had killed someone. If that were the case, the night watchman would surely pursue it to the end. Fortunately, these people were still alive, fortunately, there were issues with their existence. Su Chen turned and went straight to the neighboring room 807, ringing the doorbell. Soon, the door opened. It was opened by a big black dog. Su Chen passed by the big black dog and walked in, only to see Lin Zi coming out of the bedroom in pajamas. Sister Lin Su Chen was about to speak when his expression froze. Lin Zi, with sleepy eyes, had a crack in the center of her eyebrows. In the next moment, the crack opened, revealing a vertical eye. Seeing this vertical eye, Su Chen held back all the words he was about to say. What was going on? Su Chen was a bit puzzled. Throughout history, there were only a few individuals with three eyes. The most famous among them, well known to the common people, was Erlangshin Yang Jian. Besides Yang Jian, there was also the Horse King. It was said that if you didn't see the Horse King's three eyes, you wouldn't know he had them. There was also the Grand Preceptor Wen Zhong of the Yin Dynasty, a veteran of three dynasties, who was said to have three eyes. Lastly, there was Prince Yin Jiao of the Yin Dynasty, who studied under Guang Chengzi and also had three eyes. Su Chen basically only knew about these four individuals. This made Su Chen unable to help but speculate, could Lin Zi have some kind of connection with them? The latter three were fine, but if Lin Zi was related to Yang Jin, her third eye would be very frightening. That was the heavenly eye. When the heavenly eye opened, it could see all directions, like the palm of a hand. It could be said without exaggeration that the heavenly eye was truly terrifying. Su Chen, what's wrong with you? Why are you staring at me? Lin Zi waved her hand in front of Su Chen and then looked down, realizing that nothing was amiss. 
What was wrong with Su Chen? This left her very puzzled. Nothing, I suddenly thought of some mythological stories. Su Chen shook his head, noticing that Lin Zi's third eye gradually faded away, leaving no trace in the end. After a pause, Su Chen said, Sister Lin, come to my room. I need to talk to you about something. Now. Lin Zi frowned slightly, somewhat displeased, it's late at night, and you won't let me sleep. If I get wrinkles, will you take responsibility? Despite her words, Lin Zi had already started walking outside. Back at home, Su Chen pointed to the eight figures on the ground and said, these were sent by the old Taoist. The old Taoist said that these people were digging for treasure maps everywhere, releasing many entities. Normally, there wouldn't be any issues, but during the day, when these people were digging for treasure maps everywhere, their intentions seemed suspicious. Lin Zi's expression turned serious. By the way, there's one more thing. The old Taoist has already left, and I don't know where he went. Su Chen added. The old Taoist left? Lin Zi exclaimed, with the old Taoist gone, our Tianhe city has lost a formidable powerhouse. What a pity. Moreover, with the old Taoist around us, it should have been safer. If he leaves and ends up killing someone, it won't be good. Lin Zi was a little worried. Don't worry, no one will provoke Lao Dao, Lao Dao shouldn't just kill people casually. Su Chen was also helpless, only able to comfort. Hopefully. Lin Zi sighed, then said, Su Chen, you did a great job this time, you have achieved great success. Through these people, we may be able to find out something. With that, Lin Zi pressed a button on the night watchman's watch. In less than three minutes, Li Xiao came directly. What's the situation? Li Xiao looked very tired, his eyes bloodshot. During the day, Tianhe City was almost lost. Although the crisis has been resolved, as the head of the Tianhe branch of the Night Watchman, he couldn't rest, there were many things waiting for him to do. Lin Zi looked at Su Chen. Su Chen understood and quickly repeated what he had said to Lin Zi. Impressive. I've been searching for most of the night, many have committed suicide, you managed. To find a survivor, that's really good. Li Zhao's bloodshot eyes lit up, even though he had already guessed the origin of these people, he still wanted to capture a survivor, to see if he could get any information out of them. At the very least, he needed to know why Tianhe City was targeted this time. Cults always have a purpose in their actions, only by knowing the purpose can one better figure out how to deal with them. Otherwise, who knows if the cult will cause trouble again. I will remember your great contribution this time. Wait for two days, after I finish my tasks, I will assess your merits and reward you. Li Xiao made a big promise, then asked, so, did that Lao Dao really leave? Li Xiao was very wary when mentioning Lao Dao. He really left, Su Chen spoke, Lao Dao should have no reason to deceive me. Lao Dao said he found a way to become immortal, but he still lacks resources and needs to go out to find them. Li Xiao pondered for a moment before saying, I know about this matter. I will report it to the higher-ups and let them handle it. All right, you guys continue to rest, get up early tomorrow, there are still many things waiting for you to do. Li Xiao said. No, I'm not sleepy right now, I need to get busy too, Lin Zi said seriously. It's not necessary, many people have arrived from above, they are not in combat, full of energy, and are helping out. Li Xiao advised. Otherwise, Lin Zi wouldn't be able to rest at all. I'm not sleepy either, Su Chen spoke up, if there's anything, just let me know, I'll handle it. If there's nothing, I'll go look for treasure maps. When he was still an ordinary person, there was never enough time to sleep. But after becoming a war king, he could quickly enter deep sleep. So, Su Chen was actually feeling very energetic now, feeling like he had slept enough. In that case, it's fine. Freshen up, then come report to the branch. There are many things that need your attention now. Li Xiao extended his hand, and a force spread out, covering the eight unconscious figures. These figures immediately floated up. I'll leave first. Li Xiao quickly left with the eight figures. Su Chen, I'm going to freshen up, you should do the same and then we'll go to work together, Lin Zi said, about to leave. Wait. Su Chen instinctively spoke up. Is there something else? 
Lin Zi turned back and asked. Su Chen was hesitant, should he ask about the three-eyed creature? But asking suddenly seemed a bit too abrupt. But not asking, he really was curious. Just say whatever is on your mind, Lin Zi seemed to have noticed, smiling, she said, we're so familiar with each other, feel free to speak your mind, at most I'll kick you out of this building. Lin, do you know you have three eyes? Su Chen hesitated for a while, but still asked. Three eyes? Lin Zi was slightly surprised, touched her eyebrow, then said, have you seen the third eye on my forehead? Well, what I saw when I went in just now is gone. Su Chen said, so, Lin Jia, you knew about it a long time ago? Yes, I knew a long time ago. But, this third eye is completely useless, I can't control it now, and I can't feel it either, Lin Zi shook her head. She really knew about this matter a long time ago, but it was of no use at all. Do you know why you have a third eye, Lin Jia? Su Chen asked. Upon hearing Su Chen's question, Lin Zi fell silent, but soon she said, actually, it's nothing much. At first, I didn't know either, but later, someone told me that it's because the blood of Yang Jian flows within me. I think that might be the most reasonable explanation. So, Lin Jia, your surname is Lin. Su Chen was puzzled. Actually, my surname is Yang, Lin Zi seemed unwilling to mention her past, and said somewhat unnaturally, later, my mom changed my surname, so I became Lin Zi. Su Chen suddenly realized, his eyes filled with envy, and he subconsciously said, why don't I have the bloodline of Yang Jian? If I remember correctly, Yang Jian's third eye is the heavenly eye. The heavenly eye opens, observing the ten directions, like the palm of a hand. Just hearing about it makes people feel terrified. Su Chen was truly envious. This kind of bloodline inheritance is something outsiders can only envy. What are you thinking? Lin Zi patted Su Chen's head and said, having a bloodline inheritance may not necessarily be a good thing, it could also be a shackle preventing one's evolution. All right, hurry up and get ready, we have to go to work. These days, we're going to be really busy. Lin Zi left, and when she returned home, she looked at the big black dog and suddenly asked, do I really have the bloodline of Yang Jin? Of course, the big black dog raised its head and said, Otherwise, do you think I, the mighty howling celestial dog, would follow you? Okay. Lindsay asked again, What about my ancestors? Your master, died in battle, the big black dog suddenly said sorrowfully. Died in battle? Lindsay heard this for the first time. She had asked many times before, but each time, the big black dog remained silent. This time, it was rare for the big black dog to speak up. Can you tell me about what happened back then? Lin Zi sat down and asked softly. What do you want to know? I've forgotten everything. The big black dog turned and walked towards the balcony, tears welling up in its eyes. As the lofty howling celestial dog, it couldn't let a junior see it cry. Were the enemies very strong? Lin Zi thought for a moment and asked. Very strong, extremely strong. The big black dog suddenly stopped, unwilling to say more. Lin Zi pondered for a moment, then began to get ready. The big black dog probably wouldn't say more, and it wouldn't be meaningful to ask further. Wait a few days and ask again. What really happened back then? Lin Zi was also very curious. Ten minutes later, Lin Zi went out and saw Su Chen already waiting. The big black dog also followed them out, raised its paw, and knocked on Su Chen's door. The door was locked. Su Chen, helpless, opened the door and watched as the big black dog swaggered in, then lay down on the balcony. It really likes you. Lin Zi said with a smile. Su Chen remained silent. Like it cares. It just likes to sneak a peek at the history records on his computer. Of course, Su Chen didn't say this out loud. Night watchman, Tianha branch, brightly lit, bustling with people. Su Chen and Lin Zi walked in, but no one paid them any attention. Everyone was too busy, where would they find the time and energy to greet the two of them? Minister. The two approached Li Xiao. Captain Lin, a citizen reported that several monsters have hidden in the department store. You need to go there in person and take care of them, Li Xiao looked down and then said. Okay. 
Lin Zi received the order and immediately left to carry out the mission. Minister, are there still people digging for treasure maps? Su Chen asked with a frown. There are still people digging, but the number has decreased significantly. Some are taking advantage of our distraction to cause trouble, Li Xiao sighed. And some are probably scared by what happened during the day, so now they are risking it to dig for treasure maps, hoping to improve their self-defense capabilities. Su Chen understood and asked, what do you want me to do? As a night watchman, there are naturally things that need to be done. It's unavoidable. Of course, compared to the benefits of being a night watchman, these things are nothing. Su Chen, are you afraid of death? Li Xiao asked with a hint of inquiry in his eyes. Yes. Su Chen replied bluntly. It's normal to be afraid of death. Who isn't afraid of death? Maybe there are truly fearless people, but Su Chen felt that he was genuinely afraid of death. At least, he is afraid of death now. He not only fears death but also fears pain. Su Chen, by saying that, you've disrupted what I was going to say, Li Xiao said somewhat helplessly. He had expected Su Chen to say he wasn't afraid of death. Even if he truly was afraid of death, he would at least say so on the surface. Minister, are you trying to make me do something dangerous? Su Chen speculated. It is indeed dangerous, but if successful, it will be a great achievement, Li Xiao said. I have interrogated the eight people you sent, and they are from the Seven Kill Sect. The Seven Kill Sect is a cult that has been causing trouble in secret. Through them, I learned the purpose of their activities during the day. Hmm. What purpose? Su Chen asked immediately. The Seven Kill Steel is actually in the hands of the Seven Kill Sect, Li Xiao said. I know this, General Bai mentioned it before, Su Chen said, please continue. A few days ago, the Seven Kill Steel shook, and the senior members of the Seven Kill Sect believed that someone had unearthed something related to the steel. Li Xiao glanced at Su Chen and continued, in the end, they narrowed down the target to Tianhe City. In other words, if their judgment is correct, someone in our Tianhe City has unearthed something related to the Seven Kill Steel. They want that thing, so they orchestrated this massacre. They believe that as long as there is enough killing, the person who unearthed something related to the seven kill steel will be affected by the killings. However, they have not found that person yet. At this point, Li Xiao felt a bit dry, took a sip of coffee from the table, and continued, My idea is to release information externally, saying that you have unearthed a treasure related to the seven kill steel. Minister, are you trying to use me as bait to lure the people from the seven kill sect? Su Chen furrowed his brows. This is too dangerous. One misstep could lead to death. Yes, that's what I have in mind, Li Xiao took another sip of coffee and then asked, if you agree, I will arrange it immediately. I will try my best to ensure your safety during this process. Afterwards, I will also credit you for your contribution. What do you think? I disagree. Su Chen shook his head, Minister, we have no grudges, why do you want to kill me? If you agree, I will give you an additional 10 treasure maps. Li Xiao said. As a night watchman, you are to protect the country and safeguard the people. Even if you ask me to be bait or to die, I am willing, Su Chen's face showed anticipation, 50 maps. Li Xiao's face lit up, but suddenly, it stiffened. That's too much, 20 maps. Li Xiao shook his head. Are you kidding me? 50 treasure maps are worth at least 10 million. Equivalent to eight years of Su Chen's salary. Minister, are you kidding me? Twenty treasure maps and you want me to risk my life? Su Chen sneered as if he had seen through Li Xiao's scheme. Twenty-five pieces, no more. Li Xiao shook his head. Forty pieces, no less. Su Chen haggled. Let's settle for thirty pieces. That's all I can offer you, can't do more. Otherwise, it won't get approved from above. Li Xiao frowned slightly. All right, deal. Su Chen agreed without further negotiation, then said, but I have two conditions. Li Xiao's first condition, in Li Xiao's view, was not really a condition. Even if Su Chen didn't mention it, he couldn't release the information now. Although the crisis in Tianhe City had passed, there were still many aftermath tasks to be done in Tianhe City, 
and he was too busy to spare time. And using Su Chen as bait was too dangerous, he needed to make some preparations to ensure Su Chen's safety. These things couldn't be prepared in just a few minutes. Quick, what's the second condition? Seeing that Su Chen didn't speak immediately, Li Xiao urged. He was very busy now and didn't have much time to spend on Su Chen. 30 pieces of treasure maps, give them to me now, Su Chen said. With the treasure maps, he would have confidence. And not all treasure maps could dig out treasures, a sufficient quantity would increase the probability of finding treasures. This needs to go through the process. Before Li Xiao could finish his sentence, Su Chen immediately turned and left, prompting Li Xiao anxiously, Su Chen, where are you going? I can't do this. Su Chen shook his head. Are you kidding me? Using bait was too dangerous, and Li Xiao was unwilling to pay out the 30 treasure maps in advance. Can a person do such a thing? Su Chen, you misunderstood. This indeed needs to go through the process. However, I'll take charge, and I'll personally advance you 30 treasure maps. Li Xiao felt helpless in his heart, and suddenly had 30 more treasure maps in his hand. Just now, he thought Su Chen was too naive, but now he felt that Su Chen was really not a good person. Thank you, minister. Su Chen came back and carefully counted the treasure maps from Li Zhao's hand. Not more, not less, exactly 30 treasure maps. Li Zhao's face was unpleasant. Do you really not trust me? Would I covet your little treasure maps? Minister. Rest assured, I, Su Chen, am a loyal person. Even without the treasure maps, I will do my best until the end. Su Chen said seriously. Li Xiao didn't believe him at all, but he said, I believe you. The two understood each other without saying it. Then I'll go. Su Chen smiled and said, I won't stay in the branch today. I'm going to dig for treasure maps, preparing for my future bait. Minister, is that okay? No problem, go ahead. Be careful, Li Xiao reminded. I will, I've always been lucky, Su Chen smiled. After Su Chen left, Li Xiao shook his head with a smile, pressed the special earpiece in his ear, and said, arrange for someone to contact the old Taoist and tell him that there are cult members coming to kill Su Chen, and that Su Chen is in imminent danger. After ending the call, Li Xiao muttered triumphantly, if an invincible expert takes action, even if it's not just 30 treasure maps, but 3,000 treasure maps, it's all a bloody profit. Unfortunately, Su Chen was not here, otherwise, he would definitely have a falling out with Li Xiao. It would take who knows how long to dig up 3,000 treasure maps. If Su Chen had so many treasure maps, he could ascend on the spot. It's really a pity. Outside the Night Watcher branch gate, Su Chen saw Lin Zi. Lin Zi was covered in blood, but fortunately, she didn't seem to be seriously injured. Lin Jia, what happened to you? Su Chen asked. Encountered a tough warlord, already killed him, Lin Zi replied. Looking down, she said, this is the enemy's blood. Su Chen was relieved. By the way, did the minister assign you any tasks? Lin Zi asked. Well. Su Chen looked around, hesitated, and said, it's not convenient to talk here. After changing locations, Su Chen finally spoke up and asked, Lin Jia, you've always been the best to me in the Night Watcher branch. Do you think it's very risky for me to act as bait? Lin Zi fell silent. After a while, she said, the risk is very high, there may be a risk of death. The Seven Killers cult, to achieve their goals, will stop at nothing. If they mistakenly believe that you are the person they are looking for, they will do everything to capture you, even kill you. Lin Zi stood up and said, no, I think it's too dangerous no matter how I look at it. I'll go talk to the minister. If someone has to act as bait, I can do it, why should you? Acting as bait is not a death sentence. She felt that the minister was sending Su Chen to his death, which naturally made her unhappy. Lin Jia, we night watchers, what's the harm in risking our lives? Su Chen said seriously. Lin Zi was moved and couldn't help but scrutinize Su Chen carefully. Is this still the Su Chen she knew? She still remembered clearly that when she invited Su Chen to join the Night Watchers, Su Chen didn't agree at first, but only joined after being offered enough benefits. But now, Su Chen seemed to have changed. 
You are still young and shouldn't say such things. You go busy yourself first, I'll go talk to the minister. Lin Zi withdrew her gaze and headed to Li Zhao's office. A moment later, Lin Zi emerged from Li Zhao's office, cursing, this Su Chen, he's really despicable. And Li Xiao, he's even worse. In the office, Li Xiao heard Lin Zi's words, feeling somewhat helpless, pretending not to have heard. On the street, Su Chen was running at a very fast speed. But gradually, Su Chen stopped in his tracks. This time, countless people were displaced, homes destroyed, and lives lost. And all of this was caused by the Seven Killers cult. This is because I don't have the strength now, and I can't find anyone. Otherwise, I would kill all the members of the Seven Killers cult, leaving none alive. Su Chen's eyes were full of killing intent, the blood in his body surged, making him feel hot-blooded, wishing to go and destroy the Seven Killers cult right now. They are all human, why cause trouble? Isn't it better to live peacefully? After a long time, Su Chen's hot blood finally calmed down. Department Store Su Chen arrived. This was one of the locations marked on a treasure map. Here, it was a ruin, the ground stained with blood. Yesterday, a terrifying presence appeared here, causing destruction. Today, Lin Zi came here again for a battle. Su Chen walked forward slowly, looked down, and saw several monster corpses lying on the ground, each with a blood hole in their foreheads. Remember your appearance, when I become stronger in the future, I will kill you and make you part of history. Su Chen's eyes were filled with killing intent. What's wrong with me? After a while, Su Chen came back to his senses and realized that something was off. Damn it! Could it be that the blood essence of that ancient powerhouse has affected me? If I had known, I wouldn't have absorbed the power from the blood essence. Su Chen cursed as he arrived at the exact location marked on the treasure map, focusing his gaze, and golden words appeared. Here sleeps a border army of the daughter country, with over 30,000 people. Before they fell asleep, they hadn't seen a man in 3,000 years. If you awaken them, you will be worn out alive. 3,000 years without seeing a man? Damn it! Who can bear that? Absolutely cannot let them out, at least, absolutely cannot let them out now. Su Chen cursed inwardly, another treasure map wasted. Moreover, this kind of high-risk treasure map cannot be sold. If sold to someone else and they dig it out, he would also suffer. Wait a little longer, wait until I become stronger, then come back to dig this treasure map. By then, I will write a book and draw over 30,000 single readers, giving each of them a wife. A woman is worth three, holding a golden brick. A woman is worth three thousand, ranked among the immortals. Su Chen couldn't help but think to himself. As for now, it's better to let it go. If they are dug out, it would be uncontrollable, and the risk is too great. If he ended up worn out, it would not be worth it. On to the next one. Su Chen took out another treasure map, looked at the marked location, and hurried over. An underground parking lot. Su Chen's figure appeared. The marked location of the treasure map was here. Su Chen took out the treasure map and was about to check the clues when he suddenly heard people nearby talking. Bro, do we really have to dig for treasure here? We must. This is a task arranged from above. But once we dig, we might die. First. If we don't dig, we will die for sure. If we dig, there is hope to live. Above said, as long as we return alive, each of us will be rewarded with ten treasure maps. Do you know what that means? But. There's no but. I'll dig, you record the video. Otherwise, when we go back, we won't be able to explain. Upon hearing this, Su Chen's face turned very ugly. At this point, the Seven Kill sect was still causing trouble. What a bunch of troublemakers. Boom. Su Chen rushed over directly, snatched the only treasure map they had, grabbed one of them by the hair, and slammed their head hard on the ground. The other person, seeing this, wanted to run, but before his figure moved, Su Chen appeared in front of him. Without a word, Su Chen slapped the other person's face directly. The person's face swelled up high, spun in place, eyes seeing stars, and fell down stiffly. Who are you? 
Why did you steal our treasure map and attack us? One of them questioned. Su Chen didn't answer but pressed a button on the night watchman's watch. In less than a minute, Li Xiao arrived directly. Phew. Seeing Su Chen, Li Xiao's heart finally settled, he breathed a sigh of relief and said, Su Chen, as long as you're okay. You almost scared me to death. Walking over, Li Xiao looked at the two on the ground and asked, What's going on? Su Chen raised the treasure map in his hand, recounted the situation, and said, I suspect these two are from the Seven Kill Sect, even if they are not, there is still a problem. I understand, Li Xiao nodded, then walked over, stomped hard on one of them, then stomped on the other, breaking each of their legs. Ah! Both of them screamed in pain, drenched in cold sweat. Now, I ask, you answer. Li Xiao squatted down and said, those who answer slowly will have their hands and feet cut off. If all are cut off, then next, I will step on your necks until they break. Are you members of the Seven Kill Sect? Li Xiao asked. Yes, one of them answered, while the other remained silent. Crack! Li Xiao stood up and ruthlessly stomped down, breaking both legs of the other person. Do you think I'm joking with you? Li Xiao's expression was very cold and ruthless. How many people did you send out this time? Li Xiao asked. We don't know, they both answered simultaneously. Wrong answer. Li Xiao then stomped down consecutively with two more kicks, breaking one hand and one foot of each person. The third question. At this point, Li Xiao suddenly turned to look at Su Chen and said, Forget it, I'll take them back for interrogation. The methods to come will be even more brutal than now, not suitable for you to witness. Su Chen was speechless. What's the big deal? Before he could speak, the two on the ground immediately said in fear, I'll tell you everything you want to know. I know, I'll tell you everything. Hearing that the methods to come would be even more brutal, they immediately cowered. Li Xiao meant business. He didn't follow the normal procedures, resorting to direct violence, which made them panic. Don't rush, take this time to think carefully. When we get to the Night Watch Division, whoever speaks the most will live. Li Xiao said ominously, as for the one who speaks the least, next year today will be your death anniversary. Su Chen, you did well. Thank you. Li Xiao waved to Su Chen. Unlike with the two people, he smiled warmly and gently. Goodbye, minister. Su Chen nodded. Li Xiao's heart stirred, and the two figures floated up and left the underground parking lot with him. I don't know what they want to unearth, I'll take a look first. Su Chen picked up the stolen treasure map and focused on it. In ancient times, there was a forbidden existence who, in a fit of anger, destroyed a vast world, totaling three trillion living beings. This is the residual killing intent left by that forbidden existence. Once released, all living beings within a hundred miles will be affected, killing each other until extinction. Golden letters appeared. Su Chen's expression immediately turned extremely ugly. Damn! What a despicable thing! They dare to release this thing? Tianhe City is densely populated, once it affects a hundred miles, it's unimaginable. Su Chen's eyes were full of killing intent, wishing to destroy the Seven Kill Sect right now. They are all lunatics. Hmm, wait a minute. Su Chen suddenly frowned, the people of the Seven Kill Sect keep digging up treasure maps and releasing many dangerous entities. How do they know that all these treasure maps are definitely dangerous? In that moment, Su Chen's expression became serious, they can't possibly predict the future, can they? When I get back, I'll ask the minister. Su Chen thought to himself. Then, Su Chen arrived at another location in the underground parking lot. This was his target. Su Chen focused and the golden letters appeared again. In ancient times, when Wen Zhong died in battle, there was a divine eye in the middle of his forehead, capable of discerning loyalty, evil, good, and bad intentions. With it, you can distinguish between loyalty and treachery, good and evil. However, it is too severely damaged, and for beings with high cultivation, you cannot see clearly. Looking at the golden letters, Su Chen was stunned. This was Wen Zhong's third eye. Wen Zhong, the Grand Preceptor of the Yin and Shang dynasties, a veteran of three dynasties. 
He was taught by the Bio Palace's golden spirit mother of the Jiejia sect, skilled in the five elements of metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. There is an ancient saying, with literature, one can pacify the country, with martial arts, one can stabilize the nation. The literature here refers to Wen the Grand Preceptor One. Wait a minute. Suddenly, Su Chen's eyes lit up, if I had this eye, wouldn't I be able to tell who is good and who is bad? The most complicated thing in this world is the human heart. Some people have one face in front of others and another behind their backs. In front of people, they are all good, but behind their backs, they might be the one stabbing you. And with strangers, who don't even know each other, it's even harder to tell if the other person is good or bad. If I had the third divine eye of Wen Zhongwen, even if it caused serious damage, I could still discern the loyalty, treachery, kindness, and evil of many people. This thing is the real deal. Even though it doesn't enhance. My strength, it enhances my abilities, and even at critical moments, it can enhance my self-defense. Dig. I must dig. Su Chen was excited, without any hesitation, he immediately used the treasure map. A space emerged. And I quietly floated inside, it looked very ordinary, but who would have thought it was the third divine eye of Wen Zhongwen? Su Chen reached out. The third divine eye seemed to sense something, immediately flew over and floated in front of Su Chen. It seemed to have a spirit, examining Su Chen, seemingly discerning whether Su Chen was loyal or treacherous, kind or evil. After about half a minute, it seemed to have figured it out, and directly dove into Su Chen's brow. Damn! Am I going to turn into a three-eyed monster? Su Chen's face changed slightly, and he quickly went to a car and looked into the rearview mirror. Luckily, I didn't turn into a three-eyed monster. But, there's a faint mark on my brow, barely visible if you don't pay attention. Hmm, even the faint mark is gone. At the same time, Su Chen felt that he had established a very close connection with Wen Zhongwen's third divine eye. Through this connection, Su Chen could clearly perceive that he could control the third divine eye. But if one day he became treacherous, evil, then Wen Zhongwen's third divine eye would choose to leave. Different paths do not converge. Go out and find someone to test the effect. Su Chen couldn't contain his inner thoughts and quickly walked out of the parking lot. Outside, a faint mark appeared on Su Chen's brow again. Hmm, this is a good person. This is also a good person. Another good person. Su Chen couldn't help but sigh, there are still many good people in this world. But soon, Su Chen's expression changed. There was a person ahead acting suspiciously, with a flickering gaze, giving off a sense of guilt. Su Chen immediately focused his gaze. His brow slightly heated, giving Su Chen feedback that this was a bad person. Su Chen, what are you doing here? Suddenly, Lin Zi's voice sounded beside him. Ha? Huh? Lin Jie? Su Chen was somewhat surprised, they had just separated, and now he saw Lin Zi again, he asked, why are you here too, Lin Jie? There was a report from a concerned citizen that someone was digging up a treasure map here, releasing many poisonous insects, so I came to deal with it, Lin Zi quickly said. Oh, I'm digging up a treasure map over here, Su Chen gestured towards the suspicious person and whispered, that person has a problem, arrest him for questioning, there might be some unexpected gains. Ha! Huh? Lin Zi raised her eyes, carefully looked at him, he's definitely suspicious, but right now, dealing with the poisonous insects is the most important. Lin Jia, what if this person is from the Seven Kill sect? If something else is dug up, the consequences are unimaginable. Su Chen spoke up, or, I'll go catch the person, and you deal with the poisonous insects. All right. Lin Zi nodded, her figure quickly leaving. At times like this, it's best to split up. As soon as Lin Zi left, Su Chen walked towards the person. Suddenly, Su Chen stopped, looking somewhat surprised at another person. The person was dressed in a suit, carrying a briefcase, with shiny hair. Clearly a successful person. His gaze was calm, and no one would associate him with a bad person. But Su Chen saw through it, this was a big bad guy. Either evil or evil. All are bad guys. Kill them all, not one is innocent. Boom. Su Chen suddenly made a move, without any warning. The man in the suit, with a flip of his eyes, fell directly to the ground. 
The sneaky person who saw this scene immediately panicked. However, before he could react, Su Chen appeared in front of him. Bang! Su Chen slapped him, and the sneaky person spun in place for a dozen times, then fainted. Although I believe in the third divine eye of Wenzhong, I still need to verify it. And, although there are dangers every day, the doomsday has not arrived after all, some order still needs to be followed. Otherwise, just kill them all. Su Chen shook his head. Who are you? Why did you suddenly attack a passerby? Hands up! Suddenly, the nearby night watchman rushed over, his face serious. He saw Su Chen's action, the speed of which made him unable to catch up. But he still rushed over. Moreover, he also sent out an urgent call for reinforcements, calling for nearby night watchmen to support. The entire Tianhe city is now full of night watchmen. Soon, this place will be surrounded by night watchmen. Su Chen raised his left wrist and shook it, saying, Brother, I am also a night watchman. The night watchman saw the night watchman's watch flashing on Su Chen's wrist, which was the signal for help he sent out. His expression softened slightly, but he still didn't dare to be careless, saying, Show me your identification. Su Chen took out his identification and threw it over. Oh, you are Su Chen? After the night watchman looked at it, he immediately relaxed and said, I'm really sorry just now, these days, I've been a bit sensitive, seeing everyone as bad guys. It's okay. Su Chen said he could understand. Suddenly, the night watchman's watch flashed again. Su Chen looked down and saw that it was a call for help from Lin Zi. Brother, these two people have problems, tie them up and wait for me to come back. Su Chen hurriedly instructed, then ran towards Lin Zi's direction. On the other side, Lin Zi was running with two night watchmen. Behind them were densely packed poisonous insects. Captain Lin, I'm sorry. We didn't expect so many poisonous insects to suddenly appear. One night watchman couldn't help but blame himself. When they called for help, there weren't so many poisonous insects. But after Lin Zi arrived, a large number of poisonous insects suddenly emerged. It's not your fault. Lin Zi said as he ran, wait a moment, reinforcements will be here soon. Suddenly, Lin Zi sensed something and immediately shouted, Su Chen, this way. Boom! Su Chen's figure leaped high and landed steadily behind Lin Zi. Lin Zi stopped and asked, Can you handle it? I can. Su Chen replied, Be careful, there are several warlords among the poisonous insects. Lin Zi said worriedly, I got it. Su Chen rushed towards the poisonous insects. Boom! Xian Huan Yan erupted. Su Chen's whole body was burning, and the terrifying flames raised waves of fire several meters high, covering all directions. All the poisonous insects nearby were instantly burned to ashes. However, this was not enough. Su Chen bathed in the fire of heaven and earth, and directly rushed into the army of poisonous insects. Wherever he went, he was unstoppable. In the endless rear of the poisonous insects, several warlords charged towards Su Chen. But as soon as they approached, they turned into ashes. The remaining poisonous insects saw this scene and were all scared, retreating like a tide. Boom! Thunder on a sunny day. Suddenly, endless rain poured down. The flames on Su Chen's body quickly extinguished. The poisonous insects that had just retreated saw this scene and quickly rushed back. Damn! This is outrageous! Su Chen looked up and saw a dark cloud floating above him. He couldn't help but curse, are you trying to kill me? Get out of here! Suddenly, the rain disappeared. The dark cloud rolled and formed a pitiful face, then sadly moved towards the volcano outside the city. Countless poisonous insects rushed over, about to engulf Su Chen. Suddenly, endless flames rose again. Xian Huang Yan, the fire of heaven and earth, capable of burning everything. Perhaps it's an exaggeration, but burning some poisonous insects shouldn't be a problem. Especially since these poisonous insects are not even at the level of a battle emperor. Boom! The terrifying flames seemed to create huge waves, instantly covering the area in front and burning the endless poisonous insects to ashes. Several battle kings among the insects no longer hesitated and turned to flee. 
But at this moment, Lin Zi crossed over the insects, her purple spear pierced out, nailing several insects to the ground. Xian Huang Yan covered the area, burning the bodies of the insects clean. In just three to five minutes, all the insects that were dug out by someone were wiped out. None survived. Su Chen, you're amazing. Lin Zi put away her spear, standing tall and generous, she said to Su Chen, facing so many poisonous insects, even I would only have the option to run. She was somewhat envious. The strange fire is really useful. She wanted it too. If she could possess the strange fire, her combat power would increase by more than one level. After all, Su Chen had just entered the Battle King level, at most, he was only at the first level of Battle King. But she was not far from the Battle Emperor level, it's just that she didn't have the treasures like Su Chen. You two continue to patrol the four directions. Lin Zi turned to the other two night guards and ordered. Okay, Captain, we'll leave now. The two night guards quickly left. The entire Tianhe city was filled with night guards. They were responsible for patrolling, guarding the area, and rushing up immediately if any danger was discovered. If they couldn't handle it, they would immediately request support from the branch. Over the past three years, countless night guards had died in battle. Not only the night guards, but also many civilians, who, in search of treasure maps, would be the first to die if they encountered danger. Only a few managed to survive. And a very small number of people, by digging out treasures, underwent evolution, becoming warriors, or battle kings, or even battle emperors. They became the strong protectors of the weak, which allowed humanity to continue to survive. Otherwise, Tianhe City would have been long gone in the past three years. You deserve credit for resolving the issue with the poisonous insects this time. I will report it truthfully to the minister. Lin Zi spoke directly. Thank you, Lin's sister, Su Chen said with a smile. Although the minister had not yet rewarded him with a treasure map, it was only a matter of time. He wouldn't be so greedy for those treasure maps. If that were the case, he would just quit. By the way, Lin's sister, I have a question, Su Chen spoke up, yesterday, I contributed a lot. I should have a significant contribution to protecting the country and the people, but until now, the heavens have not rewarded me with a treasure map. What's going on? Su Chen was a bit puzzled. I'm not sure of the specific reason. Or rather, in the world today, no one has figured it out yet, Lindsay shook her head and frankly said, but based on the situation of the past three years, the rewards from the heavens may be delayed, but they will definitely come. Just be patient. Lindsay comforted Su Chen. The rewards from the heavens may not always be on time. The senior night guards speculated that perhaps the heavens were still calculating, and once they were done, the rewards would naturally be given out. Okay, Su Chen nodded. It's just something that can't be helped, so he'll just have to wait. By the way, the two people I caught must have problems. When Sister Lin goes back, remember to bring them back for questioning, Su Chen spoke. Okay, Lin Zi nodded and left directly. Su Chen also left. He was about to go act as bait, and now he had to go dig up the treasure map. Ten minutes later, Su Chen arrived at his destination and immediately looked intently. In the past, the underworld was shattered into countless fragments. One of the fragments fell here, forming a ghostly place, nurturing 30 million evil spirits. Here, living beings must stop, once entered, death is certain. Looking at the golden words, Su Chen's expression instantly became extremely ugly. Damn! Are you kidding me? 30 million evil spirits. If they are released, not to mention Tianhe City, the entire Dacia might be doomed. Moreover, this treasure map can only rot in my hands. Otherwise, if sold to others and they dig it out, I will also suffer. This is a sin. Is this something a human should do? Su Chen was indignant but helpless. Fortunately, I have many treasure maps. I'll continue digging with another one. Soon, Su Chen calmed down and no longer felt discouraged. Twenty minutes later, Su Chen arrived outside the city's first people's hospital. It was crowded with people. Countless injured were brought here, and there were queues outside the hospital. Su Chen couldn't even get in. 
In the next moment, Su Chen leaped into the air and flew straight in. War King. Such a young war king. Who is this person? Outside the hospital, many people saw this scene and couldn't help but exclaim. They couldn't help but envy. I want to become a war king too. Suddenly, a person's blood boiled, took out a treasure map from his bosom, and used it directly. A space. Appeared. A claw reached out and instantly crushed the person to death. In the next moment, a humanoid creature walked out. It was three to four meters tall, covered in black fur, and had four eyes on its face. Smells good. The humanoid creature picked up the dead person and stuffed him into its mouth. Blood flowed down. Disperse all. Outside the hospital, a night watchman patrolled and saw the scene, immediately shouting loudly. Several night watchmen rushed up. But in the blink of an eye, one of the night watchmen was killed in battle, and the rest were all knocked away. Ha! Huh? Su Chen, who had just entered the hospital, heard the commotion, turned around instantly, and shouted sternly, Beast, you're looking for death. Boom! The dark yellow flames turned into a blaze, spreading instantly and falling on the humanoid creature. Roar! The humanoid creature roared and struggled continuously. Su Chen flew over and appeared above the humanoid creature, stomping down fiercely. The humanoid creature immediately fell to the ground, unable to struggle anymore. The dark yellow flames continued to burn, and in just a few seconds, its whole body was charred, devoid of life. Seeing this scene, the people around finally recovered from their panic. On one hand, they were very envious of Su Chen, and on the other hand, they were very afraid to dig up the treasure map. Digging up the treasure map was too risky, one misstep and a person would be gone, and then the whole village would be in mourning. Su Chen glanced at the night watchman who died in battle, shook his head, and sighed. This was the duty of a night watchman. They walked on the edge of life and death every day. Su Chen re-entered the hospital, found the destination, and then looked intently. In the past, there was a forbidden existence that left behind a scroll called Slaughter Scripture. Killing 10,000 people can make one a king, killing a billion can make one an emperor, killing 300 billion can make one an immortal. Golden words appeared. Damn! Are you kidding me? I, Su Chen, am a night watchman, and my duty is to protect the country and safeguard the people. I don't need this kind of cultivation technique. Su Chen's expression was grim. Why did it have to involve killing people? Couldn't it be something else? Like killing a hundred thousand zombies or a million poisonous insects? What a waste. Su Chen shook his head, sighed, and thought it was a real pity. Forget it, let's move on to the next one. Su Chen was about to leave when he suddenly remembered that Fatty should still be in the hospital. After a while, Su Chen arrived at room 666 and was shocked to see Fatty. It had only been a few days, but Fatty's injuries had worsened. His head was wrapped in bandages, and his lower body was also covered in bandages. Fatty, what happened to you? Su Chen asked. Su Chen. Fatty was slightly stunned to see Su Chen, then a warm feeling passed through his heart. Yesterday, there were monsters everywhere and I was being chased by one. I thought I was as good as dead, so I decided to try digging for treasure maps, thinking it might save my life. Fatty explained truthfully, who knew, I dug up a huge rock, and it crushed me underneath, that's how I ended up like this. Later, a night watchman passed by and pulled me out, then brought me to the hospital. Do you think it's easy for me? Fatty's eyes turned red, feeling like he was about to cry. Don't worry, at least you're still alive, right? Su Chen comforted him. Fatty was taken aback, then seemed to understand, saying, You're right, at least I'm still alive. The monster thought I was dead, so it left, otherwise, I would have really died. Fatty shuddered at the thought, then he looked at Su Chen and asked, By the way, are you here to buy treasure maps? No, I just came to see you, Su Chen said with a smile. Fatty was touched. He took out ten treasure maps from his pocket and said, I don't want to dig for treasure maps now, do you want them? I'll sell all ten to you. Yes, of course, Su Chen grinned, took out his phone, and quickly transferred two million to Fatty. Once Fatty received the money, Su Chen took the ten treasure maps. 
Take care and get well soon. I'll come to see you again in a few days, Su Chen patted Fatty on the shoulder before leaving. As he walked, Su Chen looked at the ten treasure maps. Hmm, one of the treasure map locations is marked right here in the hospital. Without hesitation, Su Chen immediately headed to the location. When he arrived, Su Chen focused and saw golden words appear. During Tang Monk's journey to the west to obtain scriptures, he suddenly developed hemorrhoids. A skilled doctor performed surgery on him, and here lies the hemorrhoids discarded by Tang Monk. After countless ages, the power within the hemorrhoids has greatly diminished, but it still possesses considerable power. Staring at the golden words, Su Chen was stunned. If he remembered correctly, Tang Monk had eaten the ginseng fruit, but as he was in a mortal body at the time, he couldn't digest it. Thus, Tang Monk turned into a human-shaped ginseng fruit, attracting numerous monsters wanting to eat him. Damn! Should I dig it up? If I do, can I stomach it? Su Chen was extremely conflicted. After careful consideration, he realized he couldn't stomach it. Just the thought made him feel disgusted and nauseous. However, this was the genuine flesh of Tang Monk, even though many ages had passed and its power had diminished, it still held some power. In the past, this power might have been ordinary, but it could be very helpful to him now. But how could he eat it? Ah! Su Chen was in agony, then his eyes showed madness. Forget it, just dig it up first. Even if I don't eat it, I can keep it. If I can't eat it, I can sell it for money and exchange it for super treasure maps, right? This thing is definitely worth a lot, exchanging it for a hundred or eighty million super treasure maps should be no problem, right? As Su Chen thought, he used a treasure map. A spatial area appeared. Su Chen saw the floating hemorrhoids. Perhaps due to countless ages passing, the hemorrhoids had dried up. There was no unpleasant smell as imagined, but instead a faint fruity scent. Su Chen took out a tissue and carefully wrapped up the hemorrhoid. Is this really the flesh of Tang Sang? Su Chen examined the hemorrhoid in his hand, showing a look of hesitation, can eating it really grant immortality? Besides immortality, are there any other effects? Su Chen was tempted to swallow it. Forget it, I'll keep it for now. Su Chen sighed, unable to overcome the hesitation in his heart. Let's continue to the next one. Su Chen hurriedly left the hospital, spent 10 minutes, and arrived at the next location marked on the treasure map. This should be it. Su Chen carefully compared the treasure map, and the location marked on it was right here. Su Chen immediately focused his gaze. Back then, when Tang Seng and his disciples went to the western heaven to obtain scriptures, they saw a field of cucumbers from afar. The cucumbers grown here are from the kingdom of women. Over endless years, they have evolved into spiritual fruits, containing great benefits for cultivators. Looking at the golden words, Su Chen was stunned. Cucumbers from the kingdom of women? Evolved into spiritual fruits? Suddenly, Su Chen's face showed excitement. This was a good thing. He was only at the first level of the Battle King now, without relying on treasures, he was at the bottom of the Battle Kings. Since the cucumbers had evolved into spiritual fruits, eating them would enhance his strength. In the future, when used as bait, he would have an extra layer of protection. Even if he used treasures, he could unleash more powerful forces. Dig! I must dig! Su Chen immediately used the treasure map, and a space appeared instantly. A cucumber vine swayed gracefully. On it, there was a cucumber about 50 centimeters long, with a rough surface. Su Chen couldn't help but swallow his saliva and quickly pick the cucumber. Just, one? Su Chen was taken aback, then shook his head, one is still good. Damn! Su Chen suddenly realized, I spent 200,000 just to dig up a cucumber? Su Chen felt like he had been ripped off. And this cucumber vine, if I remember correctly, seems to be a medicinal herb. Now that the cucumbers have evolved into spiritual fruits, this cucumber vine should also be a spiritual plant, right? Su Chen thought, if transplanted back, can it continue to grow cucumbers for me next year? Regular cucumbers are gone in a year. But this is a spiritual plant, so it shouldn't disappear in a year. 
Otherwise, the cucumbers here wouldn't make sense. Su Chen's heart suddenly became excited, and he carefully transplanted the cucumber vine, still carrying some soil from the space. Holding the cucumber vine, Su Chen quickly ran home. On the way, he bought a flower pot. Back home, Su Chen rushed to the balcony, without even looking at the big black dog sunbathing, he quickly planted the cucumber vine. I hope it survives. Otherwise, I'll just sell it as medicine. Now, this thing is not just ordinary medicine, it should be considered a spiritual medicine. Su Chen's eyes were full of anticipation, then he washed his hands, and washed the cucumber before biting into it. So delicious. If only I could find the cucumber field of the kingdom of women. An acre of land, at least 3,000 cucumbers, right? Su Chen pondered silently, full of anticipation for the future. Click. Click. Soon, Su Chen finished eating the cucumber, waited quietly for a while, and suddenly felt a surge of power in his body, which then rushed into the inner world and merged into the battle divine text. Although he condensed the divine text, upon closer inspection, the divine text still seemed somewhat illusory, like a candle in the wind, one misstep and the divine text would extinguish, turning into nothingness. But now, with the power contained in the cucumber merging into the divine text, the strokes of the battle divine text immediately became solid. Am I already at the second level of the War King? Su Chen thought to himself. The big black dog basking in the sun suddenly turned its head and looked at Su Chen with some surprise. Is this already the second level of the War King? Such a fast speed. Ha! Huh? No, what is this? The big black dog seemed to have smelled something, its nose twitched, it seems to be the smell of meat, with a hint of ginseng fruit. Good stuff! The big black dog couldn't help it, and drool started to flow down. It stood up and slowly walked towards Su Chen. When it reached Su Chen, the smell it detected became stronger, and the drool flowed uncontrollably. Could this be the flesh of Tang Seng? Impossible. Tang Seng later became a Buddha, and this meat doesn't smell like a Buddha. Or is this the flesh of Tang Seng before becoming a Buddha? Could that legend be true? I really want to eat it, what should I do? Su Chen suddenly looked at the big black dog with great surprise, and said somewhat disdainfully, Your drool has dirted my place, remember to clean it up, or else, I won't let you in tomorrow. The big black dog nodded, turned and went into the bathroom, soon stood up and started mopping the floor. Su Chen, 6. Clean the floor well, I'm leaving. Su Chen got up and walked outside. Time was running out, he still had to go dig for treasure maps. While waiting for the elevator, Su Chen heard his phone continuously receiving notifications, he took it out and saw that they were all from today's headlines. Congratulations to the human race. Congratulations to Disya. A reader of Tomato used an advanced treasure map and dug out a Dragon King. The reader is concerned about the millions of people in Xuanwu City and has cast a spell to remove the seawater from Xuanwu City. Congratulations to the human race. Congratulations to Disya. National Night Watchmen supported the Magic City and have exterminated all 10,000 zombies in the Magic City. Seeing this, Su Chen couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. He had been worried about Xuanwu City and the Magic City, but fortunately, the crisis had been resolved. I just don't know the casualties this time. Su Chen sighed, fearing that the casualties this time would be significant. He shook his head and continued to look at the next piece of news. Congratulations to the human race. Congratulations to Disya. Citizen Zhu used a treasure map to dig out Pig Shoujua. Currently, Pig Shoujua has killed towards the human restricted area, willing to clear the restricted area for humans and protect all living beings. Pig Shoujua? Su Chen frowned, this name sounded very familiar. Especially since this person's surname is Pig. In mythology, there seems to be only one person surnamed Pig. Soon, Su Chen remembered the terrifying origin of this Pig Shoujua. When Xu Beiji left Gaoleazwang, Gao Tsuilun was already pregnant. Xu Beiji spent 14 years on the journey to the west, and Gao Tsuilun was pregnant for 14 years. When Xu Beiji achieved enlightenment, Gao Tsuilun finally gave birth to a son named Pig Shoujua. Later, Pig Shoujua was enlightened by Tang Sanzang, 
became a disciple, and returned to the Western Heaven. Later, like Xu Beiji, Pig Shoujua was also appointed as a clean altar messenger. The human restricted area is called that because not even the War King could solve it. This Pig Shoujua, just dug out, could he have a cultivation level surpassing the War King? Isn't this too terrifying? Damn! I wish I could clear a restricted area someday. Su Chen envied sincerely. Soon, his phone vibrated again, and there was another message notification. Congratulations to the human race. Congratulations to Disya. Latest news, Pig Shoujua has cleared the Shenangjia, one of the human restricted areas, and is currently heading to the next restricted area. Su Chen was shocked. This speed was unparalleled. Of course, the news being reported might have some delay. But no matter what, this pig shoujua was truly terrifying. One human restricted area was gone just like that. If someone could have dug out pig shoujua three years ago, the human situation would not be as passive as it is now, and there wouldn't be human restricted areas. More importantly, there wouldn't be so many casualties. Su Chen continued to scroll on his phone, suddenly, his gaze froze. Shocking. Shocking. Global shock. Citizen Sun discovered the couplet on the gate of Wuzhuan Temple using the super treasure map, Immortal 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 Mansion, living with heaven's longevity, the rhyme on it is extraordinary, with boundless power. Looking at the news on his phone, Su Chen was somewhat shocked. Wuzhuan Temple, the dojo of the ancestor of the earth immortals, Jin Yuan Daxian. The disciples of Wuzhuan Temple once said to the Tang priest and his disciples, San Cheng is the master's friend, the four emperors are the master's old friends, the nine luminaries are the master's juniors, and Yuanchen is the master's guest. From this, it can be seen how terrifying Jin Yuan Dashian's status and strength are. And the couplet on the gate of Jin Yuan Dashian's dojo must also be extraordinary. Su Chen was envious. Why can't I dig out such good things? And why do I only have treasure maps? How can I get a super treasure map? Without a super treasure map, an advanced treasure map will do. Su Chen was uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. He had worked so hard to dig up so many treasure maps, only to get a level 2 war king. If I had dug up the Rui Golden Cudgel, or the White-Robed Guanin, one of the 33 incarnations of Guanin, it would have been fine, but instead, I dug up either fragments or broken pieces. I dug up a dog's head, although it's not a fragment, it's still incomplete. Su Chen felt miserable, wanting to cry. At this moment, the elevator arrived, Su Chen entered the elevator, continuing to browse the news. Congratulations to the human race. Congratulations to the great Xia. Kindergarten teacher Huang used an advanced treasure map to dig in the garden and unearthed a willow tree over a thousand meters tall. Its rhyme is extraordinary, covering several cities, benefiting countless people, and greatly improving their cultivation. Su Chen felt sour. The rhyme covered several cities, and the cultivation of countless people had improved. Why wasn't this happening in Tianhe City? When he got out of the elevator, Su Chen's speed immediately increased. Running all the way, even cars couldn't keep up with Su Chen. Boom! Su Chen descended from the sky and landed in a ruin, taking out a treasure map and looking at it intently. In the past, a forbidden existence refined a 10 billion soul banner, although it is incomplete, it still possesses supreme power. But now, you still can't control it, and you may even suffer a backlash from the 10 billion souls in the banner, eventually dying. Golden words appeared. When Su Chen saw the prompt in front of him, his face lit up, feeling excited inside. But when he saw the prompt behind, his face immediately fell. 10 billion soul banners, just hearing about it made him feel like he could easily sweep through the human forbidden zone. However, he still couldn't control the 10 billion soul banners. Did he have to wait until he became a war emperor to dig it up? Forget it, I'll wait a bit longer, wait until I become a war emperor, then I'll see if I can dig it up. I have plenty of treasure maps now, if this one doesn't work, I'll switch to the next one. Su Chen didn't dwell on it anymore, quickly left, but just as he took a few steps, a gust of evil wind suddenly struck from behind. Bang! Su Chen felt a headache, his vision darkened, and he fell to the ground. A big black dog walked over with a large bone club, 
The bone club disappeared, it grinned, revealing two rows of white teeth. Tang priest's flesh, you must be disgusted in your heart, or you would have been eaten long ago. So, let me help you digest it. The big black dog sniffed around Su Chen and quickly found the Tang priest's flesh wrapped in tissue. It couldn't wait and swallowed the tissue along with it. Don't worry, I won't eat your Tang priest's flesh for nothing, I will repay you in the future. The big black dog muttered a few words and quickly left. No one noticed from start to finish. When Su Chen woke up, he was already at the night watchman branch. Su Chen, are you awake? Lin Zi looked tired, but when she saw Su Chen wake up, she immediately smiled and said, The night watchman saw you faint and brought you to the branch. Su Chen, check if you feel any discomfort. Su Chen touched his head and said, The back of my head hurts a bit, there's a bump, but nothing else. That's good, Lin Zi relaxed. Su Chen suddenly remembered something and started searching his body. The phone is here, the night watchman's ID is here, the treasure map is here, nothing missing. Suddenly, Su Chen's expression turned extremely ugly. Damn! Where is my Tang Monk's flesh? Dug out Tang Monk's flesh, that was precious meat, and now it's gone. I don't know which despicable person knocked me out, it's so despicable. Don't let me find out who you are, or I'll beat you to a pulp. So infuriating. So hateful. Su Chen vowed to find that despicable person. You actually dug out Tang Monk's flesh. Lin Zi was shocked, then took out her phone and checked. Su Chen's phone vibrated, a message came in. Shocking. Global shock. Night Watchman Su dug out Tang Monk's flesh. But Su was knocked out, and the flesh disappeared. Su Chen looked at the news with 5,000 likes in just a few seconds, lost in thought. Lin, is this appropriate? Su Chen was speechless. Being in the news is one thing, but being knocked out is another, it sounds bad. Su Chen, don't blame Captain Lin. At this moment, Li Xiao walked in, looking tired, and said, Regarding this kind of news, if we don't know, it's fine, but once we do, we must spread it. We want people worldwide to know, the myth is coming, full of danger but also opportunities. Ordinary people digging for treasure maps face great danger. But if they become warriors and dig for treasure maps, the probability of death will greatly decrease. In theory, we support more people to dig for treasure maps, to make everyone stronger and have self-defense capabilities. Su Chen fell silent. But how many people will die? 90% will die. Too dangerous. Okay, let's not talk about this now, I have something to discuss with you. Li Xiao changed the topic, looking serious, and said, the two people Lin Zi brought back, after some coercion, threats, and intimidation, they all confessed, they are indeed followers of the Seven Killers sect. At the same time, I received a very important piece of information. At exactly 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the Seven Killers sect will have thousands of people digging for treasure maps in different locations. Su Chen's expression changed at the news, they are still digging? And, there are thousands of them? Exactly. Li Zhao's eyes were bloodshot, showing signs of exhaustion. Obviously, he hadn't rested last night and was naturally tired now. Minister, I have a question, why are there so many dangers when they dig for treasure maps? Su Chen was puzzled. You're being naive. Li Xiao explained, the items dug out from ordinary treasure maps are 90% dangerous. As long as they dig at the same time, it will naturally be as dangerous as yesterday. Furthermore, I heard that someone in the Seven Killers sect dug out a tortoise shell, which can predict the fortune of treasure maps. With this, their ability to cause trouble becomes stronger. Su Chen fell silent. Damn the Seven Killers sect. They are really despicable. Okay, back to the main topic. Li Xiao continued, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, if thousands of people dig for treasure maps simultaneously, the crisis facing Tianhe City will be even more terrifying than yesterday. So, we can't let them continue digging for treasure maps. Currently, the only way is to let you go ahead as bait. So, we need you to go ahead as bait. Su Chen remains silent. The seven kill sect deserves to die, and Li Xiao deserves to die too. This is trying to get oneself killed. What time should we release the information? Su Chen asked. 
Around 1.30 in the afternoon, Li Xiao looked at the time and said, there are about 100 minutes left. It's too dangerous, I'm not going. Su Chen immediately shook his head upon hearing this. He had too few treasures on him, and his cultivation was weak. If he went as bait, he wouldn't even know how he would die. If you go now, I'll give you an extra 20 treasure maps. Li Xiao said without surprise. 50 maps. Su Chen countered. How about 30 maps then? Li Xiao suggested. For the people of Tianhe City, I, Su Chen, cannot refuse. Su Chen got out of bed, raised his head high, and said, As per the usual, you must give it to me first, and my reward must be given to me by tomorrow at the latest. No problem, Li Xiao said, taking out 30 treasure maps out of thin air and handing them to Su Chen, if you solve this for us, you won't have to wait until tomorrow, at the latest, you'll get it tonight. By the way, when the time comes, not only will you get treasure maps, but also advanced treasure maps for you. Advanced treasure maps? Su Chen's heart trembled. He had dug up many treasure maps, but he had never seen advanced ones, let alone dug them up. All right. Su Chen straightened his clothes, walked out, and said, I'll go dig for treasure maps first. When you release the information, remember to notify me in advance. Leaving the night watchman branch, Su Chen carried a stack of treasure maps and started running frantically. Countdown, 100 minutes. It was even less than 100 minutes. Su Chen naturally wouldn't waste time on the road, but instead pushed his speed to the limit. Boom! One minute later, Su Chen arrived at his destination. He had been here once before, and now, Su Chen looked around again. In the past, there was a forbidden existence that left behind a scroll called Slaughter Scripture. Killing 10,000 people could make one a king, killing a billion could make one an emperor, killing 300 billion could make one an immortal. The golden words appeared again. The first time he saw the prompt, Su Chen had refused. But thinking that when he became bait, all the people from the seven kill sect would come to kill him, Su Chen understood that he had no choice. Some people in this world deserve to die. Not only deserve to die, but they should be killed until their souls scattered and they were completely destroyed. Everyone from the seven kill sect, from ordinary followers to the higher ups, were all people who deserved to die. Looking at the prompt, Su Chen immediately used the treasure map. A space appeared. Su Chen saw a scroll floating inside, with the words Slaughter Scripture written in blood. When Su Chen saw the Slaughter Scripture, his blood suddenly boiled. At the same time, in the sky above the world, the earth suddenly shook violently. Everyone, all creatures, looked up in astonishment. Su Chen was no exception, gaping at the sky. A world appeared in the sky like a mirage. All beings could clearly see that in that world, countless terrifying powers flew and roamed, possessing the power to destroy heaven and earth. But at that moment, a blurry figure suddenly descended into that world. Kill, 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 kill. A terrifying voice came from the blurry figure. The scene changed, and in that world, countless creatures all died. Blood flowed like a sea, bodies piled up like mountains, reaching 10,000 feet high. Only one person stood on the mountain of corpses, facing away from all living beings. At that moment, the world fell silent, no one dared to speak, everyone trembled. That person, facing away from all living beings, still exerted endless pressure on everyone. Even the warlords were affected. Outside Tianhe City, three ugly and hideous heads of the old Taoists lifted up, looking at the sky with a strong expression of fear in their eyes. Deep in their eyes, there was also a hint of excitement and anticipation. They had seen immortals, or perhaps even beings beyond immortals. The figure in the distance seemed like the end of the Tao, making them feel that no matter how hard they tried, they could never reach that level. In the South China Sea restricted zone, Pig Shoujua stood on an island, looking up at the sky. Surrounding it were terrifying marine creatures, many times larger than normal marine life. In the distance, there was even a terrifying dragon. But at this moment, all these marine creatures were trembling in fear, looking up at the sky without daring to move. Pig Shoujua did not calm the restricted area at this time, but instead looked up at that figure, lost in thought. It seems like my father mentioned him before, even his name, but there are many taboos, unwilling to let the world know their identities. 
Without their consent, even if people know about them, even if they have already died in battle, the world will forget them. Pig Shoujua murmured, Now, with the strange signs of heaven and earth, someone has unearthed something containing its profound principles. Even if he is already dead, he may still return. In the Night Watchman family building, the big black dog also looked up at the sky. Another forbidden existence. The master seems to have mentioned him, but I don't remember. Finally, the strange signs of heaven and earth dissipated, returning everything to normal. However, all beings found it hard to calm their minds. Damn! What have I unearthed? How strong does one have to be to become a forbidden existence? Su Chen was shocked. Suddenly, the slaughter classic turned into a beam of light, swiftly entering Su Chen's body, and finally appearing in the inner world. In the inner world, Su Chen looked inside the slaughter classic. The slaughter classic opened automatically. Kill 10,000 to become a king. Kill a billion to become an emperor. Kill 300 billion to become an immortal. Kill 30 trillion to become a demon. Kill 3,000 star domains to become the ruler of the universe. Kill 3,000 great worlds to make the universe extinct but not me. Kill through a universe to become forbidden. Seven lines of bloody characters were directly imprinted in Su Chen's mind. Each stroke was filled with endless killing intent. In an instant, Su Chen's eyes turned bloodshot, with killing intent soaring. Suddenly, the white fragments in the inner world sensed the scene, gently oscillating and transforming into the white-robed Guan Yin. There seemed to be a voice coming from his mouth, gradually restoring Su Chen to normal. However, the white fragments seemed even more fragmented. Phew! Su Chen took a deep breath, realizing that he was soaked all over. After resting for three minutes, Su Chen couldn't help but continue his inner exploration out of curiosity. This time, the seven lines of bloody characters did not affect Su Chen anymore. Su Chen also saw that the further back the seven lines of characters went, the more vibrant the colors became. It seemed that these seven lines were not written on the same day, as if they had experienced long years in between. The Slaughter Classic gently turned a page, countless words imprinted with rolling killing intent on Su Chen's soul. Suddenly, Su Chen felt a connection in his heart, and in the inner world, there was constant vibration as a divine character kill quietly condensed. Su Chen looked at the Slaughter Classic again, but this time, the Classic did not turn the page. Su Chen understood that he was too weak, and just the content of the first page was enough for him to cultivate for a long time. With this volume of the Slaughter Classic, all of you from the Seven Killings sect will just wait to die. A murderous intent brewed in Su Chen's eyes. Compared to before obtaining the Slaughter Classic, Su Chen's current killing intent was much heavier. One volume of the Slaughter Classic is not enough, I have to continue to dig for treasure maps. There's not much time left. I have to speed up. Su Chen immediately ran towards the distance, and in just three minutes, he appeared ten kilometers away. Here, far from the city center, the population was no longer as dense. Upon reaching his destination, Su Chen took out the treasure map, confirmed the location was correct, and then focused his gaze. In the past, the ginseng fruit tree was shattered, and one ginseng fruit fell here. Over endless years, it failed to take root and grow into a new ginseng fruit tree, nor could it retain its own power. Now it has decayed, eating it will give you diarrhea. Golden words appeared. Seeing what was ahead, Su Chen was ecstatic, but upon seeing what was behind, he couldn't help but curse. Damn! Can ginseng fruit go bad? After calming down, Su Chen suddenly had an idea and grinned, Dig! I must dig! I don't want the 200,000, I'll dig it out to feed that big black dog. Suddenly, a space appeared, and Su Chen saw the ginseng fruit. Damn! It really went bad. Su Chen wrapped the ginseng fruit in a tissue, carried it with him, and continued to the next location. Upon arriving, Su Chen once again focused his gaze. There is nothing here. Golden words appeared. To Su Chen's surprise, this time the hint was very short, and even more surprising, there was nothing here. It's okay. This treasure map is not dangerous, I can sell it to Captain Lai Gangliai. And then, buy another treasure map. Su Chen was not worried at all, quickly left, 
and headed to the next destination. Here contains a rule of the Buddhist gate. Once released, it will forcibly ordain you and enhance your cultivation. Remember, after being forcibly ordained, your hair will not grow back. Looking at the golden words, Su Chen couldn't help but curse. Forcibly ordaining people? Too unethical. I don't want to be a monk. Su Chen sneered, thinking, but I can sell it to Captain Ligangliai, anyway, he has no hair, whether he ordains or not, it won't show. 200,000, a bargain for Captain Lei. Su Chen felt that Lei Gang made a big profit this time, spending only 200,000 to enhance his own strength. If it weren't for the fact that hair wouldn't grow back after ordination, where would Lei Gang stand? I've always been digging treasure maps in the city center, accumulated quite a few not in the city center, might as well dig them all now. Su Chen quickly took action and ran towards the direction away from the city center. After three kilometers, Su Chen stopped, confirmed the location was correct, and then focused his gaze. In the past, someone drifted in the starry sky for 300,000 years. On the Day of Enlightenment, a sword shattered 30 million stars, and countless ancient beings on the stars were all destroyed, none survived. Here, there remains a hint of sword intent, after several epochs, it is now on the verge of collapse, but it still has great benefits for you. Looking at the golden words, Su Chen was ecstatic. Drifting in the starry sky for 300,000 years, sounds very powerful. This means that this being has lived for at least 300,000 years. Shattering 30 million stars with one sword, destroying countless ancient beings on the stars, this is too powerful, right? Damn! I must dig. I want this hint of sword intent. Su Chen immediately used the treasure map and opened the space corresponding to this treasure map. In the space, the sword energy was rampant. In the instant the space appeared, the sword energy instantly turned into a peerless divine sword and slashed towards Su Chen. In that moment, Su Chen's whole body stiffened, unable to move at all. Even his thoughts seemed to stop. Am I going to die? Su Chen was shocked. At the same time, Su Chen's vision blurred, and he found himself in the starry sky. In front of him, a meteorite was drifting. Suddenly, the meteorite cracked open, revealing a figure inside. Ha, ah, today, the Tao is complete. Suddenly, a voice came out from his mouth. Su Chen was very surprised, as he shouldn't be hearing any sound here, but he did. The sword is here. The person stepped on the starry sky, extending his right hand. Su Chen saw in the distance a galaxy shining brightly in the starry sky. At that moment, the galaxy trembled and transformed into an extraordinary divine sword, falling into his hand. Back then, you all killed 30 million of my people, today, I will destroy 30 million stars. If you do not accept this, come and fight me at the ancestral star of my people. Boom! A flash of sword light illuminated the starry sky, cutting across the starry realm. In the distance, 30 million stars shattered one after another. Countless ancient beings on them let out fearful roars in that instant, their figures rushing out of the stars, trying to escape into the starry sky. However, before the sword light could reach them, they couldn't bear it, and one by one, their figures quickly turned into dust, then disappeared. In a more distant place, it seemed that a terrifying existence was crossing the starry sky. Su Chen was about to take a closer look when he realized that the scene in front of him shattered. For some reason, Su Chen felt a bit regretful that he couldn't see what happened next. Moreover, there seemed to be no signs of heaven and earth anomalies. Perhaps this flash of sword energy was about to collapse, and the Tao rhyme on it had almost disappeared. Inside the heavens and earth, a trace of sword energy appeared, constantly vibrating inside. Suddenly, the sword energy dispersed, turning into a sword character divine script. Whether it was the divine script for kill or sword, it gave Su Chen a very powerful feeling. At least, it was more powerful than the divine script for war. Damn! I missed out big time. Su Chen suddenly thought, if I had come here earlier to dig for treasure maps, wouldn't I have been able to directly advance from an ordinary person to a war king? Forget it, it's not bad as it is now. Su Chen had a good attitude and stopped thinking about it. After 10 minutes, Su Chen arrived at the next location, ready to continue digging for treasure maps. 
Upon reaching the location, Su Chen couldn't help but complain. There was a lot of animal dung here, and the stench was overwhelming. It was very likely that there were extremely dangerous creatures lurking here. If it weren't for the fact that the treasure map must be dug at the designated location, I wouldn't have come here. Su Chen was helpless and had to hold his breath. The treasure map was like a key. To dig for treasure, one must go to the designated location. Only by using the treasure map could the space be opened. Without the treasure map, even if one knew the specific location, they couldn't dig. Su Chen focused his gaze. There is only an ordinary wooden box here. Looking at the golden characters, Su Chen was stunned, then sighed, Captain Lei is lucky, he can spend another 200,000 to buy a treasure map. Su Chen immediately turned and left. After today's events were over, he would sell this treasure map to Captain Lei. Digging out a box to store things was also a good idea. Suddenly, Su Chen's phone rang. It was an unfamiliar number. Su Chen frowned and answered the call. Su Chen, the situation has changed, return to the headquarters immediately, Li Zhao's voice came through. Okay. Su Chen hung up the phone, checked the time, only an hour had passed, there were still 30 to 40 minutes left. But since Li Xiao called, Su Chen had no choice but to temporarily give up digging for treasure maps and quickly rush back. Upon seeing Li Xiao, Su Chen immediately asked, Minister, why has the situation changed? Did you see the anomalies in the heavens and earth at that time? Li Xiao asked. I saw it, Su Chen naturally knew it was the anomaly caused by excavating the slaughter scripture. This time's anomaly is not localized. According to the information we received, the anomaly covers the entire globe. Li Xiao said with a serious expression, we don't know who dug up something, but now, things have become complicated. According to the information I received, the people of the Seven Kill sect have gone mad. They believe that the vision is related to the Seven Kill Steel. Now, they have many war emperors on their way. So, we need to advance our plan, we can't wait any longer. Now. Then you have to pay more. Su Chen pursed his lips, very dissatisfied. Advancing the plan also means more danger. I'll give you 20 more treasure maps. Li Xiao had no hesitation and directly took out 20 treasure maps to give to Su Chen. Su Chen quickly took the treasure maps and said, Give me a better sword, I want a better one. Lin Zi, who was nearby, suddenly brightened her eyes and asked, Su Chen, have you condensed the sword character divine inscription? She had been waiting for Su Chen to condense the corresponding divine inscription before equipping him with a good weapon. If equipped in advance, it might affect the comprehension of the divine inscription. If it were someone else, it would be fine, equipping in advance would not have a big impact. But in Lin Zi's eyes, as long as Su Chen did not die prematurely, he would surely achieve great things in the future. Such a person naturally could not be influenced, and everything had to be done as perfectly as possible. Right. Su Chen nodded. Good. Here's the sword for you. Lin Zi reached out her hand, and a war sword appeared, which she handed to Su Chen, saying, This is a war sword I dug out, of superior quality, and cannot be crafted with current technology. Thank you, Sister Lin. Su Chen was not polite either. At first sight of this sword, he felt that it must be very good. No problem, no problem. When you become successful in the future, just don't forget about Sister Lin. Lin Zi said with a smile. All right, let's talk about these things later. Li Xiao glanced at the time, interrupted their conversation, and said, Su Chen, do you have any more questions? If not, I need to start planning. No more. Su Chen shook his head. Okay. Li Xiao nodded, pressed the special earpiece, and said, the plan begins. Su Chen watched quietly, then suddenly, with a loud bang, the entire Tianhe city shook. A terrifying aura swept from the north of Tianhe city. At that moment, a piercing alarm sounded throughout the city, alarming everyone. Damn! Minister, what have you done? Is this your plan? Su Chen cursed. I didn't do anything, just had someone dig out an extremely dangerous creature. Li Xiao said in a low voice. 
In the next moment, his figure appeared in the sky above Tianhe City, looking north with a grim expression. All night watchmen assemble. Immediately head north to target the enemy, we must not let them enter the city. Su Chen was somewhat angry. Is this the plan? Unearthing an extremely dangerous creature? Fortunately, this was not in the city but outside, where there were hardly any people. However, it was still very dangerous. Honestly, Su Chen never expected it to be like this. He cursed Li Xiao in his heart, even cursing his ancestors. But there was nothing he could do. Since it had been unearthed, what else could be done? In the branch, night watchmen immediately put down their work, and some even injured night watchmen, wrapped in bandages, also rushed out at this moment. The aura of the unearthed creature was too terrifying, giving the feeling that it was even stronger than a war emperor. Such beings were often very powerful, and it might take many lives to kill them. Nevertheless, they charged out without hesitation. This was their duty. Enjoying the benefits of being a night watchman naturally meant bearing the responsibilities of a night watchman. Su Chen cursed while also rushing out. Boom! Just went out, the ground shook again, and a terrifying aura suddenly rose into the sky from the northeast direction, instantly covering half of the sky with rolling demonic energy. Another one? Li Zhao's voice echoed in all directions, Lin Zi, Lei Gang, Zhang Tian, you take 300 people and go stop it immediately. The terrifying presence in the northeast direction was obviously not as formidable as the unparalleled beast in the north, but the aura was still terrifying, indicating a level of a war emperor. Lin Zi, Lei Gang, and Zhang Tian led the way towards the northeast. However, with the strength of the three of them, how could they stop a war emperor? Behind them, the 300 night guards followed, their speed much slower. Su Chen followed the night guards, continuing towards the north. Boom! Suddenly, the earth shook, and a pillar of blood red light shot up into the sky, piercing through the clouds. From the west of Tianhe City, a terrifying aura spread, covering the entire city, making everyone's face change involuntarily. Li Xiao had already appeared in the north and was already fighting with the unparalleled beast. However, upon seeing the situation in the west, Li Xiao couldn't help but curse. Damn it! The remnants of the Seven Kills sect, I know it was you who dug this up. After this is over, I will sweep you all every day. Li Xiao's angry voice echoed in all directions. Lei Gang, you don't need to go to the northeast, go to the west immediately. Li Xiao's voice rang out, saying, For the safety of Tianhe City, everyone, we must all be prepared to fight to the death. Lei Gang raised his hammer, lightning flickering all over his body, and in the next moment, he turned into lightning and headed straight towards the west. Boom! The battle was about to begin, terrifying fluctuations spreading in all directions, making countless people feel like doomsday was approaching. Remnants of the Seven Kill Sect, I advise you to give up your unrealistic goals immediately. Our reinforcements are on their way. Li Xiao fought while warning the Seven Kill Sect. In the suburbs of Tianhe City, a man and a woman stood on the rooftop of a residential building. Was this done by our people? The man couldn't help but frown. It shouldn't be, the woman answered without hesitation, our people are holding treasure maps, and the target locations are mostly in the center of Tianhe City, even if some are not, they are still close to the city center. Then what's going on? The man was very puzzled. Who knows? The woman shook her head and replied, it might be some other sect causing trouble. So do we. Continue to arrange for people to dig up treasure maps, create a massacre, and find the person or object that resonates with the seven kill steel? The woman thought for a moment and asked. It's not time yet, let's wait a little longer. The man pondered for a moment, sneered, and said, the night guards are not simple, whoever digs it up, it's a good thing for us now. The woman nodded and fell silent. Suddenly, a surge of energy in the woman's heart, a divine text returned, turning into a divine text and disappearing into her body. The target has been found, the woman said happily. What? The man turned around. One of our people was captured by the night guards, but now someone has dug up such a terrifying existence. The night guards are mobilizing, and our people are breaking out from the night guard branch. 
The woman quickly said, they heard from inside that a few days ago, a night guard named Su Chen dug out a drop of the owner of the seven kills steals precious blood. Really? The man's expression was excited, that blood, of immeasurable value, will surely elevate our sect. Spread the word, find Su Chen immediately. Yes. The woman nodded quickly, and with a surge of energy in her heart, several divine texts flew out, turning into incarnations and rushing in all directions. Su Chen was still heading north. His speed was already fast, but the distance was still too far. Two or three minutes were simply not enough to catch up. Boom! Suddenly, endless flames rose into the sky from the south of Tianhe City, as if half of the sky was burning in an instant. A giant bathed in flames emerged, emitting a terrifying aura that swept across the sky. Seven Kill Sect. I, Li Xiao, will not rest until you are dead. Li Xiao roared in anger, his voice resounding, Su Chen, head south, target the enemy in ten minutes. Our reinforcements will arrive in ten minutes. Damn. Su Chen couldn't help but curse, they're trying to get me killed. The flame giant unearthed in the south exuded a terrifying aura. That's a war emperor. Moreover, not just any war emperor. A newly promoted war emperor, Su Chen could easily defeat with a dog's head blade. But if the opponent wasn't so weak, the dog's head blade might not be effective. Fragments of the Rui Jingu Bang might not be useful either. Fragments are just fragments, not as good as the real Rui Jingu Bang. And Su Chen's cultivation level is simply too weak. At best, he's only a second tier battle king. But there's no other way. While cursing Li Xiao, Su Chen rushed towards the south. At the same time, in the outskirts, a man and a woman were anxious. Su Chen. The man spoke quickly, Li Xiao said reinforcements will arrive in 10 minutes. We must act now, or if the flame giant gets hold of Su Chen's precious blood, it will be too late for us. Could this be a trap set by the night watchman? The woman hesitated, it all seems too coincidental. So what if it's a trap? The man sneered, your status is lower, you may not be aware, but many experts have come to the sect this time. Even if it's a trap, we can handle it. Moreover, there have been issues in the Demon City and Xuanwu City, the night watchman's experts may have just left those places. Even if they have set up an ambush, there won't be many of them. Let's go. The two jumped down from the rooftop and headed south. Divine runes quickly flew in from all directions and disappeared into the woman's body, leaving her with a photo in her hand. This is Su Chen, don't mistake him for someone else. The woman handed the photo to the man. Don't worry, once I've seen him, I'll never forget. The man glanced at the photo and quickened his pace. Su Chen was heading south, soon leaving the city center. The further south he went, the sparser the population, until there was no one around. Suddenly, Su Chen heard movement behind him, a man and a woman were rushing towards him at a terrifying speed. Here to support me? Su Chen frowned, no, they don't look like they're here to support. With this thought, Su Chen's heart stirred, and a faint mark appeared on his forehead. It was the third divine eye of Wen Zhong, capable of discerning loyalty and treachery, good and evil. Su Chen looked back at the two, his expression changing. Damn! Knew they were up to something. Just then, the two were already a hundred meters away, the man quickly spoke, Su Chen, we're here to support you. Is that so? Well, thank you then. Su Chen smiled shyly, but in the next moment, he spoke loudly and clearly, bring me the dog's head blade. 